my god. Hi, Deacon. How you doing, man? It's been a hot minute, but hello. Can we get some yo's? I'm doing good. I saw the noti, so I thought I'd pop in. Well, I'm glad you're here. Imagine a Twitch noti actually working. I can't believe I missed the Pokemon playthrough. Don't worry, whenever I can afford an editor, we'll edit all those streams. All a hundred and something hours of it. Has it really been that long since you've chatted, Deacon? Wait, you literally- the last time we chatted was right before the peace log. That's so funny. <laughs> you know, I thought you didn't watch because of the peace log. <laughs> Hi, Electra, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello, we're live early today. Also, I should be done. Yeah, it says the last time you chatted was March. You also got automated for saying weaklings. <laughs> nah, it's okay. You know, I'm always here. I ain't gonna quit. Unless? Nah. No more Prime, I have to watch the ads. Sag. Maybe you'll get lucky and get a gifted. Smile. Or you can use your channel points too. I think I still have the I gift you a sub. Yeah, I do. Please come out in one minute. I'm almost done with my posting. In February, my car got damaged beyond repair. Shit, man. I hope that at least you're okay. I think every single car that my parents had got totaled eventually. <laughs> not necessarily not necessarily their faults, but you know. <laughs> One time they got hit by a drunk driver, another time my mom hit a tree. And then I think the last car, like the engine just like shit itself. Your car got stolen, bro. You know, I love GTA 5, but, like, not in real life. All those people who film, like, video games in real life, they should do GTA 5, but, like, steal someone's car. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, 3, 2, 1, it's been 6 minutes. Hello. Good morning, good afternoon, hope everyone is doing well today. It is Thursday, August 22nd, 9.29 a.m. I'm live really early today. That's because I want to beat this game today. We're on loop 29. I'm hoping and praying we're close. Now, this is day six. I decided I'm going to start putting days in the title. This is day six. <laughs> I think I have it. Wait, can I even see how many hours I have in the game yet? Also, we had Deacon and Electra in the starting since we welcome in, guys. Okay, so on my Nintendo profile, I almost showed my friend code on stream. Lao, 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 lao. Um, 
It says first played nine days ago. It doesn't say how many hours I have yet. Oh my god, I have 400 hours in Mario Kart. Also, you know how yesterday we determined that the the Twitch power-up alerts didn't work? I like into it, and there's still no way for me to add it for like a Twitch alert. And I also tested, because we learned, look at this, guys. Look at this. If you're watching live, oh my god. The emote is huge in the chat. You can pay a thousand bits to have that happen. But, because it's funny, because for me, it's literally free. So I can redeem all the power-ups as much as I want in my own chat. But I was looking at yesterday's VOD. It doesn't show in the VOD chat or, like, as an overlay. So let me just say, chat, do not use the Twitch power-ups. Unless you only genuinely want attention in that moment. Otherwise... It does not show in the VOD. It does not show in the Twitch VOD player chat either. Like, literally, that emote does not show in the VOD at all. Like, it's deleted from the VOD for some reason. Also, the highlight messages don't show up in the VODs either, so just don't. That's why I decided to increase the price to a 1,000 bits. Because, honestly, you gotta be a dumbass bitch to redeem it in my chat if it's not gonna show in the VOD. Because, you know, the funny part about TTS is that, like, the VOD watchers get to hear it too. So, honestly, if you guys want to cheer bits, just cheer bits normally. Don't use the power-ups. It's a cool idea, but it's not going to work. <laughs> I only have a thousand channel points anyway. Watch more streams and save up, Deacon. Save up. Also, hi, Tooth. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. Today, the plan is simple. We're beating this game. Stream ends when I beat this game. No, I'm kidding. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> um, before I get started, today's stream is presented to you by peaceart.myshopify.com. Guys, click the link in chat or bookmark it now. New artwork coming out? I'll say it probably next week. I'm waiting for supplies to come in the mail. No, there's no socialism in the chat room. You cannot give your channel points away. Sorry. We have the original paintings that you see in my background here, all my original work, and also new stamp Lionel prints available. There's color and black and white versions. You can buy the whole set, or the color versions where the singles, you get a 10% chance of getting a hollow. Ain't no way. So guys, bookmark the website today. Also, we got a lovely review the other week. Thank you, Kim, for the lovely review. I appreciate it. Helps me out a lot. I spent a thousand now I spent 1.5k it could be because sometimes when you watch the stream in sequential like in multiple times in a row you get you get points like first time chat first time watch for a month too I think also today I have orange juice this is the peach orange mango from Trader Joe's I think I'm gonna be sipping on it. Because it's not good to have that much sugar right in the morning. <laughs> Even if it's a good sugar, it's not that good because that's how you get diabetes. And I'm at risk. Not because my weight, it's because genetics, unfortunately. Okay, are we ready? Okay, we're gonna verify that the audio is synced. I have an orange mango passion fruit drink right now. Oh my god, we're twins! America be like mix three sugar packed fruits. No, it's fine. It's fine. Cause it's like sorry, I have to switch scenes to make sure it's synced. Um it's fine because it's like fruit. Right? No, nah, fruit juice is like bad. You should like press your fruit drinks at home, but nobody got time for that. Okay, I'm gonna see if it's synced.
Oh, I'm muted. Omega Dance. Omega Dance. I didn't reach yet. Okay, sorry. I forgot to unmute. Blow mouth. Okay, as I was saying. <laughs> it's early. It's early. But thank you for telling me. The one time I don't look at chat. Okay. <laughs> like I said, today I'm continuing my playthrough of In Stars and Time. I'm on loop 29. This is day fucking 6. Surely I'll beat this today. As always, um, in the pin chat, if you're watching live, is the list of trigger warnings. The main triggers are mod violence and mental illness. So if any of those topics bother you, please don't watch today's stream and watch the next one. I'm going to go ahead and verbally read more specific triggers or content warnings that are on the game's official website. <clears throat> Trauma slash mental illness, death, violence, self-harm and suicide, unreality, and children in peril and dying. So if any of those topics bother you politely, um, don't watch this stream and watch the next one. Okay, thank you for the luck, Deacon. Okay. So, the last time we did In Stars in Time, I got everybody to max friendship. I almost had both confess. We beat the king, and it still didn't work. So we're gonna go back in and see what I did wrong. Or maybe I did everything right and we're stuck here. But we, it did say we have to talk to the librarian and see about, like, a time craft. So let's jump into it. Loop number 29. <clears throat> also, I'm running out of black shirts to wear. We've played this game so many days. I'm running out of black clothing. It's because I'm trying to, like, cycle through my closet. I've gotten rid of a lot of clothes, and I was like... I'm getting rid of black. I need to, like, wear more colors. But I'm running out. Reminds me when I tried to play Mass Effect and do all the endings. Did you actually do it? Oh, it sucked. I didn't get it. You know what that means? You're a quitter. Dude, the orange juice is so good. I also messed around with my processor and fan settings, so hopefully... No tech issues today. I'm locked in. Sifrin, you're up! Here again. Have you thought about doing a sleepover? You watch her go. Okay, nothing new there. Did you know that 99% of gamblers quit just before they win big? Yeah, but that's why if I never start, then I never win and therefore I never quit. Mm-hmm. Let's see, I should talk to the librarian first. I need books about craft time. Welcome to the library. Well, our selection is kind of lacking. Do you have anything about time craft? Time craft? Like, um, specifically? I'm not sure. You should look through books about craft. We have one here, but it might not talk about time craft much. I wonder. Where could you find craftonomy books? Dude, it was like floor two or floor three, and all that was like, oh, we don't have time to look at this book. The librarian notices your confusion. Oh, the study of craft in general is called craftonomy. I don't think the libraries here or in the house carry any. Maybe you should look elsewhere. Also, why am I thinking about candles right now? Must be nothing. Someplace other than the libraries. Maybe someone to a room in the house? Okay, which room had candles? It had to be second or third floor. Yeah, it had to be second or third floor. Yeah, guys, don't gamble. It's not worth it. Put your money into the Peace and Channel and invest today. Subscribe. <laughs> that is not financial advice. <laughs> Should I just reset? Wait, why, am I, why is my game lagging? You know what? I 
I kind of want to reset. Oh wait, I still have Memory of Secret Quest. Didn't they say I would lose it? Back to Dormont. That's where I looped to. Oh, maybe it means voluntary looping. Okay, I'm gonna die. <laughs> no bad words in the chat, Deacon. <laughs> I didn't know that was a typo. <laughs> Wait, not right now. Wait, why can't I die? Let me die. Sorry. Let's talk to Luke, fine. The favorite tree, you should talk to Isabel first. Let's talk to Issa normally. Oh, this is new. Sif, woke up on the wrong side of the bed, huh? I get it. Anyway, I was just looking at the favorite tree. Isn't this tree cool? Yeah, it is. No. You'll always make the joke. You have to keep some sort of routine to stay sane. And if always making the joke is how, so be it. Uh-huh. It's a tremendous tree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why does it always make me want to flirt with Bo? You both laugh. Wait for him to touch you. You're beginning to think he never will. You look at his hand coming closer. Closer. As expected, his hand stops above your shoulder. Ha! <laughs> that was funny. I'm gonna go soon so you can do your thing with the tree, but do you want to talk before I go? No, I'm good for now. Oh, okay, so if we talk to Luke, we lose Bo. Welcome back, Stardust. He's so into you, I can feel it. No, he literally is. He got so close to confessing the last attempt. Power of love didn't cut it, huh? That's too bad. I was hoping this could be it somehow, too. But at least you found out more about your party, didn't you? You had fun, didn't you? Was it all good for? If they'll all forget it in the next loop? Yeah, but... For once, loop seems at a loss for words. In the meantime, though, how can I help you on this wonderful new loop? Uh, let's talk about something. Sure. What do you want to talk about? No, my turn. So, I'm sure you must have questions about me at this point. Theories about who I am, might be, that sort of stuff. Am I correct? Yeah, I do. Of course you do. Luke's just too mysterious. Suspicious from head to toe. Of course you do. I'm just too mysterious, suspicious from head to toe. So, lay it on me. I'm so curious as to what you think. Who or what do you think I am? You're... Oh, there's so many options. I don't really know. It doesn't matter, does it? Ooh. Part of the universe could be anybody. That's like a dumb answer. The favorite tree? No. Could be ghost. Could also be me. I'm gonna say, uh, I don't know. Huh. 
No imagination in that head of yours. I'm a little disappointed. But, I suppose, you have other things to worry about. I was just curious what you thought. I won't ask again. I can't exhaust the dialogue tree. I can't ask it again. Okay, I missed an easter egg. Uh-oh. The voice acting? Thank you, I try. I think it's really annoying whenever people don't do different voices for different characters. It bothers me so much as a viewer. What should I do next? You're doing so many different things. What do you need help with? How do I find more about the king? What should I do now? So you talk to the king. Seems like he's using some type of craft called Timecraft to freeze people in time, huh? Timecraft. I don't know much about it myself, but as always, if you need information about something, you should read a book. Maybe ask the librarian of the Dormont Library. She might know something. Okay, so either way, Loop just reiterates anything that the other characters give me hints on. So I don't really think I need to talk to Loop all that much. See you later, Stardust. They gently wave you goodbye. You give them a nod and walk away. Oh, we didn't wave back this time. We're pissed. Me and the homies hate Loop. Okay, so I need to go to floor two or floor three to the candle room. I do not believe the candle room was floor one. Can I die now? Step closer, yes. I just want to loop. Here we go. You're a living comedy sketch. Start again. Mods change the title to Loop 30. Loop 30. Start again. No, 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 no. Actually... There is no way the candle room was on floor two, or floor one, so I'm gonna loop to the end of floor two with the keys. Fifteen sparkles? That's a lot. What am I trying to achieve in the game? I'm late. Um, basically, there's the king. He, like, froze everybody in time. That's why everything is black and white. And our little entourage is trying to stop him. But I was blessed with the secret power to where every time I die, I respawn. But I have, like, all the memories of previous attempts, but everybody else forgets everything. So you basically have to die and keep resetting. That way you can progress the story. I'm, like, 80% into the game, so... <laughs> but don't worry. Just go back and watch the past streams. All, like, 30 hours I've done. What a delicious death. Okay, I gotta find the candle room. I also want to get the earrings because I missed it last attempt. Oh yeah, they still have the memory of secret quest. So like, if I respawn at the king ending, because since I played through the house already, they'll still have the memory. Yeah! Okay, so me going through and playing the whole game yesterday was the strat. This is not the candle room. Yeah, you definitely do have to re-pick up everything, even if you get the keys. While passing through, you take a deep breath and... You quickly poked Oda outside. Beyond throwing you a look, she doesn't react. You try not to smile. We're flirting! 
The closet is filled with gardening supplies. There's some gardening books about rare and powerful crafts. Or things. None of them catch your eye. I'm glad we got to see you today, Deacon. But have a good dinner. It's always a pleasure. Oh. Shid. There was nothing there. This is where we get the earrings. all your souvenirs oh so I should not override any previous saves Reset at the very end, I probably lose any items that I previously picked up, right? Oh. That means probably at some point I will have to play through the entire thing again. Fuck. The heavy book. Craftonomy is not here. Oof. You managed to beat the king earlier. You feel stronger. You gained a lot of XP. Sifrin is now level 74. Dude, we're gonna get Sifrin to like level 100 by the end of this. Or maybe they have a level 99 cap like Pokemon. Change everybody to equip so like we were faster in battle. Let's see, now that I respawned, I wonder if Sifrin still has the key knife. Sifrin's knife. They don't. Okay, the memory key knife. Oh, if you loop to the king. Oh, that's why. Yeah, I'd rather keep the plus 30. Because then it just makes them faster anyway. I think I just need to find the wax room. And then I reset at the very beginning. And then I'll play it again. Because I want to try and get the best ending I can, I'll be honest. Because playing through all the levels isn't that bad, to be honest. It's, it's bearable. 
Now that I know basically exactly what I need to do... Ooh! It me. Cyprin keeps everything. You breathe in and out. 700 XP received. You breathe in and out. 700 XP received. Oh wait, it did say the wax was in a dorm room, so it's for sure floor three. I don't know why they didn't click till now. So I'm wasting my time here. Oh well. Damn. You breathe in and out. 650 XP received. The carving tools were here. Yeah, floor two, waste of time. May all be day. <laughs> Oopsie. It honestly could be worthwhile just to like reset and then go back to the end of floor 3. I think I might do that, I'll be honest. Because I just want to see what the wax dialogue is and then I'll need to see if I need to reset from there. Keep wasting time per se. You know, I gotta get my friend stuck out of this time loop. Easy. You breathe in and out. 1,000 XP received. Okay, I'm gonna reset. I'm making the executive decision. The tear floats gently. Touch it. Yes. 
You are stuck in a prison of your own making. That's new. Start again. Warping to the end of floor three. That costed less sparkles. How? Loop 31, everybody. You wake up. You dreamt about someone crying into nothing. Whose voice was it? Okay, so I guess you keep the items that you picked up on that floor only. I don't have the flower, I don't have the drawing from Dormont on this save, even though I had it when I manually saved here. Interesting. So if I truly want to pick up everything, I have to reset genuinely from the beginning. Ooh, dodged. Not dodged. Also, guys, we are 30 minutes in the stream, so if we're new here, click follow. You get cool emotes and you get the type of channel. Isn't that pretty sick? Do it now. And if you say, or if you follow, I'll say thank you. You breathe in and out. 400 XP received. This was the clay room. We can give the earring back. This was the dead end. I think this was the candle room? No. Oh wait, no it is! Oh no, it's the body craft room. Is there another dorm room to the right? Yeah, this is the door. Near Bell's room. Caught. Breathe in and out. Temperature 50 XP received. I don't believe this was the candle room. Caught. I almost dodged it.
You breathe in and out. This was not the candle room. It's you and your family members or family. Wait, what incarnation? Wait, don't tell me the wax room is in floor one. Don't tell me. <laughs> no way it's in floor one. Ain't no way. Oh my god, it is in floor one. Wait, no, this is the candle room. What? You're thinking about crafting your body. You seem to have all the time in the world now. Oh, okay. I'm gonna call Luke. You make the secret hand sign and think about talking to Luke. You close your eyes. Hello, hello. Luke speaking. Thank you for calling. How may I help you? What should I do next? You're doing so many different things. What do you need help with? I want more... I want to find out more about the king. What should I do now? So you talk to the king. Seems like he's using some type of craft called timecraft to freeze people in time, huh? Timecraft. I don't know much about it myself, but, as always, if you need information about something, you should read a book. Maybe ask the librarian in the Dormont Library. She might know something. I need a refresher. Okay, this is just lore. Is it 
really in floor one? Screw it. I'm going back to floor one. I'll touch it. A tear froze you in time. Start again. Back to floor one I go. If it's not here... I don't know what I'm gonna do. You wake up. You dreamt you were eating a rotten apple. Your stomach hurts already. Oh my god, last night I had a dream. I was in like this zombie... Purgatory type world. And I woke up and my lip was bleeding. I think I was nightmaring so hard I bit my lip. In fear. Get back in floor one. Yeah, this was the armory. If the candle room is not on floor one, I'm gonna scream. Oh my god, it is this room. I found it. A craftonomy book. Oh, is that a craftology book? Piercing craft, creative craft. Where's the protecting craft crafter chapter? It's a craftonomy book, not a craftology book. This one is about the study of craft, not your fortune. A book about the study of craft? Could I have any information about time craft, maybe? Does this... Does that craftonomy book have anything on time craft? Time craft? What for? Hmm. It is related to our situation, isn't it? With the king. We don't have time. What's time craft? I don't know what that is. Should we have a crash course on timecraft then? Ugh, fine. Odell flips through the book. It does have a section on timecraft. Alright. So timecraft is, as the name implies, the power to wield and craft time itself. It is a type of craft that has been hip, hip, hypnotized, hypothesized. It's a type of craft that's been hypothesized to exist for decades, but its existence has never been proven. On sale now, right? Stopping time. That's what the king does, right? So the king is using time craft? The king most likely is, yes. Which would make it the first time in history someone managed to harvest that power. Outside of stories told in family tales, that is. I've heard scholars outside of Vagard are really excited right now. Time craft preferred to be real. So they're happy because he froze people in time? Well, it's more complicated than that. Morals aside, it does change everything we know about timecraft. Think about how timecraft could be used. The king is only stopping people's time. But it could be used for many other things. It could be used to hasten or slow people's time too. Maybe make people's bodies younger or older. Maybe make buds grow into trees in an instant. Worst case scenario, it could be used to change history itself. Crafting time to go back in time and change history. Whoa! Whoa. The possibilities are endless. And terrifying. Definitely not the kind of power you want in someone's hands. And definitely not someone like the king. And, correct me if I'm wrong, but crafting time wouldn't be like crafting clay to a specific shape or crafting a sword. Those are easy enough to do and won't fa- <coughs> Those are easy enough to do and won't tire you out, but crafting time? Something as basic and essential as time? Wouldn't it ask for immense amounts of power? Exactly. Crafting clay barely asks for any power from the user, but crafting time? It was theorized that crafting time, even to pause time for a single second, would probably kill the user immediately. Huh? Kill them dead? Kill them dead. And yet the king is still alive. Oh, he's probably in so much pain, actually. So it raises the question. What gave him enough power to use time craft a lot of dying? And how did he learn how to use it? Good questions, Isabel. 
You have pretty smart insights sometimes. <laughs> I sure do. Hmm. Timecraft is what the king uses and it's dangerous. Got it. I suppose talking about this was useful. I'm surprised you're curious about this, though. Sifrin. You shrug. Timecraft. A type of craft that allows the user to control time. Isn't that what you and the king have been using? And neither of you should be able to use it. Using it would ask for immense amounts of power. So then, what gave you this power? Maybe you should ask the king about this. But what if it isn't enough? What if it doesn't want to tell you anything about Timecraft? You talk to the king and the head housemaiden. Are those really the only two people that would know anything about the loops you're stuck in? Who else could you talk to about the loops? To theorize. Oh. Wait. There is one person. We gotta talk to Odile. But the only time to talk to Odile is if we go back to Dormont. Hmm. Because we can't talk to the characters in this form once we're battling. I think I should loop back to Dormont. Maybe we have to get to the very end and then talk to Odal. Because that's when Odal's like, yeah, you can talk to me about anything, smile. Hmm. I'm thinking about what's the best course of action. It's either I loop back to straight to the king and fight again, or I loop back to the start and talk to Odal. Because it makes it very obvious that I do need to talk to the king again. And it makes it a bit less obvious that I need to talk to Odile. You purposely trick on a sm small rock. <laughs> Whoa, you okay, Sif? You give a thumbs up. You're clumsy, not at all threatening and overpowered compared to them. We gotta make ourselves weaker. That way they're not scared of me. You know, usually I'd be worried about this, but Sif doesn't seem worried at all. You smile at Isabeau. The tear floats gently. Touch it? Yes. <laughs> you froze yourself in time. Start again.
This is to see if when I loop... I don't want to fight the king again. But that fight wasn't too long, honestly. I do genuinely think I have to talk to Oda. And I think the best place... Oh, I just realized I didn't keep the key knife. Oops, I forgot. I'll loop back to the end of floor three. Do I have my sharpening stone? No, I don't. <laughs> uh, okay, we're gonna have to reset again, guys. And you know what else I have to do? Run an ad. Because we are an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid the ad by subscribing for $5.99 to $6. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing almost on. Or you can link up as a brand new Twitch and subscribe for free. Click subscribe right now. Do it. Well, shit. I forgot to change my, my memory equipped. Well, guys, I got a loop again. You had a good sleep. Start again. Looping to the king. Loop number 41. Wait, how is it that many? Wait, what? <laughs> Have I done 10 loops already? You wake up. You dreamt about someone crying into nothing. Whose voice was it? Now we talk to Odile. I'm fine. Are you? Because you look a bit out of it to me. You've been acting weird since yesterday, actually. Oh my god, they're calling us out finally, finally, we can tell them. You try not to flinch. I am all fine, I swear. Hmm. Well, as long as it doesn't get in the way of our victory, I suppose you can feel however you want. Go away. I need a break from talking. No! Maybe we do have to talk to Oa at the very start. Sifrin does have the knife key still, so that worked. Memory of change, God. nothing new so I think obviously I'll fight the king one more time see if there's any new talk dialogue and if that doesn't work then we got to go back to the beginning and talk to Oda it has to be talking to Oda okay am I ready no did I get my heels Okay, yeah, you keep all your held items, just not the souvenirs. You lose the souvenirs whenever you loot. But you keep all your heal items. Okay, that's good. That's the only thing I, like, truly, really, really need. I'm ready. I'm ready.
Do you remember? I remember you. Is that so? We shall fight. I love how Bonnie just stands there everybody else queues up their weapon. Battle start. We're here again. Still here? Okay, so this is our fourth fight, or fourth encounter with the king. The key knife glows. Your attacks will hit harder against the king. Is that not for this part? Yeah. You've heard this before. Get ready, everyone. So it's still in my best interest to win this fight. We're gonna ask the king some questions. Ask the king. <laughs> Why are you so tall? <laughs> that would be really funny to ask, but we're not doing that now. So, you're using timecraft. Timecraft? Oh, I suppose I am. But if you're using timecraft, how did you manage to control it? Timecraft should be immeasurable. Timecraft should use immeasurable amounts of power that no mere human could have. So how? <laughs> yes, it is true. I could not have harvested Timecraft on my own. So, I had some help. Help? Who would? Oh, oh. Oh, is he like moaning in pain here? Isn't it obvious? The universe would. Ah, oh, I only had to wish for it, and the universe delivered. The universe? Who was that? A person? No, nah, it, it's, it's... Wow, it's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't seem to remember. It's what's beyond this plane, correct? What's in the sky? Is it Luke? Is Luke just trolling us? He clench your fists. The king sobs. Oh, oh, ah. I knew the guardians were ignorant of it. But I did not think travelers from other countries were too. How? How could you have? The guardians, huh? Interesting choice of words. Are you not from the guard yourself? He isn't, Madame Odile. I feel like I've seen an article about it somewhere recently. I saw it today. Where was it again? The King's Articles. Which room is that in? It's making us like face him so many times. I know they were posted on a wall. Oh, we'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> so you're not from Vagard, but you still want to freeze it in time? Where do you call home then? The King flinches. He does not answer. You shake your head and breathe out. An article about the king somewhere. If Mirabelle remembers it, you might have seen it somewhere too. Could it be somewhere in the house? Asked the king. Why are you so tall? Oh, quite honestly. It just happened. It just happened? How? After I fully accepted the power at my disposal, I found myself like this, towering over everyone. But I do not mind. I can see very far in this body. I can even see... See what? Okay, he says the same thing. I can see the end of the sky, the stars, the moon. There's nothing to ask. Okay. So I think I should still try and beat this.
Nice. Not too bad. I'm gonna do regenerate. Cause Sifrin can't do a paper move anyway. Boost our defense, because we'll need that for later. Ooh, King is gonna attack. I'm gonna do turn it up to Mirabel, and Mirabel's gonna do the shield again. It's wild because Serpin basically gets two turns before some of the other players. Lucky. We'll get the combo, everyone heals, and then I think next turn Mirabelle has to do the shield. Because the shield only lasts two turns, I believe. Sephirin still has their shield. Next turn, then? Either way, I think I should give the broth to Mirabelle now.
Perfect timing. The king doesn't show his face. That's okay. This fight isn't going as smoothly. But definitely having the opening shield helps a lot. zoning out. You've heard this before. Disappeared! No! You attacked the king with all you've got. Kinda of wild, I faced the king four times and it's three for four. I'm the goat. The king fight isn't that hard, honestly. It's manageable. I can't disappear. Not yet. Not when. I still can't say it. Or wait, maybe it's not save? Maybe it's trying to say save something. Ain't no way, we're back here. not saving. again. Third time's the charm, isn't it? If you walk to the head house meter, will the loop break and will you loop back once more? I'm gonna talk to Odal, because Odal's smart. And they said we could tell them anything. Huh. You did it. To do your fake research? Oh, see, so you figured it out, did you? Don't tell anyone. I'd like to see us about try to figure it out for a little longer. Oh yeah, because in this loop, we did not talk to everybody at the start. Because that's... When we're in the grassy field, that's when... Odell confessed that they weren't researching. Bananaology would be quite appealing. Huh. Ha <laughs> Huh. I'll miss you, Sifrin. You're a little strange, but you're a good kid. Maybe try to lay down your walls every once in a while, huh? And come to Kabu any time. Maybe we'll meet again during your travels. She's smiling at you gently. You force yourself to smile back. 
Sifrin is everything. I, I have even more pineapple slices in my pocket. Crab, yeah. Never mind. Take care of yourself, Sifrin, alright? He not. Oh, that was so close. You probably have to talk to... Bonnie first, huh? Back to looking around curiously, like always. She sees you stare and flashes you a smile. You smile back. I'm gonna talk to Bonnie, because Bonnie's annoying. Uh, do you have some snacks left, Bonnie? Oh, um, well... Bonnie looks through their pockets. Wait, I have some pineapple slices left! And we'll give them to you, I'm super hungry. That way I'll survive until they eat dinner! See, aren't I smart? Very smart. But you're smarter. You should make sure to talk to everyone you need to before talking to Isabel. Wait, why? Okay, nothing new with Odile. I'm gonna talk to the head house maiden before Bo. Oh, traveling one. Sifrin, was it? I cannot thank you enough for what you've done. I'm sure you and your companions have a lot to talk about. Why don't you talk to them and come back to me? I'd love to have a conversation with one of the Vagard saviors after all. You can't go back. Fine, I'll talk to Bo. I'm so glad we managed to win. Can you believe it? I think this calls for a group hug. Group hug. Pass. Of course you'll pass. You and friend never join group hugs. Zah, group hug, group hug. Group hug. Damn. Yay. You watch Mirabel, Isabeau, and Bonnie hug. What did you have to... Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. It wasn't that important. Come on, go talk to everyone. I have some thinking to do. But Sif, I'm glad this is over. I can't wait to go back to my old job, you know? Make sure to say hi when you're near Javante, okay? You know. Dude, we keep on getting C U C K E D. Odala once again. No, come on. So I guess we do have to talk to Odal at the end. But not first, because Bonnie... They keep interrupting each other. Like, just let me, like, vibe. Traveling one. Are you done talking with your companions? Yes, wonderful. I'd like to thank you for accompanying young Mirabel this far. I'm very grateful. Sifrin, yes? If there's anything I, do, I can do to thank you, please don't hesitate to let me know. Same as usual, it seems. Maybe you start with something else still. Surprise her somehow? Will you repeat the same lines again? The same lines? What do you... Oh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, my camera went out. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, I'm bugging and the game is bugging. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, I'm fixing it. Editor, cut this out. That was my webcam. <laughs> okay, 
I'm going to see if the audio synced. See if the audio synced. It good. That didn't work. She said something slightly different here, but then went right back to her script. Oh. Sifrin. I'm so sorry. There's no way we can stop it now. I'm sorry. You'll be going back. Back where everything started. You almost choke on the smell of burnt sugar around you. I know. Do you have anything new to say? I know you thought your quest was over, but it can't be! Something's broken, something's failing, rotting! I can't fix it on my own, not before it all ends! If only I had noticed it sooner! I should have seen it, prevented it! She didn't deviate from her script even once. It seems she really will repeat the exact same thing every time. You feel a tug on your stomach again. It's my fault that you have to suffer like this! I just hope that one day, you might learn to forgive. The curtain falls. Loop 42. You're back here again. At this rate, you'll know her entire lines by heart. Still here? Okay, well, we need to find the posters about the king in the dorm somewhere. And then I also want to try and talk to Odile here. help you. Okay, it's not here. Nothing. Huh, let's talk to Lou. That way we make sure we do it properly. I assume we talk to Odile at the very end of the king fight or before the king fight. Hey, so I need to do the favor tree thing. It's so annoying. It's forcing me to loop, 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 loop. Over and over and over again. I have no free will in this game. Loop 42. Hi, Stardust. So. So. Got any theories about the loops I'm trapped in? Why would I? Your name is literally Lou. Caught. Oh, stars above, it is. Haha. Ugh. -ha. Ah. But just because I call myself Lou doesn't mean I know anything. I'm just bad at names. But I'll see what I can do. What's your question? Do you know anything that could help? Such a broad question, Stardust. As I've told you before, I know as much as you do right now. How can that be? What do you mean? Aren't you here to help me? Why don't you know more about the loops you're supposed to help me with? Huh. Don't you huh me. Aww. I still don't have a good answer for you, Stardust. Isn't it already nice that you have me to talk about those loops? You could be alone, stuck with only your tiny brain for company. With no one to talk to. You know, I can figure this out without Loop. I'll be honest. Loop is annoying. Okay. Okay. Well. Why don't we summarize what we know about these loops? We might find something out. You sigh and nod. Nothing better to do, you suppose? So. You're currently stuck in a time loop for some unknown reason. The loop starts when you wake up in Dormont and seems to end when you talk to the head housemaiden. Unless I die first or I touch a tear. Yes, maybe the loop considers getting frozen in time by those tears a sort of death. But why aren't you looping back when you get frozen in battle? Huh? Isn't it because... Hmm. 
Maybe we have to purposely get frozen? No, that can't be it. I thought the tiers worked differently than an actual time freeze skill. Is that so? Well, you're the one getting frozen, so you'd know. So, you loop if something keeps you from advancing in some way. I wonder if other things would count as keeping you from advancing. Like what? Like, what if we cut off your legs? Would you immediately loop back? You can't advance if you have no legs, right? That's ableist? Um, that's anti-woke. I'd rather not test that one. Oh, but understandable. But it is interesting, though. What makes the loop actually loop? You feel like... You can remember a few times when time looped back on its own, even if it was just a few minutes. Maybe. Does the loop consider talking to the head housemaiden? Something that keeps you from advancing somehow? Oh. Maybe, but... What would advancing even mean, then? Towards what goal? Okay, remember how there were some sequences where... You could not advance or progress the story if there was an X above? We have not seen that in a long time. Is that something that happens when you talk to the head housemaid that makes a certain goal impossible to accomplish? As you found out, all of this might be the work of Timecraft, a power that should be impossible to use, but you and the King are somehow able to manipulate it. But... Am I manipulating Timecraft if I can't control it? But you can, can't you? You can more or less control where you come back. Except when you talk to the head housemaiden, it seems, which brings you back to the start. But just because... But just being able to loop back in time and avoid death might count as you being able to use Timecraft. But if Timecraft is supposed to be too dangerous to even use, how did I get that power? And how do you break the loop for good? Yes, those are the big questions, aren't they? I do wonder what the limitations of your powers are still. What makes you actually loop? Somehow, I feel like finding out more about that could be useful. Stardust, we've been talking for a while. So maybe not right now, but when you have some time, Will you hang out for me? When you have some time, will you hang out with me for a bit? Huh? Hang out? I have a little theory I'd like to test, and... And we haven't spent any time together, Stardust. I'm lonely, and I want to have a long conversation with someone, anyone, and I want to hang out. Ugh. Again, it doesn't have to be right now. Our little hangout time might last a while. Maybe even longer than the rest of the day. I'm sure you have plans for this loop, so I can wait until you have time. Okay? A theory loop would like to test about the loops? It might be useful. You should talk to loop and hang out with them when you have time then. Yay. I'll be waiting, Stardust. In the meantime, how can I help you on this wonderful new loop? Well, we can hang out now, actually. Oh. Our theory hangout. Yes. But we can't actually hang out right now. It'd be pretty useless. So how about you come back here early tomorrow, after you're done acting things out at the clock tower? Wait, wait, what? You want me to sneak out? And spend a loop with me, yes. But... You always go to the house after the clock tower. If you're not here, what will everyone do? What will everyone think? Does it matter what they think? They'll forget about it all in your next loop, after all. It matters, though. Hmm. So you won't do it? You won't come out and hang out with little old me? I'll do it. If everybody's gonna forget, yeah, it matters, but I could just try again. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go. Neat. I'll see you soon, then. You nod. You spend the rest of the night with everyone. We just skip it? Early in the morning, while everyone is still asleep. You quietly slip away and head to the favorite tree. But you can't see Loop anywhere. Up there, Stardust, up there. 
Up there? Did Luke go back to their home or something? You look up. Luke is waving at you from the top of the tree. I'm here. I'm here. Come and join me, Stardust. How? Oh, come on. Just climb the tree. I know you can do it. You sigh and climb the tree. Oh. Ah, oh, isn't it pretty, Stardust? We're so high up. You are. You can see the house from there. Everyone will be inside the house soon. You try not to think about it. Thank you for coming to today's loop hangout. If you hang out with me, it'll take some time and... Well, you know how this goes. I sure do. Hmm. I, um... I haven't actually prepared anything to talk about, so... Tell me about yourself, Stardust. Really? I'd rather not. Huh? Why not? Don't you already know me? Hmm? It just feels like it. You know too much about me. You know my name? You know how I think? You knew me before we even met, didn't you? I think Loop's a grocery stocker. Kind of. Kind of? Do I know you? Oh. No, you don't know me. Haha. <laughs> don't worry. Your memory isn't failing you this time. When we met under the favorite tree, that was... That was the very first time we've ever seen each other. Is that so? So then... Is that why you're helping me? Because you know me? Oh. Not really. When I decided to help you, you were not a factor in the slightest. You are now, I suppose. But does that mean you actually believe me when I say I'm here to help? You don't think I'm lying and I'm actually the one trapping you here or whatever. You really believe that I'm here to help you. Okay, Loop, stop planting these seeds in my head. If we're trying to game Loop, we have to make Loop think we're clueless. Which is what I've been doing this whole time! I do believe that you're helping me. Oh. You always surprise me, Stardust. I know I wouldn't believe myself if I was in your place. Maybe time has made me more jaded than you are. But it's fine. Whether you believe me or not, I'm here to help you. So you can escape this loop. So you believe it's possible? For me to escape? Of course. Why would I be here otherwise? I'm trapped here with you, after all. I want to escape just as much as you do. I know how it feels, you know, to be stuck somewhere. With no hope of escape. Forced to relive the exact same events over and over. Taking any deviation as a sign that things are finally going to change. That everything will be okay. And finding yourself trapped still. Haha. <laughs> Look at me. Talking and talking. Don't pay attention to me. I'm doing fine. Loop laughs sadly and looks at the house in the distance. Tell me about yourself, Luke. I'd rather not. <laughs> Luke winks and blows you a kiss. Oh my god! Despite yourself, you laugh. You hear Luke laugh softly as well. <laughs> Say, Stardust, that reminds me. I can't believe your first death was being crushed by the very first trap. How embarrassing. Hey. You and Luke animately... Animatedly. You and Loop animatedly talk about the different things you've done during your loops. It's nice to be able to talk about them with someone. Oh, was I supposed to talk to Loop? Is that what that little sequence was at the very end? Where they're like, I need to talk to someone about Craptology. Was it Loop? No, it, it can't have been Loop. It's, it's Odile, obviously, because it said, oh, only Loop knows about this. Uh, I don't know.
Man, that juice is good. <coughs> you talk and talk until the sun has risen high above you in the sky. Ah, oh, it'll happen soon now. What will? The sunrise? The theory crafting part of our hangout session, of course. Huh? You open your mouth to ask and then... Huh? You heard a horrible sound. You... your head... You saw... something. I'm glad you decided to spend some time with me, Stardust. Sorry it's going to end with this. What? I thought maybe it wouldn't happen, but... See that light in the distance? It's from the king's floor. I see it every time you get far enough to fight him. His first attack. Oh, is he trapping us? Does he give me the looping power? The king's first attack? How long have you been talking to Loop? Who was the king attacking? Who was he? Oh, did our friends go in? Uh-oh. The king doesn't attack or do anything until you get to him. He would only attack if... If someone... I can feel it. Every time. Whatever he does. It makes you see something, doesn't it? Something awful. Something so terrible. That it's enough to bring anyone close enough to their knees. Stars. I wonder who he attacked. Maybe the head housemaiden? You can't even hear Loop speak. Your friends. They were against the king just now. You know how to survive his first attack. He found out, but... But... You hear someone cry out. You look at Loop. Loop is just... Looking at you. Not saying anything. There's no pity in their gaze. No sadness, just some slight impatience, like... Did you figure it out yet? Did you figure out what makes the king attack just now? There's only one answer, Stardust. Just figure it out already, so you can move on. Who was the king fighting? Who did the king just kill? Did you figure it out yet? Did you? He starts screaming. It's because you weren't there. They died because you weren't there. They're gone because you weren't there. You clutch your head, your hair, your stomach. Because you weren't there. Because of you, they're gone. They're gone. Because of you. Because of you, because of you. Wait, but I didn't die. I didn't die. You stumble and fall to your knees. You breathe harshly in and out. It's not working. You can't take a full breath. You can't. You hit the ground with your fist. Why? Loop does not answer. Did you know this would happen? Which part? You looping back or your party dying? I had a suspicion about the former. I was certain about the latter. You! Loop is staring straight at you. They don't even seem to care that you drew out your dagger. Somehow this calms you down. If I tell you to breathe, will you? You... You breathe slowly, in and out. What was that for? For funsies, of course. You take a step forward. And because I was curious to know how the loops work. Aren't you? How the loops work? How could what just happened teach you anything about the loops? Think, Stardust. Why did you loop back just now? Huh? Because the king won, wasn't it? Wait, no, let me think.
I think the king and Sifrin's powers are connected. They have to be. Because even when we re-loop, the king is in his previous position. Because he himself is not frozen in time either. Maybe the king wants us to keep fighting him, so he's forcibly looping us. Because the king won, wasn't it? Why would the king winning make you loop? You don't immediately loop back the second you and your party lose, don't you? Don't you? I kinda do, though. No, Stardust. You loop when you die. I- no, it, it takes a little bit. You loop when you die, Stardust. The fact that the king wins is irrelevant. But you didn't die just now, did you? So why did you loop? But... It's the same with the head housemaiden. You don't die when you talk to her. So what makes you loop? You loop when the head housemaiden talks to you. And you loop just now. Why? Don't you think this would be important to figure out? Okay, that's so true. Loop's right. There have been other times you loop back without dying, too, but what could be the reason? I wasn't lying when I said I wanted to spend time with you. We never got the opportunity to really talk, after all. But... Yes, I figured this would happen. I... I won't say sorry, so you can stop waiting for it. You don't answer. Well, it looks like that's all you can find out about the loops for now. But you can still find out more about the king, can't you? I'll be ready to help you out next loop. But for now, I think we both need some time. Come back next loop, Stardust. You just walk away. Bo's gone. Mirabelle's there. Oh yeah, Bo should be in the topmost field. I'm gonna try to talk to Odile. Yeah, nothing new with Odile. It must be I talked to Odile after I fight the king. I'm gonna ask Mirabelle if she knows where the posters are. Nope, there is nothing. Oh, the papers. Okay, I need to find the room that has the articles in the house, so I think I might as well just reset. Here we go again. You broke your head open on a rock. Get a floor when I go. I think this is loop 44? You're annoyed there isn't a more dignified way to loop back to in the village. That's so real. Wait, loop 29? I oh, is it because I loaded a save point? Oh, that's why my number was off earlier. Okay, let's find the room. I do not think it was floor one at all.
Let's grab this stone, though. Yeah, not here. Was it here? Some papers. Newsletters about the king. You never looked at them very closely before, have you? We take a step forward. Oh! So many articles about the king! His conquest was slow enough that the Vigardian press had time to write about him. I remember that. But there's no one to write them now. You all start reading random articles. This article is about a slow march to Dormont's house. This one is about him probably being from another country than Vigard. Huh? He really isn't Vigardian then. Oh, apparently not. This article says there's no record of him anywhere. Until he, uh, un up until he appeared out of thin air sometime in his adulthood. Looks like he lived in the city of Corbeau for a few years before he became the king. So he was a traveler, like Fryn and Dale. Please don't compare us to him. Thank you. That's right. He did talk about Vigardians before. The way he phrased it, it didn't seem like he thought of Vigardians as people other than himself. And... He said he thought of Vigard as welcoming. Always willing to welcome people in. Even someone with no name, no home to speak of. Wait, am I the king? Ain't no way. You should go and ask the king where he's from later. Oh. This article is about his fashion sense. Huh? From what I've heard, he does have a very distinctive hairstyle. This article is more about his armor, actually. They even included a sketch. Look. Hmm. Well, it's very... Shiny? I suppose. Very imposing. There's something that caught your attention, though. Hmm. The crown, the patterns, the shoulder parts. The patterns. The patterns? On his chest and gauntlets, you mean? It's just a weird lozenge. What's so weird about that? Those are stars. Stars? What's a star? The dots in the sky, correct? You nod. Is that so? Oh, this article here- Wrong voice. <laughs> this article here meant- This article here does mention his speech mannerisms. Stars and sky-related things seem to be something he comes back to often. Stars, huh? What could be interesting about them? Stars. Oh, we- We gotta go to floor two, don't we? Or floor three. It's floor three. Is there somewhere in the house where you can find out more about them? We gotta go to the planetarium. Guys, it's recent in time. Dang it. Cyprin is now level 75. I think the most frustrating part is that I know I've been to all the places that I need to. I've interacted with every single item in this game. But it's forcing me to backtrack. But I guess it kind of makes sense because Sifrin is kind of clueless. Even though they're like our scavenger. 
so I guess lore wise it kind of makes sense that Sifrin forgets to check things the chair floats gently touch it yes sir to floor three we go a tear froze you in time start again Loop 46. You wake up. You dreamt about someone crying into nothing. Whose voice was it? Does it cost more loop points when I... When I, like... Use the keys? Okay, so either way, I need to go to the right and then the left. I got all the keys. But I did not get a star crest, I don't think. So I think I need to fight that enemy again? Oh, I have a star crest. Okay, cool. We'll just go straight to the observatory room then. Oh. Did it make me use my star crest already? Oh, it did. Guys, we're dying. Resetting! A tear froze you in time. Start again. Yeah, that was my L. We have to go to floor three without the keys. Forty-eight. Wait! The previous reset was forty-six, now it's forty-eight. Why is it going up by two? Wait, what? You wake up. You dreamt about the tick of a clock. You hear it still. No, I don't. Wait, why is it going up by two? I literally just had loop 46 at the previous tier. Something fishy's going on. Hmm. Okay, well, let's do floor three. to go. Give me a repel, please. says you and your family members are reflected in it. The family. You know who else can join my family? Those who subscribe. Because guys, we are two hours in the stream. I feel the end is near. So if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe for $5.99 to $6. Skip your coffee and get out of your premium all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and subscribe for free. Click subscribe down here. See if you got that Prime available. You know what? I bet by the end of this, I'm gonna be like a pro in Stars and Time speedrunner.
Mirabelle's now level 54, but that doesn't matter. Okay, resist paper, that means it's scissors. Something that I've been pondering like the past 30 minutes is I wonder if like Sifrin is supposed to represent like someone who experiences PTSD. Because Sifrin is re could like constantly reliving their trauma. And that being like seeing their friends getting hurt and dying. I do wonder. Okay, it resists scissors, that means it's a rock type. Got a star crest. Yay! Now we can go to the observatory. I'm upset. I just want to look at stars. You know, at least Sifrin is a beast, so they can one-hit KO everybody. We're now heading towards the observatory room. Use the star crest? Yes. <laughs> yeah, there's more of the king's hair here. Whoa! Where are we? Dots in the sky, though. That's stars! Those are stars, right? Okay, that voice is totally wrong. <laughs> Star is like the king's armor. Indeed. We should look around. Wait, how did they remember that dialogue? This was a new loop. They're bugging. Rolled up paper. You unroll one. It's a star chart. Rolled up paper. You unroll one. It's a star chart. A world globe. I'm gonna touch the book last. A pillar. A big window. Stars! The stars. Stars like the king's armor. 
Stars like the king keeps mentioning. Stars like... You should remember them. Something in you tells you you should. Every time you raise your head and look up at them, you feel like it's something you've done dozens, hundreds, thousands of times. But you can't remember any of it. You can't remember what you were even trying to see looking up at them. The king. Every time you face him, he asks you the same question. Do you remember? Remembering is not something you've, you're very good at. There's so much you can't remember. You're a very forgetful person, after all. You can't remember basic items. You forget where you're going half the time. You can barely remember his people's names. You notice you're starting to forget whole loops. You can barely remember anything that happened before you started looping in time. You can barely remember anything that happened before. Before? Before. Before... You breathe out and unclench your fists. What you can and can't remember doesn't matter much now, does it? The king? Does he want you to remember something? Does he... You should go back and ask the king what he wants you to remember later. Sif? You okay? Lost in thought, Sifrin. You open your eyes, smile, and shake your head. You have to keep going. Yeah, I think Sifrin... I genuinely do think this game is like an allegory for PTSD. Because we're literally relieving the trauma, experiencing it again and again, and something that you'll see often when it comes to trauma is grounding yourself in the moment, so focusing a lot on your present and current circumstances rather than uh, potential traumatic things in your past. Like, the only issue with that is that Obviously, when you're giving so much attention to the present, you do forget a bit of what's happened in the past. Both good and bad. Oof. That's why, like, it was interesting how none of the beginning of the game was, like, leveling and grinding, getting ready for this fight. It's only been this fight that we've been preparing for. So, lore-wise, I feel like it makes a lot of sense some books. Just looking at them gives you a headache. A telescope. Wait, I just noticed the X up top. Oh yeah, because this is a dead end anyway. Never mind. It's dusty. A pile of papers. Something is written on them. Looks like a child tried to write down the first word. That sure is some awful handwriting. And a determined child... Looks like they've tried to write the same word on all those papers. What well, word? But you're not able to read it. Okay, we're gonna have to loop back and figure out the lost language. For sure. You're not able to read it. There's a book in Kabu and open on the table. You all look at Odile. Oh, color theory. You don't really care about the book. You can go and reread the book in the secret library if you're so curious. Oh! Okay. Color theory. Oh. But we already read the color theory book. I'm looping. Touch it? Yes, sir. You froze yourself in time. Start again. Should I go? No, I don't need to go to the secret library. Let's just... Oh, shoot. Do I have the right thing equipped? I think I should have my key knife. We're going to the king. Loop 51. Why is it costing so much? That costed three loops now. What? 50. 50 loops. The big 5-0. You can do some math to figure out how many days, weeks, months you've been stuck here. You don't, always, you don't always spend very long in a single loop, but sometimes you do spend more than 24 hours in there, so doing the math would be easy enough. But you won't, because you're smart. You can guess what it would do to your brain. Back to it. Maybe each 
advancing in a floor costs an extra loop. Because I noticed when I loop to floor two, it costs two. And I loop to the king, it costs three. I don't know. Hi, Cupid. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Okay, it says loop 51. Oh, I just remembered. Because I was like, why isn't my save point saying the same amount of loops? It's because I haven't saved yet today. That's why it still says 29. <laughs> uh, okay, let's talk to Odile. I'm fine. I'm fine, I swear. Go away. Okay, I'm ready for the fight. King fight, attempt number five. And no, I did not lose four times. I only lost one. It's just I have to keep doing this fight over and over and over and over and over again. Smile. Or maybe I'm lying. Maybe the editor cut out all 50 attempts that I failed. No, I'm kidding. Let's just get right to it. Wait, you, traveler. Oda looks at you with an expression screaming, does he mean you or me? You look back at the king. Right one. Do you remember? Ah, uh, nothing new here. Do you? <laughs> no, that is not how it works, does it? We shall fight. See, nothing new. We just gotta talk to him during the fight. The knife key glows. Your attacks will hit harder against the king. Oh, boost everybody's attack. That's pretty crazy. Is that all for this part? Uh, yeah. You've heard this before. You ready, everyone? We're gonna talk to him about the stars. Ask the king. Where are you from? Huh? The king looks straight at you. What about you, bright one? Where are you from? You flinch. You do not answer. You cannot answer. You hear the king laugh. I think I got that mind control virus. What should I remember? Every single time you face him, he asks if you remember. There's something he thinks you should know. Should remember. But... Does it really matter, Cyprin? He could just be trying to confuse you. Yeah! Speaking of riddles to friend! Stop trying to confuse him! He hasn't forgotten anything! But you have, haven't you? You try not to think about it, but... But... What have I forgotten? Forgotten? Oh, bright one. Bright one what? Why would you ask? Don't you know at this point what you've forgotten? Haven't you always known? Can't you see the hole it left behind? If not what used to fill it? Don't you feel it? It's absence. My heart! What the crap is he? All of it! You've forgotten it all, right one. 
They all have. We all have. No one can say it. No one can even remember it. It escapes us. It will keep escaping us. Oh, why don't you remember? I can tell everything from your accent to the way you use craft, to the stitching on your cloak and hat, to those pins you wear. You should remember. You and I, of all people standing here, should remember. Right one. Please, please, just remember it. Say it. Make it real. Please, if you can remember, then, then maybe. What is happening? Is he okay? Something we've all forgotten. I haven't forgotten anything, stupid. Sif? Something you've forgotten. Something everyone has. Even if they don't pay attention to it. The hole it is left behind. Something bigger than just the stars. What you're trying to remember doesn't exist anymore, but... But someone might still have written proof it existed, hasn't they? That's all. Now we fight. It has to do with that written language that I cannot remember. We learned the language and... We learned the hidden language. There's written proof of a language. Then we go to the secret door that's on the far right side, left far right. The secret door with the hidden language written at the top. Okay, I'm locked in. Let's beat his ass. Boosting our defense at the start. Sifrin's turn. Let's do Regenerate. And Renegade. <laughs> it's just worth it to keep doing offensive moves at this point. Faster than us, uh oh. Turn it up right now.
I think Mirabelle's next turn, I gotta do the shield. Mirabelle's so slow compared to everybody else. should attack before the king. Yeah, she'll be able to. Let's make ourselves quicker. I usually don't do that in this faith, but I want to try it. I think Mirabeau just keeps me giving herself the broths. Yeah, my team is basically just full offensive. <laughs> Regenerate again. I will get the combo to kill the king. Oh, just about kill him. think that killing the king would stop it, you know what I mean? Because if allegedly they know that the timecraft is super powerful, do they really think that their wimpy attacks could take him out? I don't think so. Like before, as always, Maribel attacks bring the kings to his knees. Just say it! Stop wasting your characters and words on other things. Just say the secret. 
There's no way they have NDAs in this time period. You know what I mean? I didn't see a single lawyer in town. Back here. Also, hi, Vake. Is that a tier two I see in the chat? Hello. Can we get some yo's? Ow. We did it, guys. We totally are not gonna die. again. You look back once you talk to the head housemaiden. It's all over if you talk to her. But why? What if I just don't talk to her? Not talking to Odile first. I'm talking to everybody but Odile. Because Bonnie interrupts us. you forget though oh yeah because bonnie oh yeah bonnie interrupted us but they were like oh my god i have pineapple so if i ask if they have pineapple snacks then hopefully they won't interrupt okay 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 um and then mirabelle interrupts me talking to Bo, but that doesn't really matter i need to talk to oda Maybe I talk to Oda last. That way nobody interrupts us. Mirabel next, because Mirabel interrupted Bo last time. Before you forget, though, can we do a group hug after I speak to the head housemaiden? Oh, would you be okay with it? I'd love to. You know. You should make sure to talk to everyone before talking to Isabel. Oh, and then does Odell interrupt me talking to Bo? Okay, Odell, please, we need to tell you about looping. Interrupted me? What the frick? Okay, I clicked the dialogue option where instead of real or fake research, I said doing your research right instead of fake research. When I clicked fake research, that's when Odal was like telling me shit. Ugh. I did the wrong dialogue tree. Fuck me. That's fine. Talk to Bo. You wanted to tell me something? I... 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 Are you both finished? Please wrap it up so we can go. There's so much we have to do before we can go back to our lives. You two can talk later, okay? Oh, maybe I had to exhaust everybody's dialogue in different resets, and then I know to have them not interrupt us. Oh, gems. Did I interrupt? It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. Are you sure? I'm... <laughs> no problem. Don't worry about it. There has to be a better moment later. A better moment than saving the country. Ugh. Oh. Anyway, Sif, I'm glad this is over. I can't wait to go back to my old job, you know? To make sure I... Make sure to say hi when you're near Javante, okay? You know. 
Well, time to reset, guys. It's all over when you talk to her. Just a little longer. Is there any... Maybe there's a switch. It's a pillar. I can't click on that pillar? A pillar. A pillar. Why can I not click on this pillar? I, it's not letting me click on it. Clicking on everything around it? Weird. I can't click on the statue either. That is weird. I'll talk to her. This is the end. Traveling one! Are you done talking with your companions? Yes, wonderful. Wonderful. I'd like to thank you for accompanying young Maribel this far. I'm very grateful. Sifrin, yes? If there's anything I can do to thank you, please don't hesitate to let me know. Do you even see me? Am I real to you? Right now? Real? What do you... It's fine. She isn't real to you right now either. You wait for her to finish. The smell of burnt sugar again. It's been following you for a while. For so long you can't even remember when it started. But when you talk to her, it's overpowering. So overpowering you could throw up. Like, every time you're about to loop back in time, you feel a tug on your stomach. You usually don't pay attention to the tug, but there's nothing else to focus on right now. You wonder what that's all about. Any second now. You got to the end. Loop 53. You're back here again. Performing is getting tiring. Still here? I need to find the hidden language and find out what the secret is. Either way, I should talk to Lou. No, I still say good, okay. Debería hacer, pero I'm not sure what I should do, but look, it's it's skipping by two loops every time now instead of one. We were on loop 51 before. Now it's loop 53. You know, the loopflation is crazy these days. Let's continue on. Hi, Stardust. Hmm. Are you calling your party family members now? You know this sounds really awkward, right? You're awkward. Got him. Oh, somehow this one seems to have hit home. You feel a little bad. Anyway, how can I help you on this wonderful new loop? Bonnie was looking at a book. They were. And you found a copy of that book elsewhere. Life to Ashes, Death Rituals from Around the World. 
Why would, why would they look at this book? What would make them interested in this? You think you know the exact moment that made them think about this? It's when we're talking about rituals and I think the second eating spot. So do I need to go back to the eating spot? Because the book was on the third floor, I believe. What should I do next? You're doing so many different things. What do you need help with? I want to find more about the loops. What should I do now? I don't know if there's anything you can do to find out more about the loops right now, but you do have other things to do, don't you? You still have to find out more about the king, after all. You can go back to your loop quest after you're done with this, don't you think? Okay, fine. I need help to find more... About the king. What should I do now? The king says everyone has forgotten something, including himself, including you. But why would anyone write down what they've forgotten? Why would anyone know its importance if they can't remember? Except, you know, don't you? Something no one can remember. Something other than the stars. You have proof. You just need to go and find it again. You don't want to have to open that diary again, but you have to. Diaries were on the second floor library, I believe. That's where I figured I need to go next. I need help on how to help everyone. Which one, Stardust? Which family member? Bonnie? You got to hang out with that kid, didn't you? So all this time, they felt guilty because they feel like they're the reason you're half blind. What a silly idea. But they're dealing with a lot right now. Their sister is frozen in time. They had to run away from their home to escape the king's curse. And they had to see you and your stupid eye every day. No wonder they don't know what to do with all those thoughts rattling in their brain. No wonder that you felt like they hated you. But isn't it nice to not be hated anymore? Well, I suppose you're still hated now. What? Need a reminder of their favorite foods? Well, so far, you found out that they like rice, pineapples, and samosas with potatoes but no cheese. That's all of them, isn't it? Okay, so the family member dialogue just like gives me spoilers. Okay, I was right. I need to go find the diaries. Wait, maybe I'm a ghost? See you later, Stardust. They gently wave you goodbye. You give them a nod and walk away. Well, it's resetting time, guys. Also, I decided I'm not putting loop count in the title because it's generally getting really fucking annoying changing it so much today. I think today has been the the most loops. How do I, how do I get an infinity sign? Infinity sign. How do I copy it? Copy. Loop. Number. There we go. Loop number infinite. There we go. <sighs> well, time to die. Here we go. You broke your head open on a rock. Start again. Just to make sure it's not on floor one, because there was a book on floor one anyway, I think. We'll do the keys. Loop number 54. Okay, that was just one single loop. Yeah, I think if you go to loop two or floor two or three, it costs more loops, possibly. What a delicious death. 
Ooh, yummy! I also haven't seen a shadow of myself in a hot minute. Oh yeah, the board game closet. Dang it! I don't want to fight. You, beat it, you gained a lot of XP. Cyprin is now level 76. Damn, yeah, Sifrin has a thousand HP. Holy! Is this the book? Potarian Brigadian Translation Dictionary. Okay, that was not the correct book. books I cannot read. I definitely do probably have to get the diary book first. But I want to try to find the book that Bonnie wanted to read. That was clean. Forging room or metal forging, not forging. Nothing more to be- oh yeah, that's where the key was. Candle making room? Craftology? Or craftonomy? Okay, it was not on floor one. I think I'm just gonna reset and go straight to floor two. I don't wanna waste time finding the fucking keys.
It still seems like Sephirin's speed is not going up in correlation to their attack power. Like, yeah, Sephirin is, like, significantly faster than the allies, but it doesn't seem like it's the same rate as my attack was up. Damn it! <laughs> um, guys, click follow right now and I'll say thank you. I'm not even kidding. Guys, don't worry. We're beating this game today. Subathon. Tear time! The tear floats gently. Touch it. Yes. You froze yourself in time. Start again. Floor two with all the keys unlocked. Yes, sir. Loop 55. Yeah, I skipped two loops that time. You wake up. You're gentle about someone crying into nothing. Whose voice was it? To the library I go. And I believe it was to the left. Damn it! I tried to juke. Impossible. Impossible, what happened? The diaries are here. The bookcase is full with notebooks of all shapes and sizes. You look at the sparkly diary. Mirabel catches you looking. You probably should right now. We should what? Uh, sure. We don't have the time. That country's name, what was it again? Name of the country. You try to remember. 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 Only silence answers you. Is this what the king wanted you to remember? Just remember it. Say it. Make it real. You can't say it. You don't even want to try, but... You turn to Isabeau. But can you try and say the country's name anyway? Huh. But why? It's just gonna give me a headache. Isabeau looks at you. Something about your expression makes him reconsider. Well, sure, Sif. I'll say it. 
That country's name was... Was... Your mom. <laughs> you know, I had it before, but now that I'm actively trying to remember it, nothing comes to mind. Huh. Is that so? You're dumb, Za. I know it! It's... What? But... Wait. Huh? What's... Can't remember it either, yeah? When you asked me, answering you felt automatic. Like if you wanted me... Like if you asked me... Uh, when you asked me, answering you felt automatic. Like if you asked me what one plus one makes. But trying to remember it now is more like... Like calculating 72 times 89. Now that's 6,408. I have a brain, and I know how to use it. What? Isabel? Nah, I feel more like asking me to remember my first steps. How can I remember that? I can't remember that. How can you expect me to remember that? What a terrible analogy. But I can't seem to remember it either. When we were talking about it, I could think of it clearly, but trying to remember it now, let alone say it. I can't remember the country itself either. I just remember it was an island north of Vigard, and... And it had a different belief than the changed belief, didn't it? Something about the sky? You know. The universe. That's right! The universe! Oh yeah! Like stars and stuff. We also know that people could remember that country clearly before. And... Ah. Uh, my head is killing me. And we know that trying to remember stuff makes our brains hurt. Let's stop here. It'd be bad to fight the king with a raging migraine. Yeah. Sorry we couldn't say it, Sif. You don't respond. Stars. So the king is from that country as well. Did did that country get, like, genocided or something? Did it get drone striked? The country no one can remember. Your country. The country you were born and raised in, spent your entire childhood in, and yet... Even now, thinking about it, what it may have looked like? You can't even imagine it. For a long time now, you haven't been able to remember anything about it. You forgot it even exists, half the time. Anything linked to that country has just stopped existing for you. Your childhood, your parents, your life, your language, your culture, your faith, the stars, the constellations, the universe. It's all gone. Forgotten. The king. He was from there, you're sure of it. And then something happened, and the country disappeared without a trace, unable to be remembered by anyone. No one can remember what made everyone forget about its very existence. But something must have, right? But if it happened, if he's so attached to it, he asks if you can remember it every single time you see him. If he's so attached to that country, why would he be so obsessed with Vigard, then? Why would he decide to freeze it all in time? You can't figure it out quite yet, but there must be something somewhere. Something that's similar to his goal. Something somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna call Luke because I don't want to wander around aimlessly, to be honest. Call Luke. You make the secret hand sign and think about talking to Luke. You close your eyes. Wait, I only have one eye. <laughs> hello, hello. Luke speaking. Thank you for calling. How may I help you? I have a question about... Oh, that's the wrong thing. What should I do next? You're doing so many different things. What do you need help with? I need help to find more about the king. What should I do now? So the king is from that country. The country no one can remember. The way he asks if you remember every time you meet him. The way he talks about the stars. The universe, I never knew before. Never would have guessed. But then... 
Why is he so focused on Vagard then? Exactly. Why freeze Vagard in time, specifically? We know he appeared in Vagard in his adulthood. In the city of Corbeau, right? It's a nice place to live. And he must have stayed long enough to have put down some roots. He said earlier... He thought Vagard was perfect. Perfect. And yet he wanted to freeze it in time. Freezing something perfect in time. Somehow. It reminded me of something, but I forgot. <laughs> you should look around for something similar to what he wants. Come to me if you get stuck. I might have remembered what freezing something perfect in time is making me think of. Freezing something perfect in time. I don't know. Well, I'll just reset. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? I guess loop is kind of useful. I'll say it. Okay. Talk to you later, Stardust. I'll still look at the frozen library. Talk about colors. The moldy book of a language we can't read has a sparkly tree on it. Literally loop. I'm connecting the dots. Craft skills. Okay, nothing new in the library. I'm gonna just reset and talk to Luke. Fuck it. I am wasting no more time. Touch the tear? Yes. You froze yourself in time. Start again. Hello. Back to Joel Mount we go. Loop 57. You wake up. You dreamt you were eating a rotten apple. Your stomach hurts already. You know what else hurts for some people? Watching ads. But you know what? I gotta do it. Because guys, we're three hours in the stream. So if you're new here, click follow. And if you're already following, make sure you subscribe. That way you don't have to watch the ads. You can subscribe for $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee. And get ad previewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to Twitch and subscribe for free. Ain't no way. Click subscribe. See if you got that free sub available. Also, I'm going to have my lunch at probably 1.30 today. I'm not too hungry yet. I'm locked in. Oh, loop! Actually, I just realized I haven't saved it all today and it's been three hours. I should save. Oh, 
Hi, Stardust. Say, you've looped back a lot using tears, haven't you? Was it on purpose, or did you trip into them? Well... On purpose, I guess. Hmm. I suppose it is useful. It's a fast way to loop back. Isn't it tiring, though, having to walk back to find one? Are you tired? Are you annoyed yet? Are you trying to get on your nerves on purpose? Not on purpose. Just trying to make conversation. Wait, they read my mind. It is annoying to have to walk back every time, though. Right? Well, there's no faster way. And it's either this or die in a fight. So I'd say the cheers are better. Is it the only way? Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> No, I will not do that. I'm not going to play Sudoku. Yeah, there's no other way. Those tears are sure getting on my nerves, though. <laughs> so annoying, right? Okay, we just dodged the question. Cool. What should I do next? You're doing so many different things. What do you need help with? I want to find out more about the king. What should I do now? This, this is the same as earlier. Never knew before. Never would have guessed. But then... Why is he so focused on Vagard? Exactly. Why freeze Vagard in time, specifically? We know he appeared in Vagard in his adulthood. In the city of Corbeau, right? It's a nice place to live. And he must have stayed long enough to have put down some roots. He said earlier... He thought Vigard was perfect. Perfect. And yet he wanted to freeze it in time. Freezing something perfect in time. Like a picture. Oh! A picture?! How did I not think of that? A picture? How did I not think of the picture? I deal me the picture. Okay, we're going back. But when we loop to floor three, I have to not unlock the keys because then I get to take a picture. You know, today it's kind of sad, because I'm literally just resetting and resetting and resetting. You broke your head open on a rock. Start again. Floor three, but no keys. Loop 58. You're annoyed there isn't a more dignified way to loop back in the village. Oh, this is new. Your research? Why are you putting quotes around research? We were planting seeds. I'll talk to Oda one more time. Go away now. I need my alone time. Man, I was so close to breaking Oda out earlier. photo room. A mirror. You and your family members are reflected in it. You take the picture. Everything looks the same. It's a picture of all of you. You 
put the picture in your pocket along with your souvenirs. You're glad to have the picture back. It's proof. Proof that you're here on this journey. Proof that you were with your family members. Proof that you love them. Even if you forget, and you forget a lot, it's proof that you and your friends existed. Proof that you were happy. Proof that this moment happened. Perfectly frozen in time. What? Light bulb. After the country was forgotten, the king was welcomed by Vigard, wasn't he? Welcomed and helped and loved. To the point where he sees Vigard as perfect. But no one knows why the country was forgotten. What's keeping Vigard from being fro What's keeping What's keeping Vigard from being forgotten the exact same way? Wasn't it his duty, as thanks for welcoming him, to make such a fate would never befall Vigard? What else could he do? But make sure this perfect country was preserved in amber forever. Oh, amber! Like resin, that's why it smells sweet like sugar. How could he ever let go? You understand the king more than you'd like to, but... But still, he's... You want to talk to him again. Am I the bad guy? Am I the villain? Well, guys, it's resetting time. We're going to the king. You had a good sleep. Start again. To the king, I go. Loop 59. You wake up. You dreamt about someone crying into nothing. Whose voice was it? Oh, Dial? I'm looping. I need to tell you right now. Let me tell you. Everything's fine, but I'm looping. Mm. Here we go again. King fight number six. Oh, wait, my camera went out. When it go out? <laughs> uh, awkward. You guys didn't see it, but I, I stuck up my tongue. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, editor, fix it. Maybe it's the game that's, like, shitting itself. Oh, I just realized. I haven't used my Switch in forever. That's probably why it's bugging. Okay, it's back. Let's see if the audio synced. It good. Let's just get right to it. You, traveler. Bright one. Do you remember? Does it even matter? But... What else does? We shall fight. Oh, he said he says, and we shall see what side of the universe favors. So he believes in the universe. Everybody else is like clueless. What is the universe? The metaverse? Okay, I'm locking in. Then I have key gloves. Your attacks will hit harder against the king. Zone out. Uh, yes, sir.
Oh, I pressed Y and it just sped through the dialogue quickly instead of skipping it. Weird. I'm gonna talk. Ask the- Oh no, I misclicked! Uh, cut this out. God is perfect. Ask the king. No, I misclicked again! I'm sorry, y'all. The king. Where are you from? Will he say it if you ask? Oh. I don't know why it's going so fast. Stop! It's. Oh, Bright One, if you're asking with such a look in your eye. Do you remember then? Do you see it? Can you picture a Bright One? Bright One, please, you can. You have to remember. I know you can. We both can. What's the only one's present? Sifrin, what is he talking about? Sif, are you okay? Bright One, no, you're trying, I can tell, but the knowledge keeps escaping you, doesn't it? Slipping through your fingers. It's the same for me. But we have to try to remember, Bright One. I see flashes of it. The mountains, the sea, the light, the sand, dark light, the night sky, our country, Bright One. Our country, our home. We have to say it. We cannot let oblivion win our home. We have to rebuild it together, your power and mind. We just have to wish for it. We just have to ask. We just have to say its name. Okay. I don't know why the text was going so. Fast? I think it's because I pressed Y by accident. Ah! Oh. Huh? Okay, stop! Why is it- Okay, I don't know why the text is going so fast. I think- <laughs> I think I, like- I think my Y button's broken. Let me fix it. I think it just perma is holding Y. Hi, Ethan. Can we get some yo? Controllers and centers. Uh, how do I test it? Update controllers. All controllers are up to date. Calibrate control stick. Okay, it's good. Okay, if I if I if I fucked up the game, oh well. <laughs> if my controller is broken, oh well. You heard it. He tried to say it. No, it's gone. It's gone. Did he say it? You couldn't hear. You can't remember it. What's happening? The king is attacking Sif. Everyone protect him. Stop talking, king. Leave her alone. Your head. It feels like it's splitting in two. Your country. Your home. You can't remember it. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Gone from your past. Gone from your mind. Gone from the very plant you stand on. From the very yours. It's yours. It was yours, and it's gone. You can't even say its name. But if he, if he, the king could, if the if the king could, maybe. Okay. I'm gonna say it. You have to say it. If he couldn't do it. Right one, please, please, you inhale. Try to grasp it. Grasp its name. Okay, I can't press any buttons there. Oh my god, I'm dying! Ah, oh, no! Your throat, your head. It hurts, it hurts, you spit blood, you hack up, you have to get it out. Right, when I almost heard it, I- Please again, once again, we have to try, together! Your entire body hurts. Say it. Your head is killing you, but you have to try, you have to. We have to stop the king. Separate, whatever he's telling you to stop, separate, separate! <laughs> but you have to, what do they know anyway? What do they understand anyway? The pain of not remembering your own binding country. Your king is right, you have to get it back, you have to get it back. You inhale. Dang it! So 
Someone is screaming, you realize it's your own voice. Your throat feels raw and your head feels like it's splitting in two. Your stomach feels like a, a black hole. The scent of sugar is all around you. So sick, you're all gonna gag on it. You can't hold on to any longer. Any more. You die. But it's all gone. Loop number 60. Ah. Oh, wait, maybe that sequence is just supposed to go fast. Because now I can press normally. Wait, maybe that sequence is supposed to go really, really fast. I can't tell with it, to be honest. I can I take really, really fast. Listen to me talk really, really fast. You know what? I've always said this. I would be a great auctioneer if I didn't have my stutter. Okay, so I guess that was intentional. <laughs> I genuinely thought my controller was broken, but it's not. Okay, cool. Goaded. Will you cry if any main characters die? They die, like, every single attempt. What are you talking about? Have you seen me shed a single tear? No. But no, I'm not super attached. Ah. You cough. 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 You cough until you can't move or even breathe anymore. Your throat hurts. You couldn't say it. You couldn't say it. What was the point, anyway? What was the point of saying his name? What was the king thinking? It's gone. Your home is gone. It has been for a long time. There's nothing you could do to bring it back. Doesn't the king see that? Doesn't he see that you have to let it go? You start laughing. Will you ever take your own advice? You need to go and talk to the king. One last time. Let's go, Vominos. Everybody, let's go. Here again. Also, Ethan, don't worry, you did not miss Bo confessing, but he literally said L-O. He was gonna say he loved me. But don't worry, I would never miss that. I was waiting just for you. Okay, we're dying. In game. Step closer. Uh, yes sir? Here we go. He slipped on a banana peel. Start again. Use 20? It costs 20? What is this inflation I'm seeing? What a delicious death. Odile, please, I need to tell you that we're looping. We're looping. We're a second and infinite loop. Please listen to me, Odile. Please listen. We physically cannot tell Oda what's going on. Open up to your friends. I'm locked in. Okay, so that was technically a loss against the king. My win ratio is down right now. But don't worry, we'll get those numbers back up. I was gonna say I look better than you. Whoa. Beauty is subjective, smile. Oh, I meant to skip this. Do you remember? Does it even matter? But, what else does? We shall fight and see which side the universe favors. Lock in, everybody. I meant the king, not me. Well, we haven't seen the king's face yet. He keeps hiding it, so like we truly don't know if he's ugly. The knife key glows. 
Your attacks will hit harder against the king. I don't want to kill him! Maybe he's not the bad guy! Get ready, everyone. We're talking to him. <laughs> Let's stop fighting. Sifrin? What are you? You don't need to fight anymore, do you? You understand what the king wants. How he feels. If only you can make him understand. We don't have to fight. We're looking for the same thing. I know. I understand why you're doing this. But this isn't the way to do it. We can protect this country another way. You don't have to freeze it forever. Do you really want it all to end? Let's just stop fighting. Leave this country be. We don't need to keep holding on to it. Let's just... Let it go. We have to let it go, King. Damn, that's so real. Aye. Perhaps you are right, right one. Huh? What? Let us stop this battle. Let us talk to one another. As people from the same country. <gasps> Finally! The king has stopped fighting you. You lower your dagger. Sifrin! Is... Is this it? You're gonna stop just like that? Boniface. You destroyed my home, froze my sister, froze all of the garden time, and you'll just stop? J just like that? Oh. Oh. I will. I have fought for long enough. And I'm starting to realize that even if I did win, my victory would be short-lived. Because you'd be frozen in time yourself, maybe? Stupid. Perhaps, but if someone from my own country is the one asking, then I shouldn't I listen? Oh, oh, after all, only a fellow compatriot would understand my pain. You said you and Sifrin are from the same country? We, we don't know where Frim is, we don't know where Frim is from, so... What happened? The king cries out. Oh. Oh. But that's the problem, isn't it? That's what we'd like to know as well, isn't it? If I mention it, you might be able to remember it for a brief second. The fate of the island north of Vagard. An island north of Vagard. Is it perhaps the one we can't say the name of? Voldemort? The one no one can remember anything about. That very one. That's where you're both from? So then, what happened? The king sobs. I suppose your story might be similar to mine, bright one. One day, I just woke up on a beach. On the coast north of Vagard. I woke up slowly, as people sometimes do. Expecting to remember where I was, what I was supposed to be doing that day. But nothing came to mind. And as I realized nothing came to mind, I also realized I could not remember a single thing. What I was doing here on this beach, what chores I had to do on that day. How I got here. Why I didn't recognize my surroundings. My past. My family. 
my name, the language I spoke, the alphabet I wrote with, the stars, the country's inhabitants, culture, beliefs, its very name. I could not remember anything because all my memories, everything even slightly connected to the country I came from, just cannot be accessed easily anymore and it makes sense doesn't it no one on this planet can remember our home as it was most people from outside it who had limited ties to it only forgot the country's existence maybe forgot a friend from there or a distant family member but for someone who had ties to it, who was born there, lived in it, breathed its day and night, there would be nothing to remember. There would just be emptiness. Oh yeah, the empty key is what we picked up right before the king's door opened. I was cut off from my very existence. My entire past my entire identity erased by erasure. I empathize. Memories make up the core of who we are, don't they? They're proof that we existed, that we are real. Can you be certain of anything if you do not remember how you learned it? And if you do not remember your past? If you only know it has been erased from your memory because something happened to your home. And if something happened, but no one remembers what or why, then... Then what's stopping from it happening again? What if we forget it all? What if we lose it all once more? The king sobs. And you had to make sure it wouldn't happen again. At any cost, necessary. And if the universe led you on this path, then it must be what the universe wants. The universe leads. We can only follow. <laughs> oh. Oh. Even if you don't agree with my methods, bright one, I can tell you understand. No matter what, I could not let this happen again. I could not. Not to Vagard. Not to Vagardians who housed me, cared for me, loved me. I do not want to forget it all. Not again. I will keep the things I love close to me. I will make sure they can keep existing so that they can be remembered forever. He's such a child. That was what I thought this whole time, this whole time, but <laughs> I can see that I was mistaken. You're right, right one. We can find another way to protect the people we love. So please, while I still can, let me change my mind. Let me help you. Oh, Mirabelle lowered her weapon. Change? Mirabelle. Madame, if he truly means it, shouldn't we try? Or are we deciding he cannot change? I can't believe that. I want to believe that even the worst person can change. Ooh, dis. Hmm. Odal? Please, we have to try. I'm with Mira and Sif. Fine. Okay, I'll follow you, friend, but I don't know. I. I'll trust you all. I can't. I can't do anything anyway. You breathe out. If you can end this loop without fighting. If you and the king can come to an understanding, 
Oh, then, right one, Sifrin, won't you stand next to me? He's gonna tumble us into the ground. I can bring everyone back. Make sure they're all move again. We can save this country together. Why together? But I cannot break the curse on my own. Creating the curse was easy, but unraveling it asked for more power than I possess. But with the help of someone else, someone who truly wishes for the curse to be lifted. Is that how it works? It does. If someone wants it enough, do I want it though? Sifrin, should I do it? Do I truly want it though? Yeah, it's it's been it sucks to like have to do it over and over again, but it ensures that like I keep my friends safe. If I didn't have the looping power, everybody would I would have been dead. Ages ago, hours ago, months ago. Do I super and truly want it to be done and over? Yes, I do. Go to the king side. If all that's needed for the curse to break is your help. You're the one who made the king change his mind. The least you can do is help. You start to walk over to the king. <laughs> oh, bright one. Not that bright after all. Huh. Ah. No, no, Bo. No, no, why? The king froze your bodies in time. You can think and move your head still, so it's not over, but you can't move. No, no. King, you... I can't move. Why can't I move? <laughs> Bright one. Sifrin. Is this really all I needed to do? To make you trust me? I just need to listen to your empty words. To tell you how sad I am. To make you think I was pathetic. To be pitied. You should have told me sooner. Killing you like this is easier than fighting. What? No! Everyone! What was it you wanted me to do? Let go of my goal. Let go of my wish. Let go of that wish that kept me going all those years. I will never let it go. Vagard, our country. I'll make sure they are kept perfect forever. Because, oh, I can tell, Sifrin, this isn't how it should be. I saw it all, you know. I saw the signs. The way you came in to face me. Like you knew exactly what you were about to fight. The way your companions all flinched, hearing my voice, but not you. The way you knew about my home. The way you can keep it at the forefront of your mind, like you've practiced as I have. Yes. Oh. Oh, I can tell. I can tell, Sifrin. I should have won. I should have won long ago. But something went wrong, didn't it? Victory keeps escaping my grasp. Sifrin, it's you, isn't it? The one who's keeping me from winning. How many times have you kept me from victory, Sifrin? Um, like, four. You can't breathe. What is he talking about? What? <laughs> I can tell. I can feel it. The scent. This overpowering sweet scent. I can taste the power of wishcraft on you. Huh? Wishcraft? I'm a witch! I can tell, Sifrin. It's you. 
You're the one keeping me from total victory. You're the one keeping me from my perfect ending. If only, if only you weren't here. I told you he was going to pummel me. But, ah, uh, a quick death would be too easy for you. You just come back anyway, won't you? So, I just need to make sure that today, you learn your lesson. <gasps> no, not Bonnie! No! The king grabbed onto Bonnie. Bonnie! No. Curse you, king. Let him go. <laughs> right one. Sifrin. Look at me. You need to learn to not cross me again. I will kill this child. And your housemaiden. And your fighter. And your researcher. I will kill them all. One after the other. I will kill them all now, and make sure you remember. I will force you to watch, so you will learn. Friend! Oh. The king is tightening his crit. Bonnie! No! Please, no! Come on, stupid boy, move! Or body. <laughs> Boniface! No, no, no! Bonbon! Bon. None of you can move. Your whole body hurts. You can't move, but you have to do something. Save Bonnie. You need to find a way to loop back somehow. You need to die. A tear, anything. Just loop back. Help me! I'm scared. Just let them go, please. Not Bonnie. Please. Your stomach feels like it's caving in on itself. Okay, if I had the Sudoku perk, I would use it now. Curse you, king. Curse you and your whole country. Whoa! Oh, thou being xenophobic! Uh-oh! <laughs> Curse you and everything you stand for. You taste sugar on your tongue. Bonnie! Oh! You have to loop back. Loop back, loop back, loop back. Loop back! Friend! When you come back, bright one, remember this. Loop back. Friend! <laughs> Go back, go back, go back. I died before I saw anything! I'm not traumatized! 64. Huh. Stars. No, no, no. You clutch your chest and try to catch your breath and forget. It's fine. You look back. It's fine. I it's fine. They're fine. Bonnie's fine. Looping resets everything. Everything that just happened has been erased. Everything is back to normal. Bonnie's back to normal. Just go and see them. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. You're fine. A whimper escapes you. No. You're okay. Bonnie's okay. Everyone's okay. They have to be okay. Just breathe. Breathe, 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 breathe. Bonnie. Bonnie is okay. You're okay. Huh, see? Because of the way loops work, they won't remember anything. They're not hurt. Everything is back to normal. There's no reason loops work differently this time. Just breathe and stand up and make sure. Go back to the stage. Follow the script. You have to make sure Bonnie's okay. Ziprin, you're... Oh, Change, you look... You look really, really tired. I thought you were taking a nap. Did you not sleep well? Uh, not really. <laughs> I just saw everybody I love die. My family die. Oh, no. I'm 
sorry to hear that. I was gonna tell you something, but forget about it. Go on and do whatever you need to today, okay? Uh, sure. Do you know if Bonnie's okay? Bonnie? Why wouldn't they be? I saw them near the fields earlier to the east if you'd like to talk to them. He nod. Okay. I I'll leave you alone. Make sure to rest up and we'll meet for dinner at the clock tower later. You nod again. Have it takes over and you tell her about the carrot method. Wait, how do you know about that? You need to see if Bonnie's okay. See, the king planted little seeds in my head. That everything will not be okay. But you know what? Everything will be okay in the end. As long as you keep living, you'll thrive. Eventually. Might not be right now, but one day you will. Bonnie's here. Alive and whole. Bon Bon. Huh? What did you... Bonnie? How are you? I'm... Okay. Good. And... How are you? You look bummed out. What's wrong? Nothing is wrong at all. Okay. Well... Um... What do you want? Nothing. You have to go and see Luke. Huh? I can't talk any further. Uh-oh, the loop is broken. I broke the loop. Loop, I'm coming to Tromadum! So, whoa, what's wrong? I need to do the favor tree thing. Oh, do you need me to leave? Sure, but let's talk later, okay? Hey, stop. Just say I told you so and we can move on. I told you so. <laughs> what a stupid idea you had, thinking the king to be Thinking the king could be turned good. He's the king. He's probably the reason you're here, or related to it at least. And all you have to do is find out he shares your tragic backstory for you to feel pity for him. He didn't have to lift a finger. And because of you, Bonnie was. Okay, don't rub it in. Anyway, I told you so, but what he said back then... He mentioned something. Something about wishcraft? He did. What's wishcraft? I don't know. Wishcraft? Crafting wishes? That sounds impossible and way too convenient. But he seemed to imply you were using it. That's what it felt like to me. I've never heard of wishcraft before. Me neither. I wouldn't even know where to find information about it, but that is new information. So, as stupid as the whole making friends with the king was, you did find something new. Was it worth it? Every time you close your eyes, my single eye actually, you still see a hand tightening. I'm also wondering, the way you looped last time, wasn't it? I think I just gave myself a heart attack and I just- uh I think that's what happened. Whatever. It's not like your kid will remember what happened anyway. Just put it behind you. And this whole thing gave you something else, didn't it? Another memory to equip. Oh. You didn't even notice. You'll always remember this after all. Let me do the usual. You got a memory of memories. When equipped, memory of memory allows you to read books you couldn't read before. That's you! The ones written in that language that just gives you a headache. The ones from your country. Yes! Oh, how useful and neat to be able to read your own blinding language. You might as well read any books you find before you forget again, like you do everything else. And 
if you can't and if you can read that English and if you can read that language, maybe you can explore the house a bit more. Don't despair, Stardust. There's still a path to follow. In the meantime, though, how can I help you on this wonderful new loop? Nice. Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. Bo is gone. Memory of Memories. That's equipped now. I'm gonna go do everybody's tasks again. Mm. Is this a town where I do the whole game again? I'm not sure. Let's see if Bo is gone. Oh, Bo is still here. Okay. Actually, I don't want to do all the keys again. I'm just going to respawn at every floor. The scent of the banana peel makes you want to throw up. Step closer? Why not? You broke your head open on a rock. We're going to spawn at every single floor with keys unlocked and then go in every single room. Plan is simple. Boys. Pent loop number 69. <laughs> You'll never be able to stomach the scent of bananas without throwing up. So we're going to look in every single room that might or may not have words in it. Uh, no words in this room? Reading is for nerds, anyway. Okay, this note just says bad handwriting. I skipped past it, but the note has a drawing of somebody hanging out upside down. They look like they're about to die, but they're smiling. The bottom says the hanged man. Uh, okay, um... Awkward. This room has the craft autonomy. Dude, imagine using your craft skill to make candles. I'm sorry, that's the lamest shit I've ever heard. And that goes for real life too. It seems like every person is trying to have like a side hustle. Which, I kind of am too, you know, I click go live and I paint. But, you're making shit that's not your own ideas. Like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Like, everybody who has candles, they all look too similar. They all look the fucking same. I just don't think it's as chill when non-artistic and non-creative people try to commoditize a craft when they when they themselves aren't inherently like artistic because then they're not making things that are truly their own or creative or original you could say Like, I get wanting to, like, try new hobbies, but don't commoditize it.
Okay, the devil resisted paper. That means it's scissor type, so we gotta do rock. was paper. I lied. I also hate when, like, people start making candles or start making slime just for sale. Like, as intended to just make money. I don't like that. I don't like how a lot of, like, art and crafts has become part of, like, the hyper-consumerism, like, trend we've seen recently. I don't like it. And I'm not saying to, like, stop supporting those people. Obviously, if they're making shit and you like it, buy it. It's your own money. But it's just the attitude feels different. I've said something along the lines of this before, but since so many things are so much more accessible, things are cheaper, more people are doing more crafts and making art. Wait, didn't I do fucking paper? What the fuck? I misclicked. I just think people should... Just attack, that's new. Deals massive scissor damage to all enemies. But it doesn't give a jackpot point. Ooh, that's kind of crazy! That's new. When did I unlock this? like any type of creative or artistic thing there has to be intent behind what you do and if your intent is just to make money i think that's icky you should make things because you enjoy making it or you want to express yourself not to make money if i wanted to make money on my art i would charge three times as much because that's what market is but i don't That's dumb. God damn. Sifrin is so cool. This was the room that had the croissant book. No, it had the language book, I think. The bookcase is filled with many books written in many languages. Bagardian, Paterian, Mudu. One of them is written in your language. You can read it now. It seems to be a theoretical essay about how to use wishcraft. Ain't no way! Wishcraft. So it is real. The essay seems too complicated for you to understand right now. You should find information about wishcraft elsewhere and come back to this later. No! Since the king is the one who told you about wishcraft, you don't want to ask him anything. But is there some place that's related to him? The door. The door. The door. The big door on floor three. Why can't I read the book now? Just take the book, put it in your pocket! We have infinite pockets, just put it in your fucking pocket! Okay, good thing I checked here.
I'm tired. Tired of repeating the same blinding lines over and over and over again. I just don't know much to say. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. The same sentiment I have towards people who make candles just to make candles to make money are the same people who start streaming just to make money. You're not gonna enjoy it if you're doing something just to commoditize it. That goes for anything. It's like people wanting to become doctors because they want a fat paycheck. You're gonna hate your fucking life. That's a lot of work to put in. I know it's easier said than done to like pursue your passions but genuinely if you have the privilege to do so do it fuck it you might as well try okay no more books on floor one fuck after this fight we're gonna reset and go to floor two And you know what else is gonna happen during this fight in ad break? Because guys, we're four hours in. I'm gonna beat this game today, surely. If you don't want to add, subscribe. See if you get a free sub or a prime, do it. I really do need it. <laughs> Just kidding. How many subs do I have? Oh my god, 65. Holy shit. Tear flows gently. Touch it? Yes. We're going to floor two, baby. You had a good sleep. Start again. Loop number 73. You wake up. You dreamt you were falling, falling, falling. You feel unsteady. Yeah, I'm dizzy. Now I see how people got like a hundred loops. Like if I would have, like if I could have beaten the king first try, it would only would have been like three loops. Not even kidding. I'm like that goaded. No books here. Wait, no. There's gardening books here. There's there's some gardening books about rare and proper plants. None of them catch your eye. Yeah, we're not a nerd. <laughs> Easy. Oh. I don't think there were any books in there. Surely. And if there were, oh well. My nose is itchy. Itchy Nissan Shigoro. The library. Heavy book. Awkward.
But this is the diary shelf. There's no time. You get away from the diary. Books about the house of change. And this bookcase had the key. I know there was one forgotten language book in the secret library. books. Color theory. The bookcase is filled with some old moldy books. One of them is written in your language. You can read it now. Actually, you can't. There's a lot of hard words in there. You don't know what this is even about. Maybe you should go back to it later. I think we just have to go straight to the door at floor three. Okay, so I'm gonna write down. So we're gonna go secret library. Secret library. Locked. Floor number one. You know, I'm gonna know this place like the back of my hand by the end of this playthrough. Yes, I did roll my eyes there. Sifrin is now level 77. Damn it. <laughs> We're beating this game today. If I don't beat this game today, I'm never streaming again. Should we put a timer on, like, Kai Sinat stream? Now to explore the right side. Cause right is right. Hell yeah, brother. Oh my god. Sifrin. No other names, no last name. Just like me, peace in. 
The bookcase is filled with some books about many, many random things. There's a book about something called bonding earrings. You pick up the book and flip through it, waiting for Mirabel to comment. Follow the script. Some school books, mathematics, geography, crafting, art, sewing, cooking. Yeah, no new books yet. Not this guy. Just attack. Easy. You breathe in and out. Okay, I guess that is the hardest enemy so far. Also, guys, I have to use the bathroom really quick. You know what to do. Put your favorite emote in chat. I want to see it.
Yep. Today, I have the Atkins iced coffee mocha flavor. Que delicioso. Let's go, Vamanos. Everybody, let's go! Wait, I kind of forgot where I am. Oh, I went the wrong way. I'm supposed to keep going right. Me all be day, pero está bien. This was the mirror room. Nope. This is still floor two. Mail be day. No books there. Yeah, down here is the trap room. Tear time! Touch it. Yes, sir. On to floor three. You had a good sleep. Start again. I'm using a lot of glimmers. Loop number 75. You wake up. You dreamt about stars, stars, stars. You wanna cry. Am I from, like, the moon? I think I'm from the moon. I think I'm gonna go to the door first. Because it seems like I can't understand the text until I go to the door. Here we are again. This gate is locked. It's locked by one of those weird word locks. There's something written about the lock too. Maybe you should take a closer look. Look at it curiously. You look at it. It's about to see as you look. Oh, it's- Yeah, I know that it's a word lock. The door has a sentence written about the lock, too. Such an imposing door, though. I don't remember even seeing it before. Hmm. There's some text written about the door, though. Look. It says... Youch. Youch. No, no, it, it's just... My head hurts. Oh, yeah, because they're remembering it. Try to read what's written. You can read it now. 
It's asking a question. You answer it aloud. The door unlocks. What's the question? Huh? What did you say, Sif? I couldn't hear it either. Did you say something? You open the door. That's the same icon that showed when we try to recall the country's name. Wow. Oh my god, the universe! The planets! I think... If my alien theory is correct... <laughs> I've been saying this whole time that Sifrin is an alien. Star charts. It's a pillar. That sure is a pillar. It's... What is this? It has a lot of balls attached to it. And there's a lever here. If we turn it, it seems the balls will move around this big middle ball. Does it represent something? It looks familiar somehow. Yes, I feel like I've seen something like this before. It's called an Ori. An Ori? It's a machine that calculates the positions of astronomical objects. Astro what? Like stars and planets and stuff. Who would need to calculate this? <laughs> For once, Sifrin hasn't forgotten something, but we all have! Weird. Huh? A telescope. It's broken. And has cobwebs on it, too. A drawer. You open it. There's a beautiful hat inside. It's very similar to yours. You got the starry hat. You put the hat in your pocket to equip later. I want it now. I want it. You know that I want it. The fame and the fortune and more. I want it all. That's the only line I know from that song. I liked High School Musical a lot. Starry Hat. Boost defense, a stack bead, and crit chance. Heals 5% HP every turn? <gasps> that is so OP! The fabric lining the inside of the hat is filled with stars. Versus... A stack speed and crit chance. Oh, so it's like the starry hat, but like less cool. <laughs> I'm so glad I checked that drawer. Well, that's cool. It's clear. Star charts. A bookcase. All the books are so old, they'd probably disintegrate in a single touch. The final book. A journal with a star on its cover. It looks very old. Feels like it break apart in one touch. I want to read it so bad. Please, let's stop wasting time in reading every book we come across. But if the book has a star on it, it must be important, right? You get closer to the book. Uh, fine. Let's do it. Be careful handling it, though. Mirabel carefully takes the book in her hands and flips through the pages. Hmm. It's a little long. Seems like it's the diary of a very sad person. Why sad? What happened to them? They don't actually say. It just feels like they lived through some hard times, and everyone around them seems to brush their worries aside. Wait, that's so real. Everyone is acting as if everything's fine when this person continues to suffer. Bummer. More like boring. Read a passage. Um, sure. Well... No one can understand what I've been through. Not my friends, not my family. No one. If no one can understand me, if I'm doomed to never be truly seen by another, if I'm the only one who can understand what I've gone through, then couldn't I just create another cell? Another me? Someone I could talk to? Who could understand? Huh? Oh, interesting. Now we're getting somewhere. Talking to another self to come to terms with what they've gone through. But in the end, they'd still be alone, right? Sometimes. You just need a voice that answers back, Bonbon. Bon. Hmm. It would be just an echo chamber, though. You'd never get any good conclusion, talking to yourself endlessly. I suppose they felt so alone, they saw no other recourse, though. But tell me, Mirabelle. Do they get a rude wake-up call? As they realize creating another self is absolutely impossible. Yeah. Using craft to change a body is already hard enough. Creating a whole new one. And identical to another? And a- And one able to talk back? That's just impossible. Um... They 
spend a good chunk here trying to figure out how to do it. It's a lot of complicated theory. The writing seems to be getting more frantic, too. It's barely legible in places. Of course. Realizing this can't be done. That's kind of sad. Oh? This page. It only has a few words, but... I figured it out. How to create another me. Body craft didn't work. Crafting clay didn't work. Nor wood. Or marble. Nothing worked. But one thing could. Wishcraft. Wishcraft will make my wish come true. I just have to do it. I just have to ask. Ain't no way. Wishcraft. The king mentioned wishcraft before, didn't he? He seemed to apply what's used to trap you in this time loop, didn't he? So it is real. It's real. It's real. You hide your smile by covering your mouth. Sifrin? And then? And then? Oh, and then? Mirabelle turns the page. Oh, my wish came true. I will always be understood now. Ha! Huh. Happy for them, I suppose. So they did it? They created another them? With wishcraft? What's wishcraft? Surely a type of craft they invented for this tale. As you've said, it's impossible to create a copy of herself. Interesting premise, though. It making this fictional tale look like an old diary was interesting. Too bad wishcraft isn't real, though. I'd wish for stuff, too. But it is real. It has to be. It, it has to be. You have to tell Loop about this. This journal looks older than you are. This rum is very dusty, too. You're probably the only one who's entered it in years. You wonder who wrote this. I bet Loop wrote this diary. I bet you five bucks. Now that I've read that diary, I kind of want to go back and find those other books. But first, I'm going to see if there's any secret text on the right side here. And then we'll go talk to Luke. Shit. There was no books in the bottom right side. I know that for sure. This was the classroom? No, it was not. Picture room. Okay, since I can't go to the right, I genuinely don't remember what was to the right side. I'll go check the bottom right most room. I think that was the room that had the dog and the girl. They have to see. Shape. 
Nice. Now we die. You had a good sleep. I'm gonna go back to floor two and floor one. So we have to go to the secret library in floor two. And then the locked room in floor one. Loop number 78. You wake up. You dreamt about stars, stars, stars. You wanna cry. Yeah, I'm back in the secret library. This was the color show. This was the carrot. And I think this was the secret language shelf. Yeah. The bookcase is filled with moldy old books. One of them is written in your own language. You can read it now. Actually, you can't. There's a lot of hard words in there. You don't know what this is even about. Maybe you should go back to it later! Really? Oh yeah, I probably have to read the book about theory first, which is on floor one. I'll try that. Tartar sauce. Oh, you know what sounds delicious? Fish and chips. It's been forever since I've had fish and chips. Touch the tear, yes sir. We're going back to floor one, baby. You froze yourself in time. Loop number 80. You wake up. You're trying to about stars, stars, stars. You want to cry. Locked door was to the right. And we're in. It's on the bookshelf back here. The bookcase is filled with many books written in many different languages. The Guardian, Patarian, Wudu. One of them is written in your language. You can read it now. It seems to be a theoretical essay about how to use wishcraft. Wishcraft. So it is real. This essay seems too complicated for you to understand right now. You should find more information about wishcraft elsewhere and come back to this later. What? Since the king is the one who told you about wishcraft, you don't want to ask him anything. But is there someplace that's related to him? Okay, do I genuinely have to talk to Luke? Oh, uh, Luke! You make this secret hand sign. 
Boop. I'll talk to you now. Hello, hello. Loop speaking. Thank you for calling. How may I help you? I have a question. Actually, not a question. What should I do next? Sure, Stardust. What do you need help with? I need to find more about the king. What? No option? On how to help everyone. Which one, Stardust? Oh yeah, this is for the family missions. Nothing, actually. I want to find more about the loops. What should I do now? Oh yeah, because witchcraft is looping. Um, have you found anything new? I wasn't watching. You have to go and talk to Loop in person? In serio? You know, I was like, I'm gonna do those books again to be proactive, and the game punishes me for being proactive for once? What do you need? I need nothing. I, I need to go home. Talk to you later, Stardust. You're so annoying. I'm sorry, Loop. You're so annoying. Let's get the fuck out of here. Touch it? Yes. That was a waste of like 10 minutes. Editor, I'm sorry. You were getting paid hourly, but... I guess there's overtime this week. Back to Dormont. Loop 82. You wake up. You dreamt about stars, stars, stars. You want to cry. But stars are cool. I'm locked in. Oh, I can stay silent now? Creep up on him. Huh? Sif! I didn't see you there. Anyway, I was just looking at the favorite tree. Isn't this tree cool? Q joke. That's funny, I didn't realize approaching it from the side would scare him. That's so cute. He has to do it. You'll never do it yourself, but he won't touch you because he thinks you don't want him to. And you can't say it, because that's embarrassing. That's life-ending, even. Asking for someone's touch. But please, you think. Please, please, please. A flicker of movement makes you look at his face. He looks... stricken. Sad. Seeing a look at him, he laughs and brings his hand down. You wonder what face you were making as you were waiting for him to touch you. I'm gonna go so you can do your thing with the tree. But do you want to talk before I go? I can stay silent again. This is awkward. Okay, my turn. Hmm, what's a good joke? Well, what for? Well, to make you laugh, duh. You always make me laugh with your puns, so it's my turn. But why? Uh, because we're friends? Oh, do you not? N never mind. A funny joke. <laughs> a funny joke? Isabel looks around and seems to notice the clock tower in the distance. Ah, uh, I know. Do you know what I think about 6.30? The time? Yup. I don't know what. Well, I think 6.30 is hands down the best time of the day. <laughs> I 
sounds pretty good. He laughed. P.A. You'll need to remember to laugh next time. That was cute. Okay. I'll be going now. I'll see you at the clock tower later, yeah? Loop, I'm so mad at you, Loop. Hi, Star. Loop! Whoa. Yes? You heard it, didn't you? Heard what? You know, I don't actually spy on you all the time. I found it, Luke. Wishcraft. Wishcraft? The thing the king spoke of. I found it in a book, Loop. The writer said they wanted to create a whole new body and use wishcraft for it. Wishcraft made their wish come true. Create a whole new body. That's... Impossible, right? But they did it. With wishcraft. It's real, Loop. It has to be. A craft that allows you to do the impossible. Like creating a body. Like looping in time. Like, maybe, freezing people in time as well. That's right. If the king knows about wishcraft, could wishcraft be how he got the power to craft time? Didn't the king earlier say that he literally wished for him to be able to freeze time, and then he also worked for it? Did he use wishcraft to be able to use timecraft? It makes sense, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Oh yeah, that, that's why it makes sense that that locked door had the foreign text inscribed above it. It is the king. It's the king's diary. Huh. Huh. Stars, that's something, isn't it? That's a new lead. Finally, right? Finally, indeed. Well, you know what to do, don't you, Stardust? Find more information. Indeed you do. Not to send you on another book chase, but... Book time. Book time. You can read those weird books now, can't you? Maybe one of them might mention it. Hmm. Alright. Now that you're here, though, how can I help you on this wonderful new loop? Okay, literally? I already been to those books again. After I open the door. So now I gotta do it again. So, talking to Stardust did not do anything. We're like, oh my god, I need encouragement. Now I'm gonna go find the books again. At least I know exactly where those two stupid books are. I checked every single goddamn room. You know, I'm just too good at this game now. The scent of the banana peel makes you want to throw up. Step closer? Yeah. You take a step forward. You're a living comedy sketch. Start again. We'll go to floor one first. Because floor one had the theory book. Loop number 85. You'll never be able to stomach the scent of bananas without throwing up. Oh my god, you know what sounds so good right now? Wendy's. Oh my god. I'm easy. I'm in. No, that's... <laughs> I'm in. Essay time. The book is filled with many books written in many different languages. Guardian, Patarian, Moodu. One of them is written in your language. You can read it now. It seems to be a theoretical essay about how to use wishcraft. Wishcraft. So it is real. You start flipping through it. Okay, this is new. Sifrin? What are you looking at? It's a book on something called wishcraft. Wishcraft? What's that? Do we really have time for this right now? You grin. I think wishcraft is what gave the king power over timecraft. Oh, crap. This would be very, very useful to know, wouldn't it? Interesting. May I see? How are you even reading this? Letter's bad. I can't read it at all. I've never even heard of wishcraft. Are you sure it's even real? Worth a try. Since you can read it, can you translate what you can, Sif? You nod furiously. You start reading and translate as best you can. I'll leave the thinking to you all. I am a child. 
I have a lot on my mind. I cannot help. Understandable. Isabeau and Odal listen intently, while Mirabelle and Bonnie start playing some kind of game in a corner. They keep translating. After a bit, Odal nods. Hmm, I think I understand. Wishcraft, as the name implies, is the act of crafting wishes, of making whatever you desire come true. According to this, there seems to be no clear limit on what kind of wish you can make come true. A big part of it seems to come through just believing very strongly that your wish will come true, huh? So by crafting some specific rituals, in conjunction with a powerful will for your wish to come true, people can seemingly make any wish come true. Um, okay. You used the word congestion, so now I'm confused. Conjunction. It means, the same way we use craft and search knowledge and will to make figurines move, there's a way to use craft to make your wishes come true. You nod. You nod. Bonnie raises their hand. You have a question, Boniface? Um, so, um, can I make any wish come true if you ask? Yes, but the way the wish comes true seems a little more complicated than that, from what Sifrin translated. Yeah, depending on what you ask, your wish might not come true, but you might get the means to make your wish come true. So, like, let's say, let's say you wish to win a rock, paper, scissor tournament. Instead of just having it come true through pure luck, you might get something to make it come true. Like, maybe you get better at reacting, and you can see your opponent's hand in slow motion as it falls, so you can change your own hand. Or maybe you'd get the insight to tell that- Or maybe you get the insight to tell what they'd be playing based on their body language. Or you just get the power to see the future, so you can see what hand your opponent will play beforehand. Oh! Or maybe you could meet a powerful rock, paper, scissors master! Could be willing to teach you through the goodness of their heart. <laughs> Maybe. But what if your opponent also made a wish to win? What do you think would happen? Oh. Huh. Maybe the wishes would cancel each other out, and the match would end in a draw. Or maybe their wishes would both be considered null, and it'd be anyone's game. Or maybe the wishes can't work because it's two opposite wishes, so they'd both explode and destroy the whole world! Oh no! But neither of the wishes would come true then. So maybe... Maybe they both get to win somehow. Maybe they go to different tournaments. Or share a medal. Cute. <laughs> this is fascinating. Makes you want to get into wishology, huh? Huh. <laughs> Almost. So, if wishcraft is how the king got his powers, what did he wish for then? I don't know, but... Maybe his power to freeze people in time might not be what he wished for, but it's the means to make his wish come true. To make Vigard perfect. A perfect picture. Oh, but then... Um, question. I have a question. Yes, Mira? I give you permission to speak. Thank you. Um, Sifrin? You think the king could have gotten the timecraft powers by just wishing for them, right? You nod. Considering he's the one who told you about wishcraft in the first place. So then, if wishes can be that powerful, wouldn't anyone make a wish at any time be kind of dangerous? We'd be living in a very different world, wouldn't we? If someone wished to be the strongest person alive, or a kid wished to be... To be. We'd be living in a very different world, wouldn't we? If someone wished to be the strongest person alive, or a kid wished for a million ponies. We can do that? Wish for a million ponies? Oh no! To answer your question, my dear Mira, it seems that just wishing for things just hold a little bit of power. But like, not enough to actually make anything come true. But like Sif said, over time, people figured out specific ways to do wishcraft, to increase their chances of the wish coming true. And it depends on the wish too. Some wishes are easier to make come true. It also depends on the strength of the wish, like how much you want it to come true. Although, it seems the strength of the wish isn't as important as the whole ritual part. You can wish as hard as you want for something, but if there's no ritual, it's very likely that nothing will happen. Huh. I wish I won this single game, wouldn't ask for much belief or for a lot of rituals. But in theory, you could prepare rituals and wish for something much large, larger. Like, I wish I could win this world tournament. Or I wish I could get enough power so I could freeze the whole country in time, right?
Did the king sacrifice the entire country to gain the power to freeze? What if he's lying about his lord? Like, is the sacrifice, like, literal, like, people sacrifice? There's no explanation on that just yet. Huh. Right. So the king knew how to do wishcraft, then. That's what this means? Wishcraft could account for his mastery over timecraft. And so he must have known specific rituals to make his wish come true. Where could he have learned them? Does it matter? Because that's it, isn't it? That's it. Wishcraft is the art of making wishes come true. Wishes that could bestow immense power. A wish must be what is trapping you here. That's it. That's it. That's it. You can help us smile wildly. Finally, a hint. Finally, a real path you can follow. Something you can do. You try and calm your breathing. Phew. Okay. Specific rituals, huh? It's a long shot, but there must be another book about witchcraft somewhere. Something you couldn't read before. I know where it is, baby! It's floor three! I mean, floor two in the secret library. Now we're gonna die. In game. Well, that's why there's a tier right here. You froze yourself in time. Start again. Floor two, key time? I'm locked in. Loop 86. You wake up. You dreamt about stars, stars, stars. You want to cry. Me too. Oh my god, Wendy sounds so good right now. I can't. I need to... Should I know I shouldn't? Should I know? I'll think about it. To the secret library I go. Back to the secret library once again. The bookcase is filled with moldy old books. One of them is written in your language. You can read it now. It seems to be a book on different rituals to craft wishes. You flip through it. Oh, another wiggly, headachey book. Is this another book on witchcraft? You nod. You start translating as best as you can. The book talks about many different rituals to craft wishes. From the correct way to pick up four-leaf clovers, to calling out to shooting stars the right way, to... Favorite tree what now? The favorite trees can grant wishes? Favorite trees like the one in Dormont. The one everyone asks things to? Aha. Uh -huh. Makes sense. It makes sense. You even vaguely remember thinking about it a long time ago. Did we make a wish at the very beginning of the game? Did we? I literally could not remember. Asking a higher power for a favor is no different than making a wish, isn't it? Isn't it? So, could someone's wish to the favorite tree have trapped as you here? Whose? What? What did you wish for at the favorite tree again? You think and you think and you think, trying to remember what you even wished for. It was so far back, such a long time ago. You wished, you wished, to wear clothes Isabeau has made. Was that all? Oh yeah, because we had to choose, like, it was either we travel with Odile, we learn with Mirabelle, or something like that. It was, had to do with every single person. Was that all? You think so? Oh yeah, because in order for us to make clothes with Bo, we'd have to live. So every time we die, it would reset. Oh my god. Oh. It can't. It can't be because of your wish, then. You haven't even gone further than beating the king. 
let alone leaving the house to make that wish come true. Your wish can't tr come true until you escape the loops. So then, maybe... What did you all wish for? To the favorite tree, you mean? Well, I mentioned it earlier, but I wished to win a coin flip. A wish that didn't come true, by the way. Well, I might have done the correct ritual, but I didn't put any belief in it, did I? But you know her wish doesn't come true on every loop. Some loops she wins the coin flip, some loops she doesn't. I... I asked for my sister to be okay. I wished for all of the guard to be safe from the king! Hmm. Did Bo wish to protect me? What about you, Isabeau? I, um... Uh, didn't wish for anything. What? 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 Listen! I, I just didn't know what to wish for. I'm an indecisive guy. Leave me alone. I can't believe this. Oh, madame, I'm gonna wish to win my next coin flip. Is he gonna judge me now? I didn't think anything would happen. At least I wished for something. That's too bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of bummed I didn't wish for anything now. Why didn't I clap my hands and wish for something? Huh? Clap your hands? Uh, yeah. That's how you ask a favor to the favor trees. You look at the tree, and clap your hands once, and say aloud whatever you ask for. Um, how does he know that? How does he know? Isabel looks at everyone else. Is that not correct? No, it's what I did. Me too. This is how you taught me, Isabel. That's also how I learned it at school. Sifrin, did you not do it like that? No, of course not. You make your wish and breathe it into the leaf you like best. And fold the leaf over to keep your wish safe. Yeah, how do we know to do that? What? It, it just makes sense. They're all looking at you. You only wished at a favorite tree that one time, but it just makes sense. You try to explain. You choose a leaf to represent yourself. Uh-huh. You breathe your wish into it to make a link between you and whatever you're wishing for. Wait, so is that why even when I didn't go fight the king, the moment Bo dies, we reset? Oh my god. It's all my fault! <laughs> so a link between you and the tree. No, the universe, I think. Well, what's up? Keep going, Sifrin. You repeat your wish three times. Three times? Six could work. I think seven or like 13. So whatever number. And then you fold the wish into the leaf to tether the link between you and the wish. Touching it. Yeah, ain't it weird that like Sifrin knew how to do it? Which it kind of makes sense now because if this is like of my origin, I would inherit. It's like, um instinct that I knew how to do it right. They're all staring at you. If you just look at the tree and clap and say stuff aloud, why would the wish know where to go? I suppose so. That kind of makes sense, I suppose. But that's so many details to remember. And that's not how we were taught at all. It's something we learn as the guardians, and I've never heard anyone do it differently. But then, the favorite trees are more of a... But then the favorite trees are more of a superstition, aren't they? No one really takes it seriously. Well, except lately, where everyone started taking it super seriously just in case. So, so, so did everyone in the country mess up their wish? <laughs> Odal starts laughing. Why, why are you laughing? Sorry, sorry. It's just funny. This could have been a way to save a guard if everyone somehow wished for it. But no one knew how to do it correctly, so, huh. Hmm. And the only person who knew how to do it wished for... What did you wish for, Sifrin? It's embarrassing, so... I wish for croissants to be eradicated. What? What? No! Not croissants! And since Sifrin knew the ritual, croissants might actually be... 
Oh no. I sure hope the specific wish doesn't come true. But yeah. No one except Sif knew the right ritual, but... Rituals are only one part of it, right? Belief is another. If enough people wish for the same thing, maybe it can make a difference. Huh. A drop of belief in an ocean of nothing. Boo. Huh. So... Mirabel wished for Regard to be saved. Odell wished to win a coin flip. Bonnie wished for their sister to be okay. And Isabeau didn't wish for anything. You don't think any of those wishes could have trapped you here. So... Maybe someone else's? The king probably wished for Regard to be perfect or something, so you don't think it's related to you. Is there a way to know what people in Vagard wished for? You should ask the villagers in Dormont what they wished for. Okay. Okay, we'll do that. To Dormont I go. No, but like, it would also make sense because like, I literally wished... To like... Wear Bo's clothing, so like, if Bo dies, or if I die, then that wish won't come true. Okay, back to Dormont I go. Wait, everybody probably wished for the saviors to win. A tear froze you in time to start again. Back to Dormont. Loot number 88. You wake up. You dreamt you were falling, falling, falling. You feel unsteady. I'm locked in. To run an ad, because guys, we're five hours in. Part-time shift. So it's time for me to run an ad. You can avoid the ad by subscribing for $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to Twitch and subscribe for free. Click subscribe. See if you got that sub available. Do it now. Also, if you're new and lurking, click follow. Do it. Whew. Now it's getting juicy. We're finally understanding why things are happening the way they are. So I guess, do I have to talk to everybody in Dormont? That would make sense, right? Time to talk to everyone! Hmm. Um... The woman is daydreaming, singing softly under her breath. Oh, hi. You're one of the Sabres, aren't you? I recognize you, and you traveled with a few people, right? You traveled with, um... I traveled with Odao. Yes, Odao. She's from Kabu, yes? My sister visited Kabu once. Did you know they call most people by their last name? Such a different culture. And this Odao, hmm, I can tell. She's like the mom of the group, isn't she? Huh? Something feels weird. When you asked her about Isabeau, didn't she tell you she was an only child? But this loop, she says she has a sister. I did not pick up on that. Aren't you an only child? What? No, I have a sister. She's a few years younger than me. A few years ago, she decided to travel the world all on her own. She lives in another country now. Isn't that so brave? Living in a foreign country just like that. You want to ask her more, but she's already back to her daydream. You need to ask. Hmm? Are you wondering what I asked for at the favorite tree? <laughs> it's a secret. The woman is daydreaming, singing softly under her breath. Well, I'm the saver, you should tell me. Okay, what did you wish for at the tree, madam? Big hat. Impossibly warm-looking cloak. He must be one of the people traveling with Mirabelle. Talking to people is hard. You don't get it. You don't think she managed to talk to Mirabelle last time? Mirabelle wouldn't have mentioned it. You should go and tell Mirabelle yourself. You need to ask. Oh, I asked the favorite tree to help Mirabelle on her journey. I don't really believe in that stuff, but the head housemaiden does, so I thought I'd give it a shot.
you know, the end of the world is fine and all. But I only have one regret. I won't be able to know what happens at the end of the book series. We didn't really care about their problem before, but the cursing of the Chateau Castle, is it? Interesting. Maybe you could find the last issue for them. You need to ask. What I asked for a favor tree? Ha! <laughs> Do you even need to ask? You guess not. I don't think I can bring the book back here, though. What? Talk to me. Talk to me! <laughs> oh! I can't talk to her! It's not letting me click on the running person, sorry. Oh, hey, traveler. You're not from Vigard, are you? That's the rumor, at least. I'm from Pateria myself. I've been to Pateria once. I can't speed past this dialogue. The favor tree? I have to be able to go back to Pateria soon. Selfish, why didn't you wish for my entourage to win, huh? Hello, welcome to my home, complete stranger. Oh, you're one of the people traveling with that Mirabel, aren't you? Teardrop. What's wrong? You look really pale. You need to ask. The favorite tree, huh? I asked it to save my wife. Make her move again. I could have asked it to save everyone, but I'm selfish like that, I suppose. But that's so real. The woman sits here frozen in time. What did you wish for, fisherman? Maybe I'll fish later. Of course, come back whenever. You need to ask. Hmm? What I asked for at the favorite tree. <laughs> I asked for a regard to be saved so I can catch some more fish. Do you need anything? You have a fan. I... I do? You not on point at the stylish woman's house. I... Don't know whose house that is. A stylish lady? You describe the stylish lady as best as you can. Um... I'm sorry to tell you this, but stylish ladies aren't very rare in Vigard. <laughs> and I see a lot of people during classes. And I'm not smart enough to remember everyone I see. Well... Maybe eventually you'll find a way to jog her memory. Do you have anything about wishcraft? Wishcraft? That sounds made up. Are you sure that sort of craft exists? Okay, fine. It is real, though. You need to ask. When I asked the favor tree, um, I don't actually believe in that stuff, so I didn't ask for anything. I did help the head, I did help the head housemaiden with it. She was asking everyone what they asked for. I don't know why. Why are you asking? The head housemaiden knows what's going on. Hmm. Let me talk to you! Fine. Hey! You! The strange adult with the hat. My name... is Tutorial Kid. I'll talk to you later. But you need to ask. Huh? What I asked the big tree? I asked to win my next rock, paper, scissors fight. Of course. Classic.
You don't look. Everything okay? Good luck tomorrow. You need to ask. I asked the tree to save my daughter. Um, welcome. I'm helping Papa today. You need to ask. The tree? I... I asked for... I asked for a pile of croissants. Classic. <laughs> this door seems to be locked. It's locked by one of those weird locks. You need to know the open phrase to be able to open it. Change? Nothing happens. I totally forgot about this locked room. Huh. Okay. There's the elderly person here. Horrifying, isn't it? Our beautiful house of change. You have... You have enough of this view. Can I not ask them? I can't. I can't ask this old person anything else. Hmm. Ahoy, traveling one. You need to ask. What I asked the favor tree. For the change god to keep protecting the guard, of course. kid drawing the picture voted to protect us all. Or not voted, wished. Okay, the kid didn't wish for anything, allegedly. Hello, aren't you one of the saviors traveling with Mirabelle? You got the bright flower. You need to ask. Would I ask the tree? It's private, isn't it? I didn't tell the house he I didn't tell the head house maiden, so I don't see why I'd have to tell you. Sorry. Damn cruel. Oh, hello traveler. Still a weird thing to do, you think? Wait, what was it? Uh, good for you. Huh, I can tell you find that weird. Even Oh yeah, cause she's hosting like a banquet feast or something. Even if the end is coming for us, it's still a new form of change. And any type of change deserves to be celebrated. You need to ask. The tree, huh? I asked for everyone in Dormont to have a good time tomorrow. Like a good time or a good time? <laughs> The kid still dances as she looks at you curiously. You look... so weird. Are you from up in the sky? <laughs> no. It's okay. I won't tell anyone. The kid nods seriously at you. You need to ask. The favor tree? I asked for everyone to be okay tomorrow. Ah, cute kid. Frog loving kid. The little girl making a frog embroidery seems too shy to make eye contact with you. Um, hi. Hi. She seems shy. Do you like frogs? Yes. Me too, they're totally awesome. 
Oh! <laughs> totally like toads! <laughs> Success. You need to ask. The, the tree? Um... I asked for a big frog to come in and punch the king in the face! <laughs> okay. Wizard loving kid. Hey. Hey, big hatted one. My mother talked about you. She said you're a traveler with a big hat, but it doesn't mean you're a wizard. Because wizards aren't real. Are you a wizard? Boop their nose. Huh? Did you do something? It's a protection spell. Oh. Boring. The kid turns away and ignores you. You need to ask. Huh? Who cares about some stupid treat? I didn't ask it anything. It's your job to save us tomorrow anyway, isn't it? Wait, he's so real. Blind one. Oh, ho! Is someone there? Hi, I, uh... I'm kinda technically half-blind too. Half-blind? Oh! You're that savior! The one with an eye patch, aren't you? I've heard about you. Ah, I see. Trying to get advice from another blind person, I see. I've heard from people in the village that this is a new development for you. Yeah, it happened a little while ago. I see. And how are you dealing with it? You decided a while ago that you wouldn't worry about it, so... Well... I keep bumping into tables, to be honest. Ah, because of depth perception or some such, correct? I've always been blind. But I've heard getting used to not having depth perception might be difficult. Aren't you the one leading the other saviors around? So you can find traps, right? Isn't that something you can ask them to help you with? No, but it's fine. Okay. Well, if you need advice from another blind person, you know where to find me. Being half-blind is the least of your problems right now. I let that kid take some of my veggies, so I'm sure you'll all eat well tonight. Well, that's all he says, okay. No wish. The door seems to be locked. It's locked by one of those weird locks. You need to know the open phrase to be able to open it. Change! You say the word change aloud. The door unlocked? What? Well, all right then. Ain't no way. The one door I didn't check. That's a barrel. That's a barrel. That's a barrel. That's another barrel. Some old architecture plans. That's a barrel. Spices and other ingredients. I thought this was the guy's home. A letter is laying on the barrel. There seems to be something inside. You open it. You can only describe the item inside the letter as... A long thingy thing. You got the long thingy thing. You put the thingy thing in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Don't you need this to make the bob -omb? Well, we didn't need the Baba. I don't remember where the thingamajig is. I know we found it at some point. Oh, was the thingamajig in the closet? I know the secret ingredient is the person holding it right before the king's room. Huh, okay, okay. Well, I think I've talked to all the villagers. Funny. Stay silent. Are you okay? You look very, very tired. What do you want? Those kids over there are like frogs. Okay. And? Uh, don't you want to play with them? No! They're babies! Aren't they the same age as Bonnie? Uh, I got bad news, Bonnie. What? You are also a baby. No! I'm not a baby, I'm a preteen! Yeah, they're 12. 
You did not say a single word. Hmm. See you at the clock tower. Now, time to talk to Luke. Faster than you. I, I can't talk to this person anymore. It's so annoying. The favor tree. You should talk to both first. Hi, Stardust. I feel like I see you pretty often. Are you sure you don't have anything better to do? If I was in your place, which I'm not, I'd spend my time in the house forever, getting stronger and stronger. Anyway, how can I help you on this wonderful new loop? But yeah, loop would be clueless. Just play like a normal RPG. What should I do next? Sure, Stardust. What do you need help with? I need help on how to find out more about the loops. What should I do now? So, someone's wish or multiple wishes might be the reason you're looping in time. You've thought about it and... I don't think it's my wish. Huh. And it doesn't seem to be anyone in your party either. So, what did everyone else in Brigard wish for? Someone mentioned the head housemaid and asked them the same thing. But she probably won't answer if you ask her. Is there a way to know why the head housemaid and asked them this besides talking to her? Maybe you should search her office on the second floor. That's what I was thinking I had to do next. Okay. To the second floor we go, guys. See you later, Stardust. They gently wave you goodbye. Oh, I don't acknowledge the goodbye anymore either. Well, to the second floor, I go, and we have to do it before the keys are unlocked. The banana peel lays here. Step closer. Yes, sir. You slipped on a banana peel. Start again. Loop number 91. You wonder if you'll ever be able to stomach bananas again. Are you ready? Ready. My friend, oh no! Didn't the housemaid have a list of names? A pile of papers. You take one at random. This is new. It's an essay about the 3.5% of people who are duo craft type users like Mirabelle. It's a petition to serve more bread at lunch. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a, you take a random paper to tell us different lore. Okay, essay about craft type users and then petition for bread. Some paper in ink. On the paper, you can see a spreadsheet of some kind. There's two columns. One filled with names, while the other only has one or two. The first? Oh. We didn't take the time to read the spreadsheet. The first full column is titled Save Regard. The second, near empty column is titled Other. And then you realize this is a list of people who wish to save Regard. You look around her desk trying to find out more. 
Why would she record the people who wish to save a guard? There. It's a little notebook, jammed between random boring paperwork. In it, the head housemaiden talks about witchcraft. Ain't no way. How in the days before the king attacked, she noticed everyone was wishing to the favorite tree for the same thing. To save the guard. And she started wondering if this wish could be the key to the king's defeat somehow. So the head housemaiden knew about witchcraft. A wish for a regard to be saved. Reading this, you start to wonder if this wish could be related to your loops. Have you been looping this whole time to save regard? If you think about it, it somewhat fits. You and your friends are the only ones who can save regard, so if you died, the wish could activate then, making sure to loop you back to before your death so you could try again. Maybe the wish manifested itself to be giving you the power to loop back in time. Without this power, you would, have, you would have failed and died, and the king never would have been defeated, making the wish impossible to fulfill. So maybe that's it? You're here because of this wish? But the guardians shouldn't know the correct rituals of, to wish, and rituals are the most important part. The wish shouldn't have come true without them. Could their belief in this wish be enough for it to come true? If a lot of people wished on a countrywide scale, and why is the wish centered on you? Why not everyone in your party? And, and, if that's the case, if this wish is why you're here, then why are you still here? You've beaten the king already, haven't you? If that wish is why you're here, and the loop would have stopped after you beat the king, right? Did you do something wrong? The pieces don't fit completely yet, but there's no doubt in your mind that the Guardian's wish to save the guard is why you're trapped in this loop. You're getting closer. You smile. Sifrin, is something wrong? You've been staring at this notebook for a while. <laughs> I'm just lost in thought. Oh, okay. Shall we get going then? He nod. The head housemaiden. She's the one who wrote this. She knows about witchcraft. Or witchcraft. She knew something was wrong this whole time. She might know how to... You should go and talk to her as fast as you can, but first, you have to talk to Luke. You have to tell her what you found. Guys, you know what time it is. Can I- can I get crushed by the boulder here? No. So we go Luke, we fight the king again. You froze yourself in time. I hit my desk. You wake up. Oh, what? You dreamt you were eating your friends whole. You want to throw up. Uh, that was weird. Awkward. You know, some dreams you just don't share with the public. Hey, a star duck. Luke. I figured it out, Luke. Everyone's wish. It's probably the reason I'm here. Everyone's wish to save Regard. Huh? It makes sense, Luke. I'm looping and not dying so we can beat the king. Everyone has been wishing for Regard to be saved from the king. And if I die, the king can't be beaten and Regard can't be saved. That's why I can loop back in time. Luke, that's why. What? But then, why... This whole time, I might be trapped because Vagard wished for it. Vagardians didn't know the ritual for the favor trees, but their belief and hope alone might have been enough. An entire country of people wishing for the same thing should be enough to make the universe listen, isn't it? And the head housemaiden knows this. She made a list. And she knows about the loops. At the very end, she actually notices it. So she knows about witchcraft, about the wish that brought me here. So she'll know. She'll know how to fix it. I just need to ask. Is that so? But didn't you already... It is so! I might be able to break the loop somehow! 
You know, it might just be that I need to make everyone's wish come true. And everything will be back to normal. If I talk to her, she'll know. She'll be able to tell me what to do. If I could just talk to her. But Stardust, you already tried and... It's all thanks to you, Luke. What? If you didn't push me to keep going, if you weren't there, I wouldn't have gotten this far. So, thank you, Luke. After I talk to her, I'll see you, right? I'll see you in a brand new world! I... Sure, Stardust. You smile. Loop seems to smile back. But Stardust, before you go and talk to her, I had a theory while you were gone. A theory? How do I put this? The times when you loop back on your own and not because of your death. I was thinking the reason why I might be linked to your emotional state. Huh? Emotions are often high when you loop back in those moments, aren't they? So maybe you don't loop because you die, but because you feel like there would be no reason to go on, maybe. Something that, to you, feels on the same level of hopelessness as death, on the same level as the world ending. Ooh, okay, different angle. You think about a house exploding in lights. Something like the death of my family members, you mean? Yes. But wouldn't that fit? Wouldn't that explain it? You can't continue because your party is dead. You can't continue because the king has beaten you, and the kid is about to die. You can't continue because somehow, you know this is the end. Maybe that's the case, but... But why would time loop de But why would time loop back just because of how you feel? You didn't wish for any of this, did you? And... What about the head housemaiden? Why do I always loop back when I talk to her? I don't know yet. I don't know if what happens with the head housemaiden is even related to that. It could be that this is the loop's natural end, or something. But if it is linked to your feelings, does something happen when you see her that makes you feel like this is the end? Not really. Oh my god, the end of our friendship, because we're all separating. You... What? Loop sighs. Hey, you Stardust. How can I help you in this wonderful new loop? Yo, what just happened? I looped again. Uh, let's talk about something. Sure. What do you want to talk about? Wait, actually... My turn to ask a question. You know, don't you? What your fighter is trying so hard to tell you, to tell you. You flinch. Uh, yeah, I do. Huh. I wonder who we should pity more than. The one who- The one who won't be able to spit it out, almost like forbidden by time itself. Or the one waiting endlessly for it. Such a terrible tragedy, isn't it? <laughs> About the loops, what should I do now? Go on then. Go and talk to the head housemaiden. No matter what happens, I'll see you soon, alright? So I guess whenever, like, Sifrin's intrusive thoughts, like, truly, truly take over. Like, my brain just breaks, and then I reset. Because I'm so sad. And the reason why, if Loop's theory is correct, where things are so good, we beat, it, we beat the king, we all go our separate ways, Sifrin is probably like, oh my god, my friends are leaving me. Our, my family is breaking up. This is just like my mom and dad getting a divorce. That has to be it. Okay, I'm changing Sifrin's equip. Back to the knife key. And everybody else's equip is the same, so we're just gonna go straight to the king again. We might talk to him. But we're not gonna stop him from fighting. 
Here we go again. The banana peel lays here. Step closer. Yes, sir. You take a step forward. You broke your head open on a rock. Start again. 20 sparkles! Loop number 97. You'll never be able to stomach the scent of bananas without throwing up. Just tell old Donald that you're looping up. Just tell him. M, not him. Oh. Old Donald isn't telling me to go away this time. They're not being a bitch anymore. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm locked in. Let's just get right to it. Does he call me Bright One because I'm a star? Because I'm an alien? The king looks at you and sobs. Oh. Oh. We shall fight. And we shall see which side the universe favors. That was new. We just didn't say anything. We're too disgruntled. Battle start. The knife key glows. Your attacks will hit harder against the king. Sif? Seeing the king right now, after everything that happened, you can't help but look at his hands, and you remember. You're scared to fight. No! I'm scared! Is that not for this part? Yeah. You wait for your next action. Get ready, everyone. Wait, I'm scared! My speed is down. Oof. I wonder if I can still talk to the king. Boost everyone's attack. I can still talk. What's... The other dialogue options are gone. What's Wishcraft? Oh. Oh. This sticky sweet smell. It is around you. It is around me. It is around all your companions. It is around the whole of Agard. <laughs> I wonder how this country looks from the outside in. Skipping and stopping. Rewinding and restarting. It is not true eternity. But it is close enough, I suppose. Whoever caused this must have had a belief stronger than mine. Okay. Got it. Let's make everybody faster. Because Sifrin is slower. Oh, Sifrin is just permanently slow. It is time, saviors. Come on, 
Danke. You know, it's fine if Cyprin is slow, it's okay. Not ideal, but it's fine. Boosting everyone's defense. Slowing the king down as well since Sephirin's speed is drastically lowered. I need to build the paper combo and then move heal. Bo no longer has a sheep. Oh. Saved. It's kind of see. It's sad to see Sifrin just paralyzed now. In fear. Sifrin. Give the broth to Mirabelle. Oh, I should have done the shield that turn. Oopsie. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Strength in one family's resistance to a craft type for a few turns. That's kind of lame. Mirabel should get a turn in before the king attacks next. Yeah, we good. We Gucci. I guess Sifrin's speed is just perma down. That's a four not two dementing. Combo time. That did a lot less damage. Man. I think that's lowering Cyprin's attack, not speed. Oh, that's so bad. Nothing can raise my attack. Man. Lower the enemy defense. Increase ally attack. Zephyr needs to give Broth to Mirabelle, and then Bo needs to give their turn to Mirabelle next.
Bonnie, heal us, please. Thank you. Ooh, Odell needs to do the item to everybody. 50% of a family member's HP to one. Oh, it says family instead of friends. Oh. Drink that heals 40% of everyone's HP. That's kind of huge. Yeah, 40% to everybody. Because ain't no way we're living past or until another combo. This is really a struggle without Sifrin. I really need to build the paper combo, but if the king attacks again, we're kind of cooked, so we need I need to heal. needs to do broth, I believe. Now the king's fight is actually difficult. We are three paper attacks away from combo. I think I need to increase our speed now. Watch this. Your turn to Sifrin. Sifrin is gonna do the double paper move. That way we get a heal immediately. Mm-hmm. Is that for this part? Yes. You wait for the play to end. <laughs> the king waits. Next turn, Mirabel has to redo the shields. At this point, I just need to keep building the paper combo. Oh. It is time, saviors. Everybody's defense is down. Okay, that's not bad. It's not bad. Having our defense lowered is about, like, 20% more damage than usual. That's manageable. Broth to Mirabelle. <laughs> the 
Increase attack. Okay, everybody lost their shields. That means next turn, Sifrin has to get their turn to Mirabelle. Just attack with scissors. It doesn't affect our paper combo. That did 1400 on its own? Is that not for this part? Yes. Soon the curtains will close. I should have just been attacking with shivering. Jeez. Isn't this the king's worst fear to, like, be erased? So, like, we're literally killing him and erasing him. We're literally a nightmare. You all attack the king. Like before, as always, Mirabelle's attack brings the king to his knees. No, I can't! I can't disappear. Not yet. Not when I still can't say it. Oh. <laughs> Back here. I can't believe we did it, guys. Oh my god, we're so sick. Enter the head housemaiden. Here again. Here again at the end of the world. Time won't ever go further than this. You can talk to everyone. Stretch this moment out as long as you can, but... It's all over if you talk to her, but... This is it. This is it. This is the end of your journey. It has to be. She knows about the loop, she knows about witchcraft, so she must know. She must know how to save you. You can ask her about it in this loop and finally bring it all to an end, or... No, we have to ask her about it. We have to. Okay, we're gonna talk to Bonnie first, then Mirabelle, and then Odile, and then Bo. We're gonna get Bo to say he loves me! What's wrong? Nothing new here with Bonnie yet. Do you want a snack? Yeah, sure. Okay. I have, um... Oh, I only have a croissant left. Do you still want it? No. Nothing else? I have a half-eaten apple. I'll take that. Ew. The half-eaten apple has a massive bite mark in it. You take it and eat it in three bites, core and all. Bonnie watches you eat silently. Friend, are you okay? Yeah, why? I don't know. I'm just asking. But if you say you're okay, then it's true, I guess. But that's so real. Before you forget, though, do you have any snacks left? Oh, um, well, they joked. They just looked through their pockets, but they checked again. Wait, I have some pineapple slices? can't have those, sadly. 
Ciferin. Ciferin? I... I'm not dreaming. Am I? We won, didn't we? Are you sure? We really won? We really won. Breathe with me. I'm sorry, Mary, you think. We'll never be able to hang out together in Dormont. And it's better that way. But, um, do you feel better now? What about you, Mira? Me? Well, I'm better now, but I'm asking about you. I'm good. Okay. Ciprin? Do you remember a few weeks ago when I asked you if you liked being on this journey? You don't. Uh, of course I do. <laughs> um, back then you said... You said... That being on this journey was the happiest you can remember being. Is that still the case, Ciprin? Are you still happy? Yeah. Okay. If that's the truth, then I'm glad. Awkward. Before you forget, though. Can we do a group hug? Oh, would you be okay with that? Oh, dial time. Now I have to be careful. That was quite a workout. <laughs> to do your fake research? We're on to Oda. Oh, so you figured it out, did you? Don't tell anyone. I'd like to see Isabel try to figure it out for a little longer. Say the line, Ciferin. Bananaology would be quite <laughs> appealing. <laughs> She's smiling at you gently. You force yourself to smile back. What do you mean? I don't know, Ciferin. You felt off since yesterday. More withdrawn, mostly. Tell me what's wrong. This is new. Uh, nothing's wrong. It's okay if you don't want to tell me, you know. I'll find out eventually. But I'm not hiding anything. Sifrin. I'm missing something. I must be. Well, never mind, then. Just know I'm here if you want to talk. Well, not for much longer. So you better tell me soon. Before you forget, though. Um, please don't interrupt. Don't interrupt? Interrupt what? She looks Isabeau's way. Ha. Huh. Of course. I have to say I'm surprised, Sifrin. I thought you didn't know. I'm going now. Hmm. Good luck, I suppose. Back to looking around curiously, like always. She sees you stare and flashes you a smile. You smile back. You were so close to telling Odell. But you know who else is close? Bo to confessing! Sif, we did it. Sif! We did it! We did it, Sif. We did it! Why am I saying nothing? Yeah, I... Uh... You wanted to tell me something? Yes. I... 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 I lo- Uh... Sif? Is everything okay? What? You look... Kind of upset. What's wrong? Nothing. Well, what did you want to tell me? No, it doesn't matter right now. You don't look good at all. Are you hungry, maybe? I could tell Bonnie to- Stars. Oh, you want to scream. You just want to scream right now. He did everything right, and he won't say it. He can't say it. The universe won't let him say it. You're not stupid. You know what it is. What he wants to tell you, you know. But it doesn't count if he doesn't say it. It doesn't exist if it's not said. In fact, you can't even trust he did say it. Maybe it's not even true. Maybe it is. Maybe it is and it's being forced him to. You did, didn't you? You forced him, you're forcing him right now. Looping forward and backwards, make sure no one can interrupt, making sure everything is perfect. Making sure you're perfect. It's because you're looping. You're forcing him. Manipulating him to say it. To think it. 
making sure he has to say it. Wait, they're calling me out. I just love love, okay? Making sure he has no recourse. It's not good. It's awful. He can't feel this way about someone like you. Someone disgusting like you. Friend? Sir friend. Please stop gripping your hair, you're gonna hurt yourself. Don't touch me. You feel a tug on your stomach. Wait, I loop back to here. Whoa. Everything okay? Yep, all good. Oh, okay. Anyway, Sif, I'm glad this is over. I can't wait to go back to my old job, you know? Make sure to say hi when you're back in Javante, okay? You know, a smile fixed on your face. You got a memory of confession. You always remember this. When equipped, memory of confession makes your fighter immune to rock attacks. Okay, that's stupid because I'm a rock type. Stupid stuff aside, though. Are you doing okay? Huh? What do you mean? I don't know, you've had a weird vibe since yesterday. So I just want to make sure you're good now. Are you good? Yeah? Okay, good! I mean, okay, good. As in, I don't believe you for a second, but we'll have time to talk about it tonight, you know? Come on, go and talk to everyone else. Weird. I'm so close. But the game is right. We're like, we're literally guess like gatekeeping Bo right now, like the whole game. Also, guys, I'm sorry, but we're six hours in the stream, so you know what time it is. It's time for an ad. If you're new to the channel, click follow. It's free. And if you're already following, subscribe. You get ad free viewing and cool emotes for just $5.99, just $6 a month. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and subscribe for free. Click subscribe, see if you got that free sub. Do it. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. The end is so close, I feel it. In my bones. Which I am very big boned. Of course, I have muscles, not fat. I'm gonna talk to everybody one more time. See if they say anything new. Nope, nothing new. Nobody said anything. House made in time. Talking with everyone again made you think. Maybe you think that maybe... Maybe you could keep this going for a little bit longer. Live in the loops for a little while longer? No, I don't want that! Keep the play going for a little longer? If you wanted. You can always talk to her later and escape loops another time, can't you? No matter what. It's all over if you talk to her. No. No. I don't want to stay in this. It's like a Mori. I don't want to stay in this fictional world where everything is perfect. Not everything can be perfect. The world is not like that. You have to learn how to persevere and adapt. Because just something is perfect to you doesn't mean it's perfect to everyone else around you. Ask her about witchcraft. I have wishcraft. Traveling one? Are you done talking with your companions? Yes, wonderful, wonderful. I'd like to thank you for accompanying young Mirabelle this far. I'm very grateful. Sifrin, yes? Ain't no way, thank you for the follow, plus one! Can we get some yo's? Thank you, thank you. If there's anything I can do to thank you, please don't hesitate to let me know. I know you'll go back on your travels soon, but I do hope you'll keep in touch. If only for young Mirabelle. But no matter what, know that Dormont will always be open to you. Please come back. I know about Wishcraft. Wishcraft? Oh! Wishcraft! Yes, it just so happened that a lot of people in Vagard wished for our country to be saved. I did not think it would work. But if you're here, perhaps it... did. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh no, oh no, no, no! Oh! Sifrin, I'm so sorry! There's no way we can stop it now! I'm sorry! You'll be going back! Back to where everything started! But you can fix it, can't you? I know you thought your quest was over, but it can't be! Something's broken, something's failing, rotting! The apple. No, no, she's repeating the same thing still! Why is she always repeating the same thing? Over and over and over! You just wish she would answer you! Now that you know that I don't know, you can fix it! Fix it? Oh. No. It's too late, Sifrin. It's always been too late. What? But... But if you know about wishcraft, you must know how to... Oh, Sifrin. It's true. Olivegard wished to the favor tree, wished for us to be saved. We wished for a savior. A way for us to win against the king. And wishcraft gave us the means to do it, didn't it? Made sure it'd work. Somehow wishcraft gave us a savior able to use timecraft. Able to retry as many times as it took. So you could beat the king. Right, so? But... But something went wrong, didn't it? Something goes wrong every time. If you're here now asking about wishcraft, then something must be wrong, isn't it? This isn't the first time you've gotten this far, isn't it? It shouldn't be like this. Why does time loop back even though the king has been defeated? The only answer I can find... ...is it's because we did it wrong. I don't know what happened, but we must have done it wrong. None of us in Vagar knew the exact ritual, but... ...but we must have done it wrong somehow. It broke, and it doesn't answer to us at all anymore. Or maybe, maybe someone wished for it. Wished for our wish to fail. Wished for this. Someone made our wish break. Made it fail, made it rot. Or, or maybe the wish can't come true anymore somehow. Maybe the king wasn't defeated the right way. It'll forever remain incomplete and wishcraft. The world will not abide it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You can't move. You can't breathe. The wish... is broken. She can't help you. Even now. You're stuck here forever. If only... If only we fought back against the king instead. If only we didn't wish for such a thing. If only I knew this would happen. If I'd noticed it sooner, I would never have let people wish at all. I know... To know you'd be trapped for all eternity, Sifrin. I'm so sorry. It's our fault, all of a guard, that you had to suffer like this. I just hope that one day... ...you might learn to forgive us. You got to the end. Loop 98. You're back. You're back. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. You had a theory, and it was wrong. You thought the head housemaid would know how to save you, but she doesn't. That's all good. It's fine. It's all fine. At least you know why you're here. You're here because everyone wished for it. Everyone in Begard wished for your suffering. Everyone wished for you to be stuck repeating everything. To be rotting here forever. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. People in Vigard wished for the king to be defeated, for Vigard to be saved, but no one knew how to do wishcraft. No one knew the correct rituals. Is that why? Is that why you've been stuck in this loop? They wished for it, but wished wrong. And so the wish is breaking, folding in on itself. Because it was done wrong? Or maybe, maybe, maybe you did it wrong. They wished for it, for the king to die, but... But he disappears every time you win, and the wish revolves around you, so maybe... Maybe you're doing something wrong every time, and that's why you're stuck here. That has to be why. If you're still looping after everything, after trying it all, then it must be that you're missing something. You must be going against the wish's will without realizing. 
And that's why it brings you back. Because you're doing something wrong. You don't want to be here, so what? What are you doing wrong? Is it waking up? Are you waking up wrong? Or going to the house? But you have to. You have to go. You have to beat the king, save the guard. Because obviously, saving the guard is why you're here. Defeating the king is why you're here. And you do defeat him. You fight. You get his guard down. He talks. Everyone talks. You attack all at once. And you defeat the king with your own two hands. No. You don't defeat him with your own two hands. Mirabel. She's always the one who deals the final strike, isn't she? You've never, even once, defeated him yourself. Is that why? It has to be why. But why do you specifically need to defeat the king? Why would everyone's wish revolve around... Nope, don't think about it. This is it. If they all wished for you to defeat him, and you're the only one stuck in this loop, then... 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 You need to do it yourself. Fight him, and tear him to pieces and rip his hair out and te... Fight him and tear him into pieces, and rip his hair out and reach into his chest and kill! It always comes back to him, doesn't it? It's his fault you're here. It's his fault you can't escape. It's his fault so many people are suffering. There you go. <laughs> That's a theory. That's a goal. You just need to make sure Mirabelle doesn't deal the final hit. That's all you need. It's all you blinding need. Huh. But it's okay, right? It's fine, isn't it? Even if the entire country wished for you to be here, it's okay, isn't it? Because your family's here. You can stay with them forever. It's fine as long as you're with them. You can live with this as long as you're with them. You're fine. As long as you're with them. You're fine, aren't you? You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. But... But this thought... is not enough for you to go on anymore. You want to be with your family. Not with those fictional characters that have taken their place. They can never change. They can never find out. They can never truly see you. They can only repeat the same lines over and over and over because that's all they can do. Because you won't even allow them to do otherwise. If only Mirabel didn't deal the final hit every time. If only she... If only... If only you knew. If only the wish wasn't broken. If only... To the king deal, the final hit, make the wish come true to make sure all loops are on and kill the king, rip him to pieces, blinding every way every time. You need to just kill, kill, kill him, kill him, kill him. Just need to get to the end and win and make sure everyone's wish comes true. You just, you just need to. You just need to defeat the king on your own. You're fine. Get up, Sifrin. You have a country to save. Man. Should we go into the house by myself? Oh. Oh, Sifrin. You're awake. <laughs> I thought you were napping, so I was just... About to wake me up? Uh, yes. I'm... Sorry? I hope that's okay. Well, um... I had an idea for tonight, and I... To meet at the clock tower for a sleepover. Yes? Oh, did you have the same idea? You know. Okay. Well, I won't keep you then. Um, let's all meet at the clock tower later then, alright? Talk to you later. Mirabelle. You need your family's strength. Yes, you need to kill the king before Mirabelle, but... You don't want to be here anymore. You have to get to the king as fast as possible. Get him close to death as fast as possible. And for that, you need to make sure everyone else is strong enough. You need to make sure they're all as powerful as they can be. So? So what? Ooh. Hi guys, sorry. I wasn't reading chat because I was locking in. <laughs> Hi, nerd, nerd, nerd. Welcome in, Rainbow Sprinkles. First time chat. Welcome in. Sorry. When... When I'm in the zone, I'm locked in. 
It looked like I walked in at a hell of a time. Don't worry, this game is not scary. But hi guys, welcome in. Man, I I feel like we're so close to the end. Hmm. See, Sifrin is at a point of desperation. They're looking for anything. Anything that can make this end. I really, 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 really wanted the power of love and friendship to make us win, but I guess not. We should talk to Loop. I kind of, with this attempt, I kind of want to go through the whole house. I kind of want to, but I'm debating. I really love this game. Ooh, spoilers. Or, no spoilers. <laughs> Thinking about making a TikTok for this channel? Wait, what do you mean? Like a fan editor? It helped me realize I'm Arrow. That's cool. That's cool. There is a lot of... or Because that was, like, uh, one of Beer and Bell's main conflicts, right? Oh, from my channel? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, you can make it, I don't care. Dude, that was a lot. That was a lot. I like when Sifrin pops off. Okay, let's see, what should I do? Hmm. Peace I too? Hmm. I should save first. <laughs> 98 loops. <laughs> This game goes places. Do you think they'll sue me if I say that quote? Oh yeah, Mirabelle's gone. I kind of want to talk to this person again because they say something different every time. You don't want to talk to her, you walk away. No! I'm antisocial now, no! <laughs> Wait, this is so real. Am I in my villain arc? Hmm. Should I talk to Loop first? I feel I should. Not yet. Oh, what? Not yet? Not yet. Oh. Hi, Sifrin. You, uh, look... Um, are you okay? Did you have a nightmare during your nap, maybe? You'll have to deal the king the final hit instead of her. You, you're sure you're. Oh. If you're on the PC version, the music is slowed down even more to an unnerving degree. Yeah, I'm playing on the Switch. Is I'm a gamer. But that is cool that they have like a different version for different consoles or not console but different mediums. No, platform. Platform. I'm playing for my TV, so I can't really hear the game that much, <laughs> but it's a game. I'm pretending in my head what the music is. You have to deal the king the final hit instead of her. You're sure of it, but you need her to learn her shield skill. The one that protects you from anything? Come to think of it, you forgot to tell her about the original shield skill earlier. The one you usually tell her about when you enter Dormont? Oh well. The shield she learns when you help her with her papers will do the job just fine. But you don't have time. You need to get to the king. You don't have time, you don't have time. Ooh, Sifrin looks... dark now. Would you like some help with those papers? With my papers? No, of course not. Don't worry about them. They're not important at all, they're... They're bonding papers, aren't they? Huh? How did you... Maybe I can help. I... I suppose I could use your help, Sifrin. Yes, let's, let's do it. It'll distract us both from our problems. You sit down. Mirabel looks at you without saying a word. Well, that's awkward. Just wanted to pop in? Thanks, I appreciate it, Nerder. You have a great night, man. So... Um, well, you know they're bonding papers, so I don't need to explain, but, but really it's more like, um, dating? Dating profiles. I'm not thinking about being bonded yet. Before this all started with the king, 
I decided I wanted to uh, try to date someone. So I asked a dating company and they gave me a bunch of folders of people that I could meet and that I could date. But I haven't gone through it yet. So I figured I could at least get that done today and look through all of them and make a list of people I could see myself dating. And I suppose I need help. I'm choosing someone I could spend the rest of my life with. So I'd appreciate another pair of eyes. Or um, just <laughs> the one eye. As long as it's not my two eyes looking at this. Um, and I also need a distraction from tomorrow very badly. So I figured I... Too long, too long. This is taking too long. You know, you don't have to be bonded to anyone. And... Huh? What? Well, what do you mean? If you're alone for your whole life, then that's just how it is. Oh, what? What? Isn't it better to just come to terms with it now rather than later? You don't need to be with anyone to be happy after all. Okay, being direct is how I am, but now I'm seeing that maybe it's not the best solution. <laughs> so, so you should just accept it. Accept Except what, Sifrin? Except that you'll always be alone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mirabel slapped you. Mirabel slapped you? How can you... How can you say such horrible things, Sifrin? What? But... I'll never be bonded with anyone? I'll always be alone? Change, what makes you think you can say such horrible things, Sifrin? Oh. No, I, I didn't mean it like... Then how did you mean it, Sifrin? What's wrong with you today? You were weird when you woke up. You were walking around not responding to anyone. You know about my papers even though I didn't tell anyone and now this? Is something wrong, Sifrin? Did something happen? Did you have a nightmare or something? No. Of course not. Then what happened, Sifrin? Because cle clearly something did happen. Otherwise, if nothing happened, I'll have to accept the fact that I was wrong about you. Huh? Wrong about me? You always tease me, Sifrin. And it's fine. Everyone does. I guess I have the kind of personality where it's easy to want to tease me. But I know people don't mean it. It's how... It's how some people make friends. And I thought it was the same for you. I thought... It's okay, they don't mean it. It's how they are. They tease me, but they're never mean. And Sifra never really hurts me. Would never really hurt me. But now you have, Sifra, thinking I should be alone? Telling me I should be alone? Who do you think you are to say this to me? Acting like, like you know better than me? Always so mysterious, Sifra. Always talking as if you're better than me? As if you know me? But you don't, Sifra. You're just as lost and useless as I am. Whoa. So stop talking as if you know me. Mirabel breathes heavily. You've hurt me, Sifrin, and I was wrong. For you to say something like that to me and think it was okay? You're awful. You're not my friend, not my ally, not anything. You never were. My family's gone. I'm going to the clock tower. I don't want to see you until tonight. But you didn't mean it like... You... You've made Mirabelle very upset. No, no, that's not what's important here, is it? She'll get over it one way or loop or another. But you didn't get her shield skill. But maybe it doesn't matter that much. You could just bring her back to that book about shields in the secret library before you go and fight the king. You don't really need her special skill after all. The usual shield skill will do just fine. It would be nice to get everyone else's special skill, though. Back to it. Wait, am I evil now? No. Oh yeah, the music is different. Oh no. We're evil. The change god is glitched. Oh no, we've broken the loop. You approach the change god statue. You close your eyes tightly. 
Wait, I can't even make a wish? No! Can I talk to Luke? No! Sifrin is now all about the end and not the journey. Horrifying, isn't it? Our beautiful house of change warped into such a terrible shape. The king waits inside, waits for the entire country to finally be frozen in time. I shall pray for your victory tomorrow. You look at the house for a very long time. Oh, is that why the elderly person didn't have a wish because they prayed? So real and true. Oh, move out of my way! Sorry, I was channeling my Cifrin. <laughs> I'm gonna kick that bird! <laughs> In game. Oh, Cifrin. Cifrin? You look different. What's wrong? Uh, nothing's wrong, but... No, something is wrong. What? Have you heard of it, something called a family tale? I may have. What about them? I've heard of someone who has one. Would you like to come check with me? Lead the way, I suppose. Uh-oh. The, the girl has it. Don't waste any time. Hi! Hi! You know anything about a book? A book? Um... This is the only book I have! She happily shows off the paper rays. Family too. What? Oh my! So you had it, Charlene. Were you two looking for this? Well, I suppose you two can borrow it. You got the paper as family too. Sifrin? Thank you both. We'll give it back shortly. Take your time. Shall we go elsewhere now? Lead the way. You have the book, but... Odell isn't following stage directions. And is looking right at you. Quite a fascinating book, isn't it? Sifrin, how did you know the little girl had a family tale? I figured I should ask. Why? Why not? Knowing that little girl owned a family tale is one thing, Sifrin, but... How did you even know I wanted to read one? You already failed this one, didn't you? And even this place, why did you bring us here? You stay silent. Sifrin? I don't mind secrets, Sifrin. I have many of my own. If you want to keep yours, that's fine. But what I hate is when those secrets are about me, and when people I consider friends keep them from me. Just tell Odile what's going on. Odile is like actually smart enough to understand and comprehend what's going on. We Just tell Odile! But we're friends now. No. You don't answer. Sifrin? Oh, Sifrin. She raises a hand towards you. You're... shaking. You try not to startle. And you're so tense. Like you're about to snap. Sifrin? I was worried before. But now I'm very worried. What's happening? What's wrong? How can I... N nothing's wrong, Sifrin. If you're gonna ask questions instead of acting like normal, then I don't need you. I don't need this right now. If you can't act normally, then just leave me alone. But clearly something's wrong, Sifrin. Just... Nothing's wrong! Why are you always like this? So overbearing, always trying to know everything? What? So blinding annoying, Odile. 
You should just leave me behind. It's your family specialty, isn't it? Oh! Whoa! Just leave me behind. Just like you left Kabu behind. Just like your mom left. You don't even finish your sentence. Odal grabs your collar. She lets you go. Oh, anti Odal unlocked. Thank you for finding that family tale for me, Sifrin. I'm sure you have a lot of things left to do today. I'll be at the clock tower. Don't come back for a bit. What the... What did you say? Why did you say that? How could you have said such a horrible thing to her? She was only worried about you. And you said... You said... What is wrong with you? Well, that's fine. You didn't really need that skill anyway. You can barely remember what it does half the time. No, it boosts my stats. It was actually a really good skill. And Odal already has so many useful skills. You'll be fine. Oh wait, the skill is different than the memory. I, I honestly did not use Odal's skill. <laughs> wait, I'll be honest. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, honestly, the skills from these memories weren't the best, but the actual memory is good. <laughs> wait. You're the only one that needs to do the final strike anyway. I bet they're not going to want to go and join me on the fight. You should talk to Bonnie next. Oh, I'm just here. I'm here. Hey, friend. Friend? What's wrong? You look... You don't look good. Huh. I was thinking. How about I teach you how to fight today? Really? I... I... um... I would really like that. Will you really? Of course. Oh! Then, yeah! L let's go! L look! Look! I'm not scared! Come on! I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I can do this. I I can. Too long, too long. It's taking too blinding long. You only need to fall over to make them act, don't you? You just need to make them realize they can protect you. You just need to fall. Now. You tripped on nothing. The Santa saw you trip and now it has its sight on you. Bonnie saw you trip too. What? What did you... Oh yeah, because we tripped on the second fight, not the first encounter. Friend! No! Whoa, they did 2k damage! 2900! Uh... Uh... You breathe in and out. 150 XP received. Even the dialogue is moving quicker too. Friend! Why did you fall? What did you trip on? You almost got hurt! You... 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 Didn't trip on anything. It's like you just fell. You don't say anything. You... You fell on nothing. And you... You didn't look scared. Friend. You... Let yourself get attacked on purpose. You don't move. I saw it! I, I saw you! You you looked around and the Sanus was about to attack and you you just fell! And you didn't even look surprised, friend. But why would you do that? I don't get it. You fell and I... I didn't think you couldn't move fast enough, so I... Attacked the Sadness... On my own. Yeah. And you beat it on your own, too. What? I did that so you become stronger, more confident. And if I get hurt, you protect me. And if you get hurt, I'll protect you. That's how it is with us, isn't it? We promised! 
I, I just wanted you to be stronger. What? What is wrong with you? He jumped. You got hurt on purpose? So I would save you? Why would you think I wanted this, friend? I don't want this. I never wanted this. I don't want to be strong if it means you have to be hurt. No. 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 Ah. Friend, you stupid idiot. I... I thought it would help. No! It didn't help! It really didn't help! I hate you, friend! I hate you! Bunny cries and cries and cries. He can't move. I... I can't! Bunny runs away. You... Because of you, Bonnie didn't get stronger. Not that their attacks got that much stronger after you talked to them, didn't it? You'll be fine. As long as you know Bonnie's here to watch your back. As long as you can defeat the king yourself. Doesn't matter what skills they all do or don't have. One to go. I don't like this. I'm like actually tensed up doing this part. So unsettling. Hey, Issa. Oh, Sif. Your smile stops Issa in his tracks. This is not a good thing. Um, I... What's wrong? Um, nothing, just... Mira, Odile, and Bonnie came to talk to me earlier. They all looked a little upset. So, uh, did something happen? Talking behind your back, as always. Nothing happened, no. Would you like to go see the stars with me? The stars? But those only appear at night. It won't be nighttime for a few hours still. Uh, later then. Oh, sure. Sif? Are you okay? I have heard that- well, I've heard from trusted sources that you're not doing very well today. No, I'm fine. Yeah, that's a line we both know it, buddy. What's wrong? Is this something you can tell your buddy, Issa? Your future lover? I mean, buddy. Siv. You know, I get like that too. Sometimes I feel weird and I want to push away everyone. But you know it's not good. Right? It's not healthy. And I, and everyone else, we want you to be okay. To talk to us. Because we're companions! Comrades in arms! And we want everyone in our little crew to be ready for anything, right? Especially since, no matter what, tomorrow will be our last day together as a family, I guess. So please don't hesitate, okay? And talk to us. Or just me, or just Odile, or whoever. About anything. And you know... I get like that too. Sometimes I feel weird and I want to push away everyone. But you know it's not good, right? Wait, he's saying this again. He's literally saying it again. It's not healthy. And I and everyone else, we want you to be okay. To talk to us. Because we're companions. Comrades in arms. He's saying it again. He's saying it again. And we want everyone in our little crew to be ready for anything, right? Especially since... No matter what... Tomorrow will be our last day together as a family, I guess. So please don't hesitate, okay? And talk to us. Or just me, or just Odell, or whoever. About anything. And you know, I get like that too. Sometimes I feel weird and I want to push away everyone. But you know it's not good, right? It's not healthy. And I and everyone else, we want you to be okay. To talk to us. Because we're companions. Comrades in arms. And we want everyone in our little crew to be ready for anything, right? Especially since... No matter what, tomorrow will be our last day together as a family, I guess. So please don't hesitate, okay? And talk to us. Or just me, or just Odile, or whoever, about anything. And you know I get like that too. The background is slightly getting darker and darker, that's why I'm not speedrunning through this. And you know, I get like that too sometimes. I feel weird and I want to push away everyone. But you know, it's not good, right? This makes so much sense, because out of all the characters that I've had to reloop, I've skipped so much of Bo's dialogue. We immediately ignore him. 
and tell them to get away from the tree. This is karma. This is karma. But you know, it's not good, right? It's not healthy. And I and everyone else, we want you to be okay. To talk to us. But we're companions. Companions in arms. And we want everyone in our little crew to be ready for anything, right? Especially since, no matter what, tomorrow will be our last day together. As a family, I guess. So please don't hesitate, okay? And talk to us. Or just me, or just Odile, or whoever. About anything. And you know I get like that, too. I did not press Y. I did not press Y there. I did not fast forward. And you know, I get like that, too. Sometimes I feel weird. I want to push away everyone. But you know, it's not good, right? It's not healthy. And I, and everyone else, we want you to be okay. To talk to us. Because we're companions. Comrades in arms. We want everyone in our little crew to be ready for anything, right? Because, especially since, no matter what, tomorrow will be our last day together as a family, I guess. So please don't hesitate, okay? And talk to us. Talk to us. Or just me or just Odal or whoever. About anything. And you know, I get like that too. Sometimes I feel weird and I want to push away everyone. But you know, it's not good, right? It's not healthy. And I and everyone else, we want you to be okay. To talk to us. Because we're companions. Comrades in arms. And we want everyone in our little crew to be ready for anything, right? Especially since. No matter what, tomorrow will be our last day together as a family, I guess. So please don't hesitate, okay? And talk to us. Or just me or Odile or whoever. About anything. And you know, I get like that too. Sometimes I feel weird and want to push away everyone. But you know, it's not good, right? It's not healthy. And I and everyone else, we want you to be okay. To talk to us. Because we're companions. Comrades in arms. And we want everyone in our little crew to be ready for anything, right? Especially since, no matter what, tomorrow will be our last day together. As a family, I guess. So please don't hesitate, okay? And talk to us. Or just me or Odile or whoever. About anything. And you know, I get like that too. Sometimes I feel weird and I want to push away everyone. But you know it's not good, right? It's not healthy. And I and everyone else, we want you to be okay. To talk to us. Because we're companions. Comrades in arms. And we want everyone in our little crew to be ready for anything, right? Especially since, no matter what, tomorrow will be our last day together as a family, I guess. So please don't hesitate, okay? And talk to us. Or just me or Odile or whoever. About anything. And you know, I get like that too. Sometimes I feel weird and I want to push away everyone. But you know it's not good, right? It's not healthy. And I and everyone else, we want you to be okay to talk to us. Because we're companions. Comrades in arms. And we want everyone in our little crew to be ready for anything, right? Especially since, no matter what, tomorrow will be our last day together as a family, I guess. So please don't hesitate, okay? And talk to us. Or just me, or just Odile, or whoever. And about anything. Oh my god, how long is this dialogue tree? And you know, I get like that too. Sometimes I feel weird and I want to push away everyone. But you know, it's not good, right? It's not healthy, and I and everyone else, we want you to be okay, to talk to us. Because we're companions, comrades in arms, and we want everyone in our little crew to be ready for anything, right? Especially since, no matter what, tomorrow will be our last day together as a family, I guess. So please don't hesitate, okay? And talk to us, or just me, or just Odell, or whoever, about anything. And you know, I get like that too. Sometimes I feel weird and I want to push away everyone. But you know it's not good, right? Wait, this is like, piece of two, yeah. <laughs> Okay, how long can I do this for? You know, I objectively can do this for a long, long time. That fast forward button is really tempting, but I kind of want to see how long this goes for. I feel like the moment I fast forward, he's going to be pissed off. But you know, it's not good, right? It's not healthy. And I and everyone else, we want you to be okay to talk to us. Because we're companions, comrades in arms, and we want everyone in our little crew to be ready for anything, right? Especially since, no matter what, tomorrow will be our last day together as a family, I guess. So please don't hesitate, okay? And talk to us, or just me or just Odile or whoever, about anything. And you know, I get like that too. Sometimes I feel weird and I want to push away everyone. And you know it's not good, right? It's not healthy. And I and everyone else, we want you to be okay. To talk to us. Because we're companions, comrades in arms, and we want everyone in our little crew to be ready for anything, right? Especially since, no matter what, tomorrow will be our last day together and as a family, I guess. So please don't hesitate, okay? And talk to us. Or just me or just Odile or whoever. About anything. And, you know, I get like that too. Sometimes I feel weird and I want to push people away. Or push away everyone. But you know, it's not good, right? It's not healthy. And I and everyone else, we want you to be okay. To talk to us. Because we're companions, comrades in arms. I'm skipping. Hey. Man, I almost...
almost got through it all. There was like three more repeats. Dang it, I could have persevered. What the? Sif, were you even listening to what I was saying? Oh, you caught me! So, they were right, Sif. Something is wrong. Mirabel said you were acting weird when you woke up. Odal told me something happened with the book that you shouldn't have known about, and Bonnie was crying so much they could barely string two words together. Did you do something? Did they misunderstand? They had to, right? You wouldn't. You wouldn't do stuff like that. What's happening, Sif? Is something wrong? Can you tell me? Why is he so suspicious of you right now? Ah, oh, so annoying. All of them. Always talking behind your back. Always acting weird. Always deviating from their role every time you look away from a single blinding second. Don't they get it? You just want them to follow. You just want them to come with you. You just want them here. And the easiest way to keep them close is to make sure they don't die. And the, easy way, and the easiest way to make sure they don't die is to make them stronger. Why can't they understand that? You don't want to talk. You don't want to think about your problems. You just want to follow the script. The universe. To the end. Like always. Except this time, you'll break it. And you'll kill him. And you'll escape. And everything will be... Yeah. Something's wrong. I knew it! What is it? Can I help? If you tell me, we can go and talk to everyone and... What's wrong is that you're getting on my nerves. Huh? Oh, Mr. Amazing, Wonderful, Funny, Buff Isabel. Look at you. You're acting as if you're so calm and reasonable. When all you are is weak and useless. Nothing to say this time? It's just fine. You never could say it anyway. You never could say anything. I know what kind of person you are now. What kind of person I am? A coward, is it? Never able to say what you mean. Never able to do what you want. Because it's easier, isn't it, to not do anything? To only project a facade of confidence by not doing anything to back it up? It's easier to let people do everything, isn't it? To just encourage them while staying on the sidelines? Poor Isabeau. You keep changing and changing from a nerd to a jock to a clothing designer. But deep down, you know you can't escape yourself. You're so mean. And this is why I don't open up to any new friends. I... I don't know where any of this is coming from, but maybe you're right, Sif. Yeah? I'm weak. Yeah, I'm a coward. Yeah, I feel like I never do things right. Yeah, I keep changing personalities like clothes, because it's easier than learning to like myself. Yeah? There are a lot of things I can't tell you, no matter how hard I try. But at least, I'm trying to change. I'm trying to be someone I can be proud of. I'm trying to be better. So I can help and support the people I care about. Unlike someone else here. I deserve that. I don't want to talk to you right now. I'm going to join everyone at the clock tower. I'll see you there. Oh, sure. Take your time, though. Take all the time you need. It's fine. They're all upset right now. But they wouldn't go to the house without you. You just need to give them some time to calm down. Wait, am I like in full narcissist mode right now? Is this narcissism super? <laughs> Luke! And you have one last person to talk to anyway. Oh yeah, Luke can like listen in on everything. This is gonna be awkward. <laughs> This was not the nicest thing you could have said to any of them. Does it matter? Well, um, yes. Why wouldn't it matter? They'll come with me to the house anyway. They've always done it before. 
Okay, but... But it really doesn't matter. Because I found it, Luke. Found it? Found what? How to break the sloop. How to escape. What? But... I'm here to kill the king, aren't I? Everyone's been wishing for it. For the king to be defeated, so that's why I'm here. Aren't I? Wait, there- It's literally narcissism. Oh my god, it's literally narcissism. Well, um... Maybe. I don't. And, and, and? Miro's always the one, isn't she? The one? The one to what? The one to deal the final strike on the king! And? Why doesn't Luke get it? And if everyone's wish is centered on me... And if I'm the only one who's looping and remembering... And if time keeps rewinding after I... King the... And if time keeps rewinding after I kill the king, the head housemaid had said it might be because the wish hasn't come true, right? So, isn't it rewinding because it's not me, the person who's in the middle of this killing the king? That... It can't be that simple, Stardust. Maybe it is that simple! We've never thought about it, haven't we? Maybe it was that easy all this time. No, I... I can say with certainty that it's not it. It has to be something else. Why? Huh? Well, are you even sure you've never defeated the king yourself? I'm sure it must have happened once or twice. You've been looping for a long time, so you might have forgot... It must have happened once or twice? I'm certain I never defeated him myself. And yet, how can you say it with certainty? Do you know something? No, I don't know any more than you, Stardust. It's just, I know that's not it. It has to be something else that's causing the loops. Something else that can break them. Something... Then what else, Loop? What else am I supposed to do? What else am I supposed to try? Should I make everyone come with me? Should I rely on the power of love? Should I talk to the king, the head housemaiden? Should I die? Should everyone die? What What else is there? Haven't I done it all? There's nothing else, Loop. I know it's stupid. I know it's a long shot. But it has to be this. It has to be this, Loop, or... Or... You fall to your knees. Or... Or... Doesn't mean... It, it means... It means I'm stuck here for good. Aren't I? Forever? No. You think I'm stuck here forever? What? No, I... Luke? You knew. You knew this whole time. You knew this whole time there was no escape. Uh-oh. Stardust. Stars. No, 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 no! Stardust, I... Why didn't you tell me? Why did you lie to me? I... I didn't. I was brought here to help you, and... And I thought if I was here, we could... You knew there was no way to break the loops. I thought that if we tried together, we... we'd... You knew. You knew. You knew, you... you knew, you knew this entire time! Stardust. Did you have fun, Loop? Was it entertaining at least? Was it funny? Did you like watching me run around in circles, hoping, wishing? Did you like the show? No. No. I didn't like to watch this at all. Curse you, Luke. Stardust, I... I'm sorry. I really am. But please... Stardust, Sifrin, 
if we think, if we go through, you don't have time for this. Oh, this is the clock tower. I was like, where is this? I'm not used to this because I usually see my friends out front. The clock tower. You arrive later than usual. Is everyone eating still? You need to join them. And act normally this time, so you can go to the house together tomorrow. You don't care if they're not strong enough. You can make it on your own. Defeat the king on your own. You just want them here. That auto walked forward. I tried to walk backwards. You enter silently. You don't hear cutlery or anything. Were they waiting for me? Your stomach hurts. They must have eaten without you. Maybe they're already sleeping. But no. You can hear them talk. Wait, are we gonna kill our friends? There was a nightmare where we woke up and the nightmare was we're eating our friends. Are we gonna like slice and dice and have a little dinner? That would be crazy. You get closer. Oh. They're gonna be talking mad shit. And, and then I left. I couldn't be there anymore. Why would Sif act like this suddenly? That's not like them at all. Clearly something happened. But what? I don't understand. Why do you do stuff like that? I don't understand at all. Bonnie. You're a child, Bonnie. <laughs> Everyone. Sifra might come back any second now. So we need to decide what to do. <gasps> Are they gonna kick us from the group? What to do? About tomorrow. Yes. Huh? What do you mean? Are you saying leave without Sifrin? What? I I understand how you feel, but we shouldn't leave Sif behind. He's the one who leads us. We wouldn't be able to evade traps without them. Oh no, they're gonna leave without us in the morning and the boulder's gonna kill them all and we're gonna walk in the house and gonna be dead! Plus, he's our friend. We can't leave them behind. Yeah. He, he was mean, but friend was always with us, so... I agree, but... But would he even agree to come with us still? Maybe they won't even come back tonight. No, friend will be there. I know it. And either way, we should wait for them, everyone. We can't. Please, listen to me. I... I just... I just don't know if we can trust Sifrin anymore. Not at such an important moment. But we'll be fighting the king tomorrow, Isabeau. It's not just the simple sadness. It's the king. The being who has trapped the guard in time. And we need to be a team. We need to be united. We need to trust one another. Man, one bad day and everybody hates me. After what just happened to all of us today, could you do it, everyone? Could you entrust your life and future to someone like Sifrin right now? Okay, they're kind of right about that. You... You decide... To... Ain't no way I'm going by myself! I can't even open the door. What? I stole the orbs. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Oh my god, I'm crazy. I'm crazy. <gasps> Level 99? Oh my god, Cyprian kind of goaded. Oh, 
I still have some items. Interesting. Memory of emptiness. Nothing comes to mind. <laughs> Can loop back immediately when dead. I don't have my other memories. Oh, I don't like this. You know what else I don't like? Running ads. But you know what? I gotta do it. Because guys, we're seven hours in. I'll keep going for a little bit longer. I think we're at... We're, at, we're, we're reaching the climax. So if you know here, click follow. We've already gotten one follower today. Can we get four more to hit our goal? And if you want to avoid the ad, I gotta just subscribe for $5.99. Just $6. Skip your coffee and get out of free viewing Amazon. Or you can link Amazon Prime to Twitch and subscribe for free. Man, I feel my stutter and my slurring. I'm getting tired. It's been very dialogue heavy in the game today. I'm trying my best, y'all. <coughs> I'm locked in. There is no way Sifrin can survive because the king's opening move, like, takes us out immediately. It does, like, 10k damage. Wait, no enemy cutscene? I kind of like that. Oh. Okay, for these enemies, I guess they still, like, trigger. Deal massive scissor damage. Heal yourself. Breathe. Boost actors, attack, defense, and attack speed. Actor? Uh-oh. So I have rock, scissor, paper damage, breathe, and heal. Wait, this is kind of wild. It has no turn timeout? Yo. Wait, Sifrin kind of goaded now. You breathe in and out. 200 XP received. Also, the background seems to be moving quicker, too. We're gonna kill the king. I don't want to save. I'm scared. Wait, what? What, in tarnation? It's flipped. An item. You don't think you need to pick up items anymore. Really? Uh, really? You open the useless closet. You got the bell pendant. Okay, so I can pick up souvenirs. It doesn't tell me that it's a souvenir, though, but I cannot pick up items. That is wild. Oh, this is gonna confuse me now. <laughs> Damn. Should I save? Save your progress? Yes. Close your eye tightly. Okay. Act number five? I'm in act five, y'all. The final act smile, hopefully? Okay, so if the flipping is correct, we go... Oh, shit. The game seems to be running faster as well. Like, the frame rate seems to be higher, but the music is slower. It seems like it's actually in 60 frames per second versus, like, 30. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. You know, I would say this from the beginning. I should have just been playing the game by myself. My team sucked. Okay, this is gonna be hard to dodge the sadnesses now, because everything's flipped. The controls aren't flipped, it's just the layout of the map is flipped. 
Hi Vic, welcome back. It's just me, Mouse, so open up. You breathe in and out. 200 XP received. Oh, wait, I had a black hat there. I'm a witch. I've been here the whole time. Oh yeah, you said you'd lurk. Smile. Thank you. Wait, what incarnation? hit the corner oh uh oh the kitchen closet you got the egg key I think we got some things that need to be worked on You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. You know, earlier I was joking about Cipher and reaching the level 99. I didn't think it would actually happen. You breathe in and out. 200 XP received. Yeah, nothing good in here. The weapon's broken. You look at the sword, waiting for the universe to ride itself. You don't remember what it's called. You don't remember, you don't remember. Wait, no sharpening stone? Nothing to pick up. No! I can't get the cool knife. God, fuck. I kind of want to get a tear and just reset now to see what would happen, but I don't want to risk it. Oh, Sifrin had a black hat! The door is locked tight. You see the open phrase. This is not the correct room. The cupboard with checkers. Okay, so it looks like the rooms are being rearranged as well. There's also more tears in this hallway. Maybe because I'm sad. Sifrin is crazy. Oh my god. Just give me the king so I can kill him! Also, my throat hurts.
Oh, a sadness. I think this person was weak to raw? Or resisted, anyway. I'm gonna heal myself? It heals 1500? Man, this super is kind of the goat. It resisted rock, so that means it's paper. You breathe in and out. 1100 XP received. You got the star crust. Wait, this is the locked room. Let's see if the books tell anything. The bookcases are filled with many books written in many different languages. The Guardian, Batarian, Wudu. One of them is written in your language. You couldn't read it now even if you tried. Well. We became stupider. <laughs> this is awkward. Ooh, Colleen! Look at that! Chick-fil-A time? Don't tempt me. That sounds so good. Guys, should I get Wendy's type 1? I'm debating. I'm really debating. I kind of want to just, like, guzzle down a 10-piece. <laughs> DoorDash it? Nah, it's not worth it. It's too expensive to DoorDash! You know, should I take the bus for 30 minutes and get Wendy's? Easy. DoorDash is so cheap for me. Nah, I swear. I don't know. I feel like it's expensive no matter where you are. Because I live in a pretty populated area. And even when I lived in a, a less dense or populated city, it still costs the same. I don't know. It's always the service fees that get me. DoorDash was only really worth when I had like the premium account. But now, but I personally haven't ordered delivery in like months. The last thing I ordered was the pizza for the subathon, and then before that, it had been like five or six months. Because it's nice, because like most things are accessible for me. Like I could take the bus or I could walk to most any place I need to go. So I, I told myself. Because, oh, I used to DoorDash. Um, what you call it? Popeyes all the time, like at least once a month, because my sister loves it. And then we ordered it in person one day, and it was the freshest, crispiest chicken sandwich I've ever had. So I was like, shit, I'm not door dashing anything ever again. Both my messages got automated. You must have, like, said something sus. Locked. Wait, how the fuck is it locked? Sorry, I got mad. You have yet to try Popeyes? Honey, you have to try it. It's genuinely so good. The chicken is fire, the breading is fire. I would get Popeyes, but it's a bit, like, too far for me to go. And also, Popeyes past, like, 3 p.m. is always so busy. It's not worth. Oh, yeah, I need the Star Crest here. Oops. Star Crest used. You open the drawer. You got the broken egg key. Oh wait, this gives me a random card. You pick up a card at random. Got the drawn card. A crumpled hand-drawn card. The bottom says, The Fool. Yeah, I am truly the fool. <laughs> I think 
what might be as good, if not better, than Popeyes. No! Is Jolly Bees. Jolly Bees is genuinely so good. I had it for the first time. Because my hometown didn't have one. And goddamn, it's so good. It's very similar to Popeyes, but the breading is slightly sweeter. You don't have any Jollibees in your state? That's crazy. You're really missing out. You should, like, come to Washington just to try Jollibees. <laughs> Fuck! It's really funny, because, like, I've been to a few Jollibees in different cities. And every single one... Now, this may sound bad. Because <laughs> it's like a Filipino base chain. Every single Jollibees I've been to, no white people on staff. They've only had like Asian and then like a... Like brown Asian too. Or tan, I'll say tan. There's no white people. <laughs> it's so... I'm like, hmm... Hmm. <laughs> okay, why explore one taking so fucking long? Save your progress. Yes, sir. You close your you close your eye tightly. I really hope at the end of this, my friends come through at the end, and then, like, we save the world all together. The closest one is 100 miles away? Shit. That sucks. <laughs> I would be sad if one was that- That'd be, like, a flame. Hi, Ethan. Welcome back. I'm locking in. <laughs> Yo, I just beat it in one hit? That's crazy. But like, honestly, it's good that I get to skip it, you know? Wait. I just realized. Didn't... Where's the room that has the switch? Did I miss that? The death corridor? No, my friends! What? You thought you saw something, but... It was just you. You're alone, but it's fine. You just need to defeat the king on your own. You're hungry. I have no food! Didn't the king surrender like four hours ago? If you're watching this on YouTube, we probably cut it all out. I've played like 40 fucking hours of this game. You probably were maybe seeing like maybe max five. But yes. Um, Ethan, you gotta watch back the VOD to see what happened. I'm not gonna spoil. Save her progress? Yes. You close your eye tightly. I do hope Act 5 is the final act. Surely this game is not 10 acts long, right? Kalunis. This pillar's broken. A pillar. Oh wait, it's floating! The world is broken. Just like my heart. I don't watch VODs, then I guess... <gasps> Ciferin. I only watch VODs of, like, streamers that I genuinely, genuinely really like. Like, I watch every Squeaks VOD. Oh, I haven't been in this room in a while. Someone is laying on the bed, frozen in time. A drawer with nothing in it. 
Inside the drawer is a tiny bottle with a label saying grape juice for adults. You hate the taste of alcohol, but you take a swig anyway. No, we're an alcoholic now! It tastes like normal, non-alcoholic grape juice. <laughs> Good, I don't want to drink frozen flowers. A closet. There's a porcelain doll in it. It's cracked, with half of its face missing. Someone probably threw it away. You got the broken doll. You put the doll in your pocket along with your souvenirs. That's new. It never used to say souvenirs. Am I coming back to reality? Oh, here comes gravity. Wait, why am I here? Oh, was that the room behind the tears? Potentially? You slept too long already. I can't loop back? You slept too long already. Whoa. I can't loop back. Okay. Wait, I, I know the lock code though. What, in tarnation? What does that even mean? I don't know what you're referring to, Ethan, but let me just explain. Your mom. Got him. Oh, the Eminem lyric? I don't even know what I said. <laughs> I've been playing this game for seven hours straight, guys. Die. Weak ass bitch. I'm literally killing the devil right now. Wait, what the fuck? Musk is still alive. I'm not. That's not my opinion. I'm just reading a Twitch chat. Also, something is in my eye. Double Garma. The devil's my homeboy. <laughs> Sorry. Vic, I have a joke. Can I say it? <laughs> Yes, okay. <laughs> I would like to say I'm not religious. I don't believe this. But I was gonna say, yeah, because you're gay. <laughs> I'm agnostic and I am making a joke. This is not hate speech. <laughs> that was the joke. What? Well, I don't want to be cancelled. The joke is that some people believe that gay people go to hell. That's the joke. No, I don't want the woke mob to cancel me. All it takes is one clipper and I'm done. Or I get popular. Depends on what type of crowd. Maybe I'll get the Nick Merckx audience. Oh, this is also flipped. Okay. Oh my god. I'm kind of lost. Why did Ethan also get timed out? No, he timed himself out. As an act of protest. And also self-censorship. The music is lit, I can barely hear it from my TV. You know, I do a lot for you guys. Since I turned my TV volume down, I can barely hear, but then you guys don't hear an echo. But then, 
In turn, I have my laptop's fan speeds on at max, so you might hear a slight buzz. Sorry, headphone users. Get back here. No, I'm getting lost. I'm getting lost. This is gonna piss me off. Oh my god, I'm gonna get mad. I promise you can't hear the buzz. It's only like, you can only hear it if you have like your speakers on at 100% volume. Otherwise, it's very easy to not notice. Thank goodness. I have like decent sound settings for a Yeti mic. Oh, oh, okay, I did it right. Here, here. Got the rock key. I will not be testing that out. <laughs> Everyone's wishes. You'll make them all come true. Okay, I'm back here. This is really confusing. Oh, what the- <sighs> I hate this. I had just literally memorized the map. And they went and jumbled everything up. Okay, I'll backtrack then. Library. No secret library, said. Oh! Still open. I guess no secret library then. Is this game trying to teach me that I can't do things without my friends sometimes? That you need a support system? Hmm. I wonder. I'm Mario Wonder. Yes, I did roll my eyes there. You breathe in and out. I'm in. What, in tarnation? Need to find the Starcrest room. But which room was it? Colleen. It's not the first one. Fuck. It's purposely, like, respawning you in funny rooms that are not in linear order. I don't like this room. I'm gonna take this. You got two salty broths. Oh, 
Yay! I found it! I believe this one was weak to paper. Creo que si. Nope, I was totally incorrect. <laughs> It resisted paper, that means it's paper type, so I do scissor. W. You breathe in and out. 1,100 XP received. You got the star crest. Wait, I need this key anyway. You got the crying key. You think about snacks for some reason. A fruit, maybe? Why would you think about a fruit now? That's weird. You're so weird. A board with some doodles in the corner. Someone wrote on the board, don't stay with your mistakes. Don't be afraid to start over. Well, I can't start over. I have to commit to this. But no friends, no family, no bow. character's mental illness is taking over unfortunately yeah true I did say earlier that I think Sifrin like the whole premise is like an allegory for PTSD yes sir Use the star crest? Yes! <laughs> no! The rocks are gone. You got the scissors key. A book about traps and how they work. Some carving wood. Will you ever carve wood again? Nope. I'm gonna be stuck here forever. What is Sifrin's trauma? We don't necessarily know yet. But they're very touch averse, so you can probably connect the dots a little bit. Also, their whole country got destroyed? We don't know what that's about yet, though. Lucky! Finally, floor two done. You close your eye tightly. <laughs> I bet we're gonna get to the king and he's just gonna, like, insta-kill us. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Our friends? Oh, wait, what? They're actually here. Sif, friend? Sif, where were you? You took so long to get here, we started eating our snacks without you. Come here, friend! I have some snacks for you to eat! Well, I'm rocking really slow. This is me just pressing normally. Fri- No! You... You just need to defeat the king on your own. 
Your stomach hurts. You feel cold. Oh, the, I can't walk past where my friends are sitting. Oh, wait. Only friend. No. Bonnie. Only where Bonnie was sitting. I can't walk past. Wait, that's wild. Save your progress? Yes. You close your eye tightly. But are lemons really easy to squeeze? Yeah. If you're strong like me. I literally don't have a lemon squeezer. So if I need to use lemon for recipe, I literally just squeeze it. <laughs> With my bare hands. It's pretty metal. I continue on. I continue backwards. I cannot go backwards here. Bonnie's still there. Is it a trap? A broken pillar? A broken pillar. Oh, I had to walk instead of dash into the walkway. You ever go to tell someone something and realize you can't because they aren't chronically online? Yeah, it's really funny, because one of my friends, they only have Instagram. That's the only internet they really use, and then sometimes YouTube, so like, I'll try to tell them like, online drama, like TikTok or Twitch drama, and they just don't understand any of it, and it's so funny. I wish I could be that detached and clueless. My mental health? Boom! No, I just don't go on- I go on Twitter a lot less. It's pretty nice. Useless. What are all these shadows on the ground? Oh, okay, well, we're just getting random rooms again. There's also more hair throughout this floor, too. More clay on the ground. Okay, these rooms are correct. The pottery and the observatory. I uh, still refusing to call Twitter X is hilarious. Yeah. Because people still call posts tweets. It's so stupid. It's genuinely so stupid. Like, what? Didn't Elon, like, try to, like, make tweets be called something else? I forgot what it was. But it had to be something mad stupid. Okay, this floor is completely correct so far. Okay, now it's not correct. <laughs> what in tarnation? Apparently he had an obsession with the domain X for a long time, just like how he's obsessed with his current exes. Like, come on, get over it, man. 
Also, didn't he, like, sexually harass somebody in the workplace? I don't know. If you're an Elon simp, I'll say it. You're a dumbass bitch. He a freak for real? Yeah, I'm saying that to be mean. <laughs> scissor damage to all enemies. Okay, so the scissor one is the only one that can attack multiple people. All my other attacks are just single, offensive. This is a crazy conversation. What, would you rather us talk about, like, what we did on our days? Like, oh, guys, what- how'd your day go? Like, what'd you do today? Huh? What'd you do? Like, go on, tell me what you guys did. You know what I did? I played this game for seven hours. <laughs> Touché. <laughs> You know, Cutely called me a cozy streamer, and I'm never gonna get over that. Guys, am I a cozy streamer or a funny streamer, be honest? Oh, this is not correct. What is this room? This had to be one of the tier rooms. Papers. Poems. An item. You leave it alone. Books. You find an anthology of horror stories on the cover. A handsome young man looks into the night fearfully but longingly. Omira, looks like the kind of books you like, yeah? Horror books. This one looks massive. What's this one called? That's the handsome young man falling into beautifully heartbreaking madness horror anthology! Did. Did? Did someone in the house have it all this time? Did someone keep it from you? What is it anyway? It's a full anthology of all the pure-hearted boys being subjected to awful monsters and horror situations. Seeing them screaming in fright, I cannot help but root for them, and at the same time be happy I'm not in their situation. There's something lovingly touching about these tales, something wonderfully hopeful. I cannot help but read them and pray for their survival. So... So do they usually survive? Or do the monsters catch them? Okay, we've seen this dialogue already. It's interesting that it's playing it again. I guess maybe they're playing it again because I obviously there's probably some people who didn't go through all the tier options. <laughs> to clarify, not peace, and you were not the super hot Pokemon streamer. <laughs> Saving your ass, huh? I deal with you. <laughs> Caught. Wait, I think I'm stuck here now. Stool. Wait, am I stuck here? Oh no. Oh no, I might be stun locked. Oh, this is new. Oh, when I when I dash through doors, I think it triggers something different. A mirror. You and your actors are reflected in it. That's a big mirror. Massive even. And there's not really anything else of interest in this room. I don't know anything about it. Before the house shifted around because of the king, it wasn't a part of the house I didn't even open, walk by. Hmm. Isabel's looking for the switch. Oh, they're still in the picture. 
Her 150 hour peace lock says she's a Pokemon streamer? No, to be honest, I think Pokemon Emerald is my most streamed category this year. Guys, nominate Peason for Hidden Gem at the 2024 Streamer Awards and Pokemon Streamer. Can we do it? It's a picture of all of you. It's us. You got the mirror picture. You got the smiling key. You try not to think about them. Even if it was the same lines every time, it was nice, wasn't it? To listen to the same thing? It was restful, wasn't it? To know. To remember exactly what happens next. Is it worth it to try and break the loop by whatever means necessary? You like knowing what happens next. You don't have to think about anything. Even if you manage to break the loops, what will you come back to? Allies that hate you? Don't think about it. Don't think about it. You keep going. Okay, I'm lost on where I need to go now. Locked. To the left now? And no sé qué debería hacer. I don't know. No, not this again. If you were a Pokemon streamer, you could have beaten it faster. I don't think so. Time. What if you think we're gonna be playing this game again tomorrow? Shut. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been doing fucking full 9 to 5 shifts with this goddamn game the past few days, y'all. And you know what? I don't think you guys are appreciating me enough. Type 1 if you agree. <laughs> oh, it's Mirabelle's room. Oh, she's gone. You look behind you, but there's no one there. Why are there chain statues outside the rooms? Will Peace and beat this before Kai beats Minecraft? I literally was gonna say that joke earlier. I literally was gonna. <sighs> My power went out? Shit. Make sure everything's charged before you watch the stream again, Tooth, but welcome back. Did your landlord also forget to pay your power bill? No. A fair fight or nothing. Ooh, no bombs. This is correct. Ooh. I'm gonna try running into the room. Yeah, when you walk versus run into a room, it changes it. The door. You look back at Odal, but there's no one there. Stars. The universe is watching you. It has to, right? There has to be a point to all this, right? Please enjoy the show, you think? And curse you for clapping, for watching, for not doing anything to help. Why aren't you helping me? Why aren't you leading me? Please tell me what to do. Please. 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 I think Sifrin has a god complex. Back here, shit.
I'm confused. I I don't like this at all. This is so confusing. I just want to fight the king so I can get my friends back and this can be over. And no, I've not looked at the walkthrough in a long time. Not me having to Google God Complex. Nah, it's like a state of mania. If I run through the door, then it sends me the correct door. And when I walk through, it teleports me to a different door. Fuck. Did you ever play Pokemon Black and White? No. I played Pokemon Sword and then Pokemon Violet, both in which were boring after a while. <laughs> Kanye West 2024. If he runs, do you think he'll beat Kamala? Type 1. Guys, should I run in 2024? Type 2? Oh, it's an actual game called Black and White? I'll look it up. Remind me later. Kamala's winning. She got endorsed by Pratt Summer. You don't even live in the States, Ethan. I don't know if you can give us, like, a valid opinion on American politics. Even though, like, I know technically we're the world power and shit. I'm gonna try and run into the room. Yes, you have to run into the room for it to work. The person's in front of the book now. Someone frozen in time. You got the angry key. But you could loop back if you wanted, couldn't you? Loop back to before you talked to Mirabelle yesterday. Make sure everything happens the way it always did. Make sure you didn't say all those things to them. Make sure they didn't hate you. But you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't go through it all, oh. but you can't, you can't, you can't go through it all even one more time. Your heart feels like it's splitting in two just thinking about it. You can't, you can't, you won't. I just want somebody who's not 95 years old. Kamala is also kind of old. Isn't she like 60 or some shit? We need a Zoomer president. You know, they would give us soda in the fountains. That is what we need in America. Give me Sprite instead of water fountains. And then also we do need more public water fountains. She's only 59? Okay, that's basically 60. <laughs> we round up here. In Torsum. You should not be taking, like, political advice from a streamer. I do think it's really funny how everybody's calling Kamala communism when they're like advocating for like basic government like subsidies. <laughs> like yeah, giving everybody healthcare, that's communism. <laughs> it's so funny. Like it's hilarious honestly to me. Women's right is communism. <laughs> <laughs> My thing is Ultimately The minimum amount of people should be struggling Whether that be with shelter, food, clothing, access to heat and water Those should be provided by our government Because those are things you basically need to survive, right? I can understand 
limiting certain resources. But nobody should truly have to struggle if you're in a first world country. No one should. There should also not be such a huge disparity between where you live depending on what state you live into. Take everything from the rich and make them be the ones who suffer? Mm. That's also something that has never sat well with me. Like, how can the government expect people to live in poverty and less than poverty when there's so many individuals or a select few individuals who are able to thrive at the exploitation of the people who are in poverty? And another thing is... You should always advocate for policies that help those... Oh wait, why am I here? Who help those at their lowest, whether it be those experiencing homelessness, addiction, um, food disparity. Because you never truly know where life will take you. You never truly know if you yourself will experience a disabling event. If you are like immunocompromised, just don't know yet. Or if you lose your job simply. So always advocate for policies that help people for who could be at their lowest, because you never truly know if you or somebody close to you will experience that in the future. Like, I worked so much in my late teens and my... Oh, I got the crest. I can go here. I worked so hard in my early 20s, the late teens, and look where I'm at now. I can barely fucking walk for an hour. And it's not my fault. I was just born this way. And I've always been an advocate for more socialist policy. Like, if you look back, anybody who's known me, they've always known that I've been, like, a commie. Or woke. It's because you never truly know what will happen to you. And wouldn't you want your government to help take care of you? Wait, where is this? No, this is the hallway before. Let me out! Oh. Oh, okay, the door just opened. Cool. Let me get him! Let me kill him! Wait. Over there, isn't that... It has been a while since we've gone to the bathroom, huh? Enough monologuing. Ooh, got him. Um, Ethan, make sure to put a slash J, communist equals empathy, <laughs> slash J next time. <laughs> YouTube viewers don't understand. Anyway, guys, the king fight is coming up. Lock in. Okay, I didn't dash into the door. Oh no. I'm locking in. Maybe I have to walk in? Please don't tell me. Okay, I'm going back to the door, I think. I have to go to the door. Because there's no weapon here. You breathe in and out. Useless. 
locked. Oh, I missed something, didn't I? Come on! What did I miss? I got the crest. I don't know what I'm missing. I got the key that was in the headmaster's office. I don't know. I'm gonna have to go through all the rooms again. And you know what else I have to do? Run an ad, because guys, we're eight hours in. If you're not subscribed, sub for free with Prime. Ain't no way. Okay, I, I want to get as far as I can today. I don't want to pause. Maybe I'm missing a key? I'm for sure missing a key. It don't- it doesn't tell me what key I have! I got the crest, though. Okay, I need to find the room that gives me the knife, I guess. I have no clue where that would be. I'm lost. Whoa. See, it's hard to know where I've been and where I haven't been. I'm gonna try and walk through here. Ah, fine. You know you can get a little obsessed with monologues sometimes, but a little spiraling never hurt nobody. You're sad. You're alone. Everyone left you behind because you're such a horrible, terrible, disgusting person. You thought it'd be fine to make them get cool skills faster. As if they were nothing more than characters in a play. Because that's what they are at this point, aren't they? That's what they've been to you since you managed to beat the game. You won't let them to be anything else. Because otherwise, you'll have to deal with the fact that because of this loop, you were denying them agency, change, a future. But it's not your fault, is it? That's that you're stuck here. So why do you have to deal with anything? But you feel like it's your fault because you've wished for something like this for a while, haven't you? A change to always remember your adventures with them. To continue. For... End of monologue. Interesting. That was scary. I'm in. Their face obscured, their silhouette shrouded, their expression hidden. An intact statue the change god stands before you. You wait. Wait, because this is when everybody would be yapping. 
You got the key knife. I got teleported back. Useless. Finally. Save your progress? Yes. You close your eye tightly. Thank you for the lurk, Ethan. Don't worry, I'm beating this today, surely. Yup, I'm in. Let's kill the king. Easy. This quarter feels longer. Okay, it for sure is longer. <laughs> Mirabelle's roommate. I don't need any help. Let's kill the king. No! Everyone is going on ahead. No, wait, you can't let them go. Your stomach screams. Your head is splitting in two. The smell of sugar surrounding you is making you want to throw up. But you just need to defeat the king on your own. Oh yeah, I'm walking slowly because I'm tired. I'm tired. You close your eye tightly. Wait, I just realized I'm only doing one save. Is that bad? Uh-oh. <laughs> Hopefully I don't need to go back, right? I literally just forgot. You're not supposed to play RPGs like that. I'm getting slower and slower. This is me dashing right now. The hair is glitching. Wait, where are my friends? Oh. Oh. Hello, bright one. I'm surprised to see you alone. Facing me. I was expecting that at least that house maiden would come, the savior of the guard. And yet you, bright one, are the only one before me, and your clothes. Aren't they? Bright one. Are you sure you want to do this? I can tell, young one. I can tell we hail from the same country. I don't want to fight you. I just want eternity. Don't you get it? Don't you understand what my wish is? Do you not agree? We could get it all back, bright one. We could. Ah. But perhaps the time for talking is long past. So, bright one. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Let us fight then.
I do try to be merciful, but against someone like you, I'd better not hold back, shouldn't I? The king is ready for anything. I cannot talk. Boost actors attack defense and attack speed. I'll do it. Breathe. You breathe in and out. Okay, it's not doing too much damage. Scissor! Not too bad. I'm gonna heal here. No, it's a full heal. Paper? Did about the same. A little less. The king cries. It doesn't take me out. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna heal. This takes three turns. Whew. Okay, Rock did the least, Scissor did the most. You wait for help that won't come. Ooh, the scissor did less damage that time. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I have some items. But not many. I should heal. Dang, th this is like, this is like Pokemon level. I'm scared. I feel like I'm supposed to die here. Maybe I can make it. Pepper juice could be good. It's not really waste worth wasting a turn, though. It's better to breathe. Oh yeah, I don't have the hat that gradually heals me. That one did more damage that time. Oh. Oh. You're stronger than I thought, bright one. But what about this? You withstood the attack. Bright one? This isn't the first time you've withstood this attack. What do you see when I attack you like this? What vision do you see that it hurts you this badly? I can't heal. Oh! <laughs> I gotta do sour tonic. I can't heal. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I 
don't think I can do this. I'm faster than him. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Lucky. Should I heal here? I feel I should. That's my last heal. Oh. Boost my defense, actually. And I got to attack first. Should I heal here? Yeah, I should. Feel tired. Okay, good. <laughs> Only two thousand damage. <sighs> this is scary. One more heal left. I'm one turn away from a heal. I should do offensive here. Because I don't think any movie did, did 600 damage besides the, like, finisher. Yeah, that was smart. gonna breathe here boost my stats and I did go first I'm gonna heal no should I heal yes I should heal you feel tired that's fine Right, one. I'm curious about something. The country, the knowledge we both share. Why you're the only one facing me, without even flinching. This cloying, overpowering scent of cane sugar. Yes. I can tell. You've trapped this country in time even more surely than I have. Even if I manage to beat you now, my victory will always be temporary, will it not? Perhaps my wish has come true already, and I don't even know it. Oh, oh, why didn't I think of it? With this power, there's no one to stop you, is there? But I do not mind, as long as this country exists forever. As long as we exist forever. There is proof, proof that our country was real. Doesn't a part of you agree with me? Doesn't a part of you want to restart this battle again? And again, and again? Because if you defeat me, what else is there? Stop planting seeds, you're not real. I want this to be over. Breathing first. Breathing makes me genuinely so much faster.
it's been a while since you've done the finishing move and i feel like whenever he does the finisher it will not absolutely ko me so i'm gonna do one more melee the king cries good thing i didn't heal I don't want to get greedy, I'm going to heal. <sighs> Breathing here. One turn away from a heal, I'll be quicker. Healing. My wish! You can guess what it was, can't you? Or maybe... You've even heard it from my own mouth. But what about you, Bright One? Why are you here? What trapped you in this eternal place? What does the star beating in your chest hunger for? What was your wish? What did you wish for? Your mom. Ah, oh, I suppose it does not matter. I will win this battle soon after all for a time. And maybe, when everything is perfectly frozen, I will finally remember it all. No, you won't, sir. I'm faster. I'm gonna turn away from a heal. Boosting my defense. The king looks at you. The king slowed you down. You have trouble moving. No, I can't see! The king slowed you down. Your vision gets faint. You breathe in and out. It does nothing. No! The king looks at you. The king slowed you down. You don't want to fight anymore. No! Come on! The king slowed you down. You don't want to fight anymore huh I can move. Where are you? Are we done? Maybe. I don't think so. Am I in a box? No. No, 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 no. Where is the king? I'm in a box. Like a little clear box. Everybody watching from above. I'm just a puppet. Where is everyone? There's invisible walls wherever direction I go. Dark Shifrin! Huh? There is someone there. Battle start. A figure stands before you. Is it... Me? 
I can't talk to it. I'm going to breathe at the start. Mal Dupes is silent. <laughs> Immune. Immune. Something. Your attacks have no effect, but all you can do is keep attacking. Mal Dupes is silent. Uh oh. I'm gonna keep- I'm gonna guard. I don't wanna die! I don't wanna die! Mal Dupes is silent. I'm guarding. I'm scared. To breathe. Wait, when I breathe? Oh, I can only choose myself for healing. Okay. You wish for more time. Oh, I'm scared. I'm gonna guard. nothing good. Maldi Pays is silent. Breathe? Okay, I can only select myself when I breathe. I can't escape. Maybe I have to keep attacking? I'm gonna guard and then attack. Something. Why isn't it saying anything? Maldupace watches your movements. I'm scared. I'm guarding me because it's watching me. I'm fixing it. Don't worry, I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. Care back in. <gasps> okay. I can't breathe. Still watching my movements. Maybe it's the number of attacks that trigger like different dialogue? Still watching me. Something. Hey. at you. 
I'm guarding because I'm scared. Still staring. I'm just gonna keep guarding and breathing. I don't want to hit it anymore. Or maybe I have to hit it? Still staring. I'll try and hit it. I'll try. Yeah, hitting it triggers the dialogue. Okay. Hey! Don't just stand there silently, judging me. Talk to me. Don't ignore me. Say something. The figure opens its mouth and speaks. Frin? 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 Bonnie? Frin, why? Why did you protect me all those times? I... You... You should have let me die back then, friend. Oh. No, no, you couldn't have you. I mean, it's not like you haven't let me die before, right? Oh. Why did you protect me? I never asked for your help, friend. I could have been okay on my own. I don't need you, friend. No one does. But, but, friend. If you had to be hurt to protect me. Then it would have been better if you died. You should have died. You should have died to protect me. You hurt so much when the king killed me, friend. You said you'd always protect me. You should have died for me. You should have died to protect me. You should have died to protect me instead of trying to make me stronger. But you couldn't keep your promise. I'll never forgive you. I'll never forgive you. No. No, that's not... Bonnie would never say something like this. Bonnie would never say something like this. Something. Maldu plays Breeze in and out. Oh no, I'm scared. I'm scared now. Shit. When it breathes in and out, that means it's boosting its stats. You know what? I'm gonna breathe. I cannot breathe. I'm gonna guard. Wait, the music is scaring me. I'm scared. The figure opens its mouth. Cifrin? Odal's voice? Sifrin. I'm disappointed in you, Sifrin. I thought you were smarter than this. Why would you ever think we were friends? After all... Why would I be friends with someone who doesn't even remember where they're from? Here's a philosophical con conundrum. I can't talk. My dad called during a pizza stream, so rude. Did you answer? Yeah, good. Good son. Here's a philosophical conundrum for you, Sifrin. If you don't have a home to go back to, what kind of person does that make you? If you don't have memories of your own childhood, can you still consider yourself human? Whoa, just because I have repressed memories doesn't mean you can call me that. 
or inhuman. If you have forgotten something as important as your country, your childhood, your family, your own name, then are you even a person? If something is forgotten by everyone, then has that thing ever existed? Whoa! Stop talking about legacy. Oh, Sifrin. Something as forgetful as you can never have friends. You forget them all, and are forgotten by them in return. It's strange, Sifrin. Every time I'm forced to look at you, I forget everything about you. Your country, your stars and universe, your beliefs, your face, your name. It is just so easy to forget you. To leave you behind. No. No, 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 you don't want that. You don't want to forget them. And you don't want to be forgotten. No. Oh, that was smart. She never forgets anything. She never forgets you. This is just... This isn't real. Intrusive thoughts! Maldu pays cries silently. I think I have to keep attacking. That way I progress the dialogue. Oh, it's crying. The figure opens its mouth. Sif? Sif? Issa? Oh, Sif. I'm so glad you're here. I can finally tell you what I've been meaning to say all this time. Okay? Here it comes. I... I don't understand you, Sifrin. I don't understand why you're so attached to me. I don't understand anything you say. I don't understand your jokes, your words, your very existence. I don't want to know someone who won't even try to change. Who... Luxuriates? Lug luxuriates? What? I don't want to know someone who won't even try to change, who luxuriates in things staying the exact same like you do. When you're next to me, I wonder what I did to get someone so weak standing next to me. Someone who's so afraid of everyone. So afraid of change. So afraid to be seen. Someone who's even afraid to be touched. <laughs> Do you know why I never touch you when we talk in front of the favorite tree, Sifrin? Because the idea of making skin talk to it. Because the idea of making skin talk. Contact. Contact. <laughs> because the idea of making skin talk. Isabel would never. Nah, this is what he actually thinks, right? Streamer learns how to read. Shut up, you're being ableist. I have a stutter because I have a neurological condition. Shut up. Take your time. Remove the lull from that chat, fucker. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was me and Ethan. I'm sorry. Take the lull out of your chat message, jerk. Guys, I've been live for eight hours and you're giving me shit. I know you guys are joking. I know you guys are joking. <laughs> Do I have Jover enabled in my chat? I don't know if I did. I don't think I enabled it. Oh, I have Joel. Can we get some Joels in the chat? <laughs> okay. I'm locking in. You know, I used to be so good at reading aloud when I was younger. But the moment my big brain grew. Okay. Because the idea of making skin contact with you makes me want to puke. And really, Sifrin? Do you think we never noticed? How you took advantage of us? Using your loops to make your life easier. To make yourself look better. Because it's so much easier to be loved if you know all the right answers, isn't it? Wait, that's so real. This is the only reason why- Wait, what? Wait, what's he doing? This is the only reason I want you, Cyprin. Because you made me. Oh. Sorry about that, Bo. Because the real you is... Disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. Of course this is what he thinks, this is what you are. Callous, aimless, manipulative. Ah. Your head hurts. You can't breathe. Maldu plays heel silently. Oh, 
Wait, I don't want to hear what Belle has to say. I'm scared. The figure opens its mouth. No, please, 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 no more. Sifrin? Mirabelle? Sifrin? Oh, Sifrin! I can't wait to never see you again. Ah. Uh, the figure opens its mouth, but you strike. Dang it! Wanted to go right in its jaw! Stop it, stop it! It's not real, it's not real. It's not real. None of this is real. You just need to wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, it's not real. Wake up, it's not real. Wake up, it's not real. Uh-oh. Something. <laughs> but it is. Huh. They don't want to see you again. No. They want to forget you. No. They hate you. No. They'll go back to their homes without you. No. They'll leave you behind. No. No, no. This journey was only meaningful to you. No. You can wish and wish and wish all you want. But it's inevitable. They will leave. And soon they'll forget you. No. They'll forget you. No. They'll forget you. They'll forget you. It's... Right. It's... The sadness... Within you... Is right. Your family hates you. They will all go home. Leave you behind. Forget you. You should just... Give up. You should just die. Die for good. You can't feel your body anymore. Nothing hurts anymore. Nothing will hurt anymore. You'll forget it all, and you'll finally rest. You... Let... Go. Battle start! Oh my god, my friend! Ah! Uh. Yay! Finally, they're here! They look way too happy. They're way too happy. Why are they so happy to see me dying? You're not slowed down anymore. You can move again. The king... and... Everyone? Okay! I woke Sifrin up! Alright. Nice job, Mira. Frin, are you okay? Eyes in the enemy, Boniface. Sifrin will be alright. You don't need to fight anymore, Sifrin. We got- Wait, I'm tearing up. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna cry, I'm tearing up. We got you. What? How... Are you here? They came. For... You? Um, we walked, duh. We talked after. After yesterday, and we couldn't find you anywhere. And we decided to come after you. We had trouble figuring out where you went. So we asked people in Dormont, and then... A weird shiny person helped us! And... Uh... I don't... It doesn't crabbing matter. I'm still mad at you, Sifrin. So mad? I still can't believe you said all those terrible things to us yesterday. And that you went to fight the king without us. But we'll talk about it later. And in the meantime, I'm gonna channel my anger to kick that stupid king's butt who froze our country in time. Uh, what Belle said. Get ready, king. We'll explain the rest later, Sifrin. Right now, we have a king to defeat. Oh. So you had companions after all, bright one. How lucky. What a shame they couldn't be here to help you earlier. 
They might not care about you very much, do they? They must not. Dude, just shut up. We may be upset, but we wouldn't leave Sif behind. Not in a million years. That's a lie. She said it. She said they should leave you behind. But... But if they're here, then... Huh. If Sifrin is stupid enough to come and fight you on their own, the only thing we can do is follow and fight right alongside them. I'll fight! I'll fight! I'll fight! This time, Fryn, it's my turn to protect you! So shut the crab up, King! I'm gonna kick your crabbing butt! <laughs> you really think you can defeat me after everything? I have the power of the universe at my disposal. Your bright companion may not have been able to... Wait, sorry. I put a knot in there. Is this the end? Hopefully. Hopefully! Your bright companion may have been able to hurt me. Because his craft also draws from it. Why was it capitalized? But pathetic... Wishless humans like you cannot hope to defeat me, the king. Whoa, everyone, get ready. Strikes. I won't let you. You really think I'll let you defeat us like this? After you froze my beloved house in time, my country, my home? We won't let you. We want you to live. So Sorry, doing Maribel's voice makes me want to cry. <laughs> I think it's because it's like the higher pitch one. I don't know, it makes me want to cry. <laughs> we won't let you. We want to live. We want to be able to change, to grow. We don't want your eternity, King. But if you want eternity so bad, then... Take this! Ugh. Oh. A sound. Like a sword getting deflected. Like hitting a metal ball. With a bat. Like... Breaking... A mirror. Okay. What? Your shield! My attack... has been... reflected back... to me. I'm being... Frozen? No. 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 I don't want eternity. Not yet. Not now. Not when. I still cannot remember its name. Please. Please. Not now. Please. Please. You know, your greatest enemy is yourself. When you look in the mirror, you're your biggest critic. Ah, oh, why now of all times? I see it. I can see it. The mountains, covered in trees and warm rocks. The sea, clear, dangerous, yet giving. The lightless sand, dark like the night sky. I see it now. I see it. Ah. Oh. I remember it now. I remember it all. 
Wait, is he gonna be okay? No, he's frozen! <laughs> Good riddance, jerk. So selfish, too. We're not just dolls in your Barbie house. Did we do it? We did it. We did it. Crab, yeah. Crab, yeah. But you... Uh. How could you say all those horrible things to us, Sifrin? That wasn't cool. Not cool at all. You were kind of a crab earlier, yeah? But why did you go off on your own? Going through the entire house alone. That was foolish, Sifrin. But... They didn't. Want you here. So you had to... And why were you acting so weird? It's not like you'd be mean like this. You didn't mean it, right? You were mad about something. Something happened before you talked to us. It had to, or you wouldn't... have said all that, right? Right, Sifrin? Please be honest, Sifrin. Please, for the love of God. Um... Sif? Sifrin, are you listening? Sifrin? Anyone there? You can't stand up. Your legs. Sif? Sifrin? What's wrong? Do you feel sick? Sifrin? Let me help you up. Huh? Cold. Sifrin, your skin feels so warm. What's wrong? He's burning up. What happened? Is Fran sick? Sif went up to the entire house on their own, right? It makes sense for them to be woozy. We had a lot of trouble, even with Loop's help. I can't imagine doing it alone. Loop? Loop. Oh, your friend Loop. I think you two know each other somehow. We met them earlier. We were looking for you so we could talk to you. But we couldn't find you anywhere. And no one knew where you went. And so we ended up at the favorite tree. And Za asked to tell us find you, and then this weird star appeared. They told us they were a star, and that's why they were spiky and glowy. They helped us find you. We couldn't have made it here without their help. They made us do a weird hand symbol so we could hear them as we went up. It was so cool! But we could hear them less and less as we went up. I can't hear them at all now. Lou. Helped? But for you to go through the entire house alone, we barely saw any sadnesses, but it was still a struggle. And the house felt very weird when we were coming up. We saw weird stuff, like you were walking around but not really, and rooms were repeating and leading us to weird places. It did all feel very... odd. More so than I was expecting, even with the king taking over. It felt very end-of-the-world-ish, huh? <laughs> please don't say things like that, please. It wasn't. Just you? What? The house felt almost unsettling, too. I suppose it's better now, but then why? It doesn't matter. The head housemaid should be up ahead, yes? Yes. We should get Sifrin to her. She might be able to help. And she might be able to tell us what's happening now, too. I'll go ahead and let her know. Let's go, Sif. Oh, I'm walking so slow. Save? Yes. Act 5, the end. Loop number 98. Okay! Oh, old dog does not want to talk to me. <laughs> Awkward. You won't be going any farther, young one. You can't escape. Well, I want to run away from my problems. Come on, let me, let me. Can't 
king. Smaller. Smaller. He got smaller. He sure did. Why is he smaller? Maybe... Since he was so powerful, he was filled with craft, which allowed him to change his size. And now that he's frozen, the craft escaped and now he's smaller. Like a balloon? Like a balloon. Huh. <laughs> oh, no. Laughing hurts. Awkward. Are you okay, friend? Uh, not really, but I'll survive. Can you walk, Sif? No, you need to carry me, Bo, please. Even the decorations are glitchy, too. Everyone! The head housemaid is just ahead! I'm sure she'll be able to heal you, Sifrin. So just, just come! Ready? You take a step forward. That wasn't me moving. Whoa, Sif. Isabel caught you. Flush! Hey. Hey. <laughs> I got you, Sif. Always at your side. Oh, we're walking together. That's me walking. You know, I think Sifrin's gonna experience ego death now. The house feels off here too. I thought it would have gone back to normal after we beat the king. And there's this feeling of pressure now too. And it smells weird now still. Like sugar. Cavity giving sugar. It all feels... a little worrying, doesn't it? I'm worried. I hope everyone is okay. Wait, look here. Oh yeah, we couldn't look at the edge of the banister whenever we beat the king earlier. What? Well, that's not good. What's that shade? It's not dark or light or anything. It's just... We need to get to the head housemaiden as fast as possible. Oh yeah, because they don't know what colors are. I can only move straight too, I can't go back to the edge. Uh... Oh no. Dodged. Huh? Sif? Sifrin? What's wrong? You still look so pale. Are you running a fever? He still feels super warm or uh... Hmm. Her hand is on your brow. Feels cold. Feels... nice. Madame? Let's just get going. You know who else needs to get going? Nonsense, because guys, we're nine hours in. Holy shit. I have to run an ad? I want to beat this now. Shirley, please be the end. Please, 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 please. Please be the end. Get ready to spam me over here, guys. <coughs> also, my throat hurts. I've been talking too much. We continue on. Well, oh, the shadow is still there. It's following us. Uh-oh. I don't like this. Wait, am I a ghost? Huh? Everyone? No. No, no! Sifrin? Oh, thank god I just passed out. Oh my god. Sifrin? Is everything okay? Whoa. You're shaking. Do you get vertigo like dial, friend? You look exhausted. I'm sorry. Just a little bit to go. Hmm. If friend's afraid of heights, too. Do you want to hold hands, friend? 
Uh, yeah, sure. The more support, the better. Oh. Bonnie takes your hand. Sticky. Okay, don't look down! Look at me! Don't look down. Look at Bonnie. This corridor is so much longer than I remember it. And I've been down it four times. <gasps> Finally. It, it's only a bit longer, Sifrin. The head housemaid is right ahead. Mira. Um, yes? I'm sorry for what I said. And for not talking to anyone. There... There'll be time for that later, Sifrin. Let's just go. At least we squeezed in a sorry. Oh. Housemaiden! Mirabelle? Mirabelle, oh, dear one. I'm so proud of you. Look at you. The savior of a- No time for that- You're crazy. No time for that, you're crazy. Our friend? Sifrin? We have someone you need- We have someone we need you to take a look at. And also the world outside looks like it's ending. So if you could help with that too, that'd be great. Help us! Oh, all right. Hmm. Well, he sure is running a fever. Those symptoms. I would say they've been using crafts too much, maybe. Using crafts too much? I think so. Maybe they've used too many crafts at a time without taking the time to rest. Or without cooling down for as long as they needed. Oh yeah, because the crafts didn't have a cooldown time. For Sifrin in that sequence. No time to cool down. I had to go. Does that sort of thing usually give someone a fever, though? I've never heard of that before. I've heard about it before. It doesn't happen often, that's for sure. You need to craft, like, an immense amount for long periods of time. Like crafting a painting for weeks at a time? Or... Or going through an entire house fighting against sadnesses and a king for hours. Or that, yes. Or making sure you live... But he'll be fine, now that the battle is over. I promise. Okay, but... Do you super promise? Yes, I super promise. And do you super duper promise? Oh my. Yes, I super duper promise. They just need some rest. Uh, head hurts. So hungry. Okay. Well, that's something at least. And what about the world outside? Oh... Well, I... I don't know, but... I can feel everything around us is so strongly. And it feels wrong. Every time I try to reach out and feel what's happening, I sense... Chaos. It feels like something is... Rotting. Why does she look so excited? Huh? Rotting? I know you thought your quest was over, but it can't be! Something's broken, something's failing, but I'm so glad to see you all safe. Huh? Um, what? Traveling one, traveling one, traveling one. Are you done talking with your companions? Yes, wonderful, 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 wonderful. You crazy? Are you okay? Mirabelle, step back. She's repeating just like some of the rooms we went through. What's happening to the world? Is it happening to her too? The same. Why? You didn't beat the king on your own. You didn't fix anything and they hate you and you're still stuck here. You're still... Stuck here. But isn't it fine? Eternity? Is within your grasp. And you... 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 Mirabelle's companions. Thank you for helping her get this far. You have my gratitude in the entire country of regards. Hey. Madame. Head housemaiden. Can you hear us? 
She's scary. <laughs> Soon you'll be able to go back to your normal lives. Away from battle and strife. Finally, you'll be able to go home. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, sure. Home. Home? They'll go home. 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 No. Friend? Sir friend, what's... They cannot go home. Sif? Sifrin! What's happening? Everyone, be careful. Man, Mirabel got her dagger out. Oh. Is that me? Is that little old me? I won't let you go home. Battle start. No, I don't want to kill my friends. Huh? What's happening? Sifrin. What? Oh. No. Oh, no. No, no, no. Something went wrong. Why? You. Sifrin. Please, Sifrin, listen to me. We can... So now you'll talk? Now you'll speak when you couldn't see a thing before? It's too late. It's too late! It's always too late! Please, wait. You push the head housemaiden away. Uh-huh. You're crazy. She's okay, she's okay. But... But we need to... Fight. Hold on, strikes. Ah, it hurts. It hurts. Odile, well, why are you attacking them? He's threatening us. I'm defending myself. Hell yeah, brother. No, 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 stop. No, no attacking friend. He's our friend. We don't attack friends. But it hurts. It hurts. We don't attack friends. So if Odile's attacking you, it means you were never friends. It means you, you're hated. Hated. It means you're hated. End it. <laughs> I can't guard. Crafting is don't attack. I don't want to click attack. I'm not attacking. Attack the only person left. Oh. Uh, trigger warning. I think I gotta hit myself. Sifrin, stop! Friend, why are you doing this? What's happening, Sif? Talk to us. Sifrin. Just don't listen to her. I won't let you go home. I can't. I won't. Huh? Sifrin, what do you mean? Isn't that what we all wanted? It's what we should do next, right? We beat the king. We save the guard. We all go home. Yeah! Now that the king is gone, everything will go back to how it was before, right? Belle stays here. Dal goes back to Kabu. Zada Javante and... They don't understand. You cannot allow them to go home. Because... Because if they do, then... Bonnie yells at you to stop. I'm not gonna attack. I can't hurt my friends. Sifrin! Mirabelle brings her palms to the sky. She's healing me! Don't attack. Sifrin, I don't understand. Don't you want to go back? Back to where you're from? Why else come with Mirabelle if you didn't want to beat the king just so you could go back home? I can't go back, and I don't want to. Can't go back? I have nowhere to go back to, and you all do. I won't let you. I won't let you go. We came, we can stay here, can't we? We can be happy. 
The king is beaten. That's what everyone wished for. In a CM, the king is gone and you're with me. He was right all along. I should have listened. After all this time, I have it. A perfect ending. Because we've won. And you're here. I won't let you go. Not now. I've gone through it all too many times. I won't go back. And I won't let you go. Now that you're here. Now that we can be happy. Everyone going their separate ways? Everyone going home? This is not what I wished for. What? A perfect ending? Not what I wished for. Gone. Through it all. Too many times. Loop was correct then. Yeah, I've suffered this 97 times. This is loop number 98. Cyprin? Okay, Mirabelle, stop. Stop. Just let me reset. Cyprin? The way you acted yesterday, the things you said, maybe you did mean them, maybe you didn't. Maybe it's a little bit of both. But beyond that, some of the things you knew, how you knew about Mira's papers were about, how you knew about Isabel's dream to design clothes, how you fell in battle, like you knew it would push Bonnie to defeat that sadness, how you knew I was looking for a fairy tale, or a family tale, how you knew I was looking for a family tale, something I hadn't told anyone and immediately knew where to find it as well. How you managed to go through the entire house on your own. Even the way you were acting when we fought the king. And just now. How you said you've gone through it all too many times. Huh? You two? You don't mean... Looks like that star was right, huh? <laughs> I thought they were exaggerating, but... Cipher and you. You've been... Looping in time, haven't you? No, they found my secret! No. If they find out, they'll hate you. If they find out you wished for this, they'll hate you. You have to look back, you have to... You feel a tug on your stomach. Oh, thank god you stopped it, thank god, thank god. Oh no, you don't. You won't be going any further, young one. You're staying right here until we're done talking. No. No, she can't! You can't let her do this! Whoa. That felt weird. That feeling. That was time trap, wasn't it? Sivrin tried to rewind time just now, didn't they? Oh, felt bad! It made the whole air smell like caramel, something left to burn for hours! Yuck! Yuck indeed. I'm getting a headache just standing here. Sivrin, I don't know how or why those loops are happening to you. But I won't let you escape. You're staying with us until we're done talking. Yeah! Dal's gonna make you stay right here, stupid! Go, Madame Odal. Go, Madame Odal, go! No. No, no! Your friends look determined. Oh, I'm frozen in time. No! Bonnie yells at you to stop. Can I change the name to Finale now? Like, this has got to be the end, right? Surely. Surely. Finale? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Also, I need a snack. It's been nine fucking hours. I also, I, I was supposed to make dinner like an hour ago. Shit. <laughs> oh. I'm applesauce. I was supposed to make pasta, but my sister is food in the fridge. She should be fine. Actually, I have to wake her up. I'll be right back, I promise.
Yo. <clears throat> I'm locked in. Don't attack. Sifrin! Mirabelle brings her palms to the sky. Been looping in time? Using timecraft? Luke mentioned it before. And I need a lot of power for that, right? Oh, oh, that was the witchcraft thing, yeah? Witchcraft is stuff like going to the favor tree and asking for stuff to come true. Luke said you were both looking into what everyone wished. And that you thought it was because everyone's wish to save the guard. But if you thought everyone's wish was to blame, why would the wish's power be centered on you? And just now, Sifrin mentioned something about a wish they made. So... Sifrin, you must know this already. The reason you're the only one who got those powers, when we were also on a journey to fight the king, isn't it because you somehow got involved? Isn't it because of something you wished for? No. No, no! Sifrin! I think you need to tell us your wish. Tell us your wish! It might be the key to freeing you. The key to making sure you won't loop anymore. No. Tell us so we can help you. No. Tell us so you can be saved. No. Tell us already, you stupid crab! No, no, you don't want to. You don't want to think about it. You don't want to say it. You don't want to... Sif. Sifrin. Sifrin! This is what I wished for. I wish for Regar to be saved. I wish for my sister to be okay. I wish to win a stupid coin flip. And I wish that we'd be able to find you to help you to save you, Sif. And what about you, Sif? What did you wish for? What did you wish for? What did you wish for, Sifrin? Stop. It doesn't matter. It won't come true. You know this now. You've accepted it. You did. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They can't make you tell them, please. Please, please. It will never come true anyway. Tell us. Tell us. Tell us. Just tell us, Sifrin. Just tell us what you wished for. Tell us what you wished for. Come on. Tell us. 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 Just say it already. But. But I don't want to say it. I am scared to say it. Scared? What are you scared of? I'm scared that, that if I tell you, something terrible will happen. Hmm. Okay, but, but we really want to know, friend. Maybe we can kick your butt again to make you say it? Yeah. If we do, you'll say it eventually, right? We should try it out. Everyone, violence is not the answer. But I am in the mood for more butt kicking if you don't spit it out right now, yes? Against your will, a nervous laugh escapes you. Everyone grins your way. If you say it, something terrible will happen, you think. But... But... You breathe in. And out. And in. And out. And... I, um... I wished... To wear clothes Isabeau made. <laughs> really? You'd... You'd like that. I would love that, Sif. I would love to make clothes for you. Oh my! Oh. Oh. Your heart feels tight. You want to cry. But... But that wasn't it, was it? 
If that was all your wish was, then you wouldn't be here. You wished for that, yes, but from the bottom of your heart, but... You didn't expect to have so much fun traveling with Isabel. Deep down, I wished. You often joke together, but you never really talk about real, important things. You're glad he told you about his dream to become a clothes designer. It suits him. To talk to him. And watch him as he crafts clothes for you to wear. Seeing a smile as you wear something he created himself. It would make you happy. I wished you want to stay with them. I... I wished I could just stay with everyone. What? Sif. When we win against the king, then our journey ends, doesn't it? Mirabel would go back to the house, Isabel de Javante, Odal to Kabu, body to their sister. You'll all go back home. Friend. If we win, then you'll all leave. And I don't... I don't want that at all. I just want to stay with all of you. Sifrin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know it's not fair. I know you have homes to go back to. And I know I should be fine with leaving because you're fine with it too. It... It's fine that this journey meant more to me than all of you. And that... As soon as this journey is over, you'll forget me. And I didn't... I don't want to be alone. Sifrin. And I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to trap everyone here, but I... Sifrin! Sifrin. Is that really what you thought? That we didn't care for you? That we'd forget all about you as soon as this journey was over? I don't want to forget the times we all had together. And I wouldn't want to never talk to any of you again, either. And... And nothing is keeping me in Dormont. I would love to leave to keep traveling. I've been thinking about that for a while. But... But it's just wishful thinking, isn't it? I don't... I don't know if everyone... I wanna... I wanna see Niall again soon, but... I wanna keep traveling, too. I don't wanna leave everyone behind. I wanna make a laying of fritters for you, friend. And Dal still needs to teach me more kaboon recipes. Belle needs to finish reading me that story I like. And I still have pranks I wanna pull on Za. Ha, <laughs> no, not the pranks. But... Yeah, I... It's the same for me. I have connections with all of you. I've never had with anyone else. Even if it's just for a bit. I want to keep traveling with everyone. And after that, I want to keep in contact with everyone. I want to know who Bonnie grows up to be. I want to hear more about what Odal thinks of the Guardian culture. I want to see Mira open up and change even more. And I want to get to know you more, Sif. Talk to you more. Be with you more. I want to be with everyone for a long, long time. I... I never knew we all agreed on this. I thought I'd eventually manage to ask if some of you wanted to keep traveling for a bit. It would be nice to finally travel together without worrying about the king, after all, wouldn't it? But... I never found the courage to ask. And... I... I'm having fun. Traveling with you all. Talking with you all. I don't... I don't want to stop traveling with everyone just yet. Sifrin, we want to stay with you too. It's not just you. This journey won't be over yet. Not if we have anything to say about it. And even when it ends, it won't be the end. We'll all stay in each other's lives for a long, long time. Yeah, so stop being stupid and think we'll forget you or whatever, because we won't, stupid friend. Sif, Sifrin, Sifrin. The world around you went back to normal. 
You're exhausted. Your entire body hurts. After all those battles, after everything, walking around is all you're managing to do right now. But you feel refreshed, too. <clears throat> so, in the end, you love us so much you wish to stay with us so hard you almost broke the world? That's not great, friend. Hmm. Yes, Sifrin. I had stalkers with those issues than you. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think it's nice. I agree. Ending the world for love is what good stories are made of. Mm. I'm sorry. For everything. Which is... For saying all those things yesterday. Okay, good start. I think I'm speaking for everyone when I say that we forgive you, but we reserve the right to be mad about it still later. Oh, yeah. I won't be mad, but sure. I might be mad later, when someone explains to me everything that happened with easy words. You nod. It'd be fine even if they don't forgive you a lip for a bit. And? And for, um, unknowingly trapping everyone in time? Oh, that one's fine, isn't it? Yeah, we don't remember that part, so no worries here. I also don't understand that part. We'll explain everything later, Boniface. Thank you very much. And? Um. What else? I'm sorry. Apologize for not talking to us about everything, dummy. Yeah, dummy. We could have helped, dummy. Even if I still really don't get it. The adults could have helped at least. We could have. If you had talked to us about it. About the loops. About how you felt. About how you wanted to keep traveling together. Well, uh, oh well. None of you said you wanted to keep traveling together either. Oh. Well, that's true. But this is your apology tour. We can have one later. Huh. You surprise everyone by laughing. Oh! Huh. <laughs> everyone laughs with you. Well, that was cute, but we need to decide what we'll do next, so... Uh... We'll go and escort our dear little preteen back to their sister, duh. Yeah! We should go and see Niall! And send her a message so she knows I'm okay! And then I can hug her! And then... And then we'll see, I guess. We can go and travel more after she knows I'm okay. Yeah? That sounds good to me. Um... Before that, though... I would like to talk to her beforehand to make sure she's fine with you traveling with us, Boniface. Otherwise, going on a journey together with you becomes a little something called a kidnapping. <laughs> Very true. We need to make sure it's fine with her first, Bonbon. Hmm. I think it'll be fine. She can come with us, right? She always wanted to travel, but she didn't want to do it alone. And also she had to take care of me, so she'll say yes and come with us for sure. This sounds fun. You nod furiously. Oh, that would be lovely. That does sound fun. Bon Bon's sister? I'm so curious. I want to meet her. And after that, we could... Huh. What? The head housemaiden. Oh. Oh! Ah. Uh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry about me, everyone. Head housemaiden? You're okay. I am. I was staying away for a little bit. You all seemed like you needed to talk, so I was patiently waiting for you all to finish your conversation. That's very considerate of you. It is very considerate of you. Sorry for forgetting about you for a sec, Madam Head House Maiden. <laughs> also, I'm sorry for throwing you earlier. <laughs> Do not worry. I haven't had this much fun since reading the last issue of The Cursing of Chateau Castle. I do feel awfully dizzy, though. I have a, a wicked headache. Like I've been using crafts too much. Have I said anything strange? You did say some weird things, yes. It felt like you were taken over by whatever was happening in the world. You... You said the things you always say when I come and talk to you. About how the world is rotting. And you can't do anything to help. Huh. Interesting. I don't feel like saying it now, though. Or at all. The wind feels nice and fresh. 
It just feels like a beautiful day, doesn't it? It does! Huh. Well, that's that, I guess. <laughs> Traveling one, Sifrin. I'm sure you must have a lot to talk about with everyone. Be sure to talk to me when you're all done, so I can happily bless you and your companion's new journey. Dang, that was a lot. Oh, everybody's back. Memory of a journey. The curtains will close, but the story will go on for a bit longer. Heal 6% HP every turn. I lost my hat and my knife. <coughs> hey, dude, there's a lot of fucking talking today. Probably not gonna stream tomorrow, my voice is fucked. <laughs> <coughs> okay, I'm good. This is not nearly as bad as doing copy talk in one sitting. That was ten times worse. <clears throat> I'm gonna talk to Bo last. Bonnie first, because Bonnie always interrupts. Oh my god, my hair is so cool. I have like one little wisp. Hey, friend! Bonnie? Huh? Huh? What's wrong? I... I'm sorry for yesterday. Oh, okay. For what, though? For, um, being mean? And trying to make you stronger and stuff? And making you cry? Oh! Oh, no, it's okay. I get it. You were weird and mean yesterday because you were hungry and sick. What? I get it. I do. Me and my sister also get really cranky when we're hungry or sick. One time, I broke her favorite bowl because I was hungry. And another time, she yelled at me very loud because I didn't clean my room and she was sick. And you were hungry and sick at the same time! And also, um, you were sad, right? Because you thought we were all leaving? And because, um, we didn't notice you were sad before? Because we don't remember it? Because you went through the same day a bunch of times that we didn't know? Man, empathy is so important, guys. Odell said you were sticked in a time loops or something. I don't really get it, but isn't it like... It's like you had to go to school every day without a day off or even a lunch break, right? Like, you had to sit at school, and the teacher taught you the exact same thing every time, and you had to act like you didn't know the thing, and you had to do that thing for a very long time? Yes, that's pretty much it. Whoa. But see? I've never been hungry and sick and sad and still had to go to school at the same time before. But I think if I was, I would blow up the world. That's how mean I would be. <laughs> you would blow up the world, huh? Blow up this whole crabbing world. And you were only mean to us, which is four people. But then you went through the whole house on your own? And you also beat the king too? And you almost blew up the world, I think. But not really. It only made this guy so weird for a bit instead, so it's fine. And I think that, uh, uh... Balances out. Balances it out. Yeah, that! He laughed. Okay. <laughs> I still am sorry, you know. I tried to protect you, and I did the exact opposite. I shouldn't have done what I did. Hmm. It's okay. You were just being stupid. Zod told me adults can be stupid too. It happens. So try not to be stupid anymore. <laughs> I'll try, Bonbon. Bon. Yay! <laughs> Bonnie hugs you tightly. You hug them back. You have practice now, after all. Hey, friend! Hmm? Oh, there's a lot. Okay. So, snack leader. What? Snack leader? 
Do you still carry snacks on you? Yeah, I do. And you do too. Huh? Bonnie smells mischievously and looks towards your pockets. You look inside. There's snacks in your pocket? How? You got the eternal snacks? But when? You put the snacks back in your pocket along with your souvenirs. <laughs> Are you still hungry? Wait, of course you're hungry! You barely ate anything and you had a fever and you fought a bunch of sadnesses on your own. Here, have some more snacks. Bonnie gives you a truly immense amount of snacks. They smell so good. You're so hungry. You start eating, expecting to eat them all. Huh? You're not even halfway done with the pile, but you're already comfortably full. You smile. Are you okay, friend? Did you eat your fill? I did. <laughs> Good! You smile. And, you know. I didn't realize you were such an amazing cook, Bon Bon. Huh? What do you mean? You prepared a whole lot of snacks before. You know so many recipes? Oh! <laughs> Thank you. Wait. I made snacks before? So, so does that mean, um, did I ever make Malanga fritters before? Oh. Yeah, you did. Oh! And, and what did you think? I love them, Bon Bon. I love them so much. Really? Really? Yeah! <laughs> Yo! Well, of course you liked them. I'm very good at cooking. But I didn't know them before. Did you eat them a lot when you were a kid? Uh, yeah. If nothing else, I do remember that right now. If nothing else? I'll tell you about that one day, maybe. It would just be a lot to talk about right now. Ah, uh, yeah, adult stuff. I get it. But tell me later then, okay? You give Bonnie a thumbs up. Bonnie jumps and gives you one back. Hey, friend. Bon Bon. About my eye. Your eye? Oh. That's not... Why are you talking about this? I talked to you about it before. Me? Oh, another Bonnie. I got in front of the... I got in front of that sadness back then because I wanted to protect you. I didn't mean to get hurt, but if it's anyone's fault, it's mine. It wasn't your fault, Bonnie. But... If only it was stronger then, I'd still protect you. But differently. Differently? I wouldn't get hurt, either. Oh. I guess you can protect me sometimes if you promise not to get hurt. I don't want you to get hurt because of me again. It just feels bad. So do you promise? I can't promise, no. Huh? Why not? You remember a hand squeezing. I haven't been very good at keeping promises to you. So I... I can't. I mean, if you aren't good at keeping promises, it doesn't mean you have to stop trying to keep them. I... I'm not good at keeping promises either. I kept promising my sister I would do my chores or clean my room. Or not blow up the kitchen. But sometimes I did it anyway. But... But... Before she got frozen, she yelled at me. And made me promise that I would run as far as I could so I would live. And I didn't think I could do it, but I tried very, very hard. And I'm okay now. And I'll get to show her I'm okay when we go see her. So, so, I don't think promises are that important to keep. But they're important to try to keep, you know? So, will you try? I'll try. Will you super try? I'll super try. Will you super duper try? I'll super duper try. Crab, yeah! So it's fine. Just try. And I'll super duper try to protect you without getting hurt, too. Bonnie runs to you and bonks your stomach. Ouch. You lean into Bonnie, too. Oh, you know how to give hugs now! I had a good teacher. You had a teacher for hugs? That's weird. You laugh. Hey, friend. Uh, nothing, just saying hi. 
What? That's it? <laughs> Hi, friend. Okay. Bonnie's voice is the hardest to do. That's why I did Bonnie first. Holy fuck. <laughs> I promise I'm okay. I'm just- I'm not gonna stream for two days. <laughs> I was planning on taking tomorrow and Saturday off anyway. Gonna need to drink tea. You know what? Since I'm beating this fucking game today, I better get everybody's and all your mother's prime subs, please. <clears throat> also, while I'm resting for a minute, if you're new here and you're lurking, click follow. If you like my voice acting, click follow. If you're a hate watcher, click follow. <laughs> okay. I kind of want to do... Because <coughs> obviously I want to do Bo last. And Bo's another hard voice. I'll do Mirabelle. <coughs> Sifrin! Are you feeling better? You looked so sick earlier. I got really worried. I... I'm better now, Mira. Huh. I'm very glad. Um, are you... You have to say it. I... I'm sorry for what I said earlier. Yesterday? Oh! It was, um... I was out of line. I'm sorry. Sifrin? Eh... And it came out wrong, it's just that before, in another loop, you said, Ah, uh, no, stop! You flinch and stop talking. Ah, uh, sorry for yelling! Sorry, I mean, um, it's just... I don't want to hear about that. About anything that happened with any past Mirabels, I mean. And what happened with them for you to, you know, stuff yesterday. Oh. I can guess what you must have talked about with them, and... I don't want to know. Even if... Even if it helped them then, I don't want to know. I want to figure it out all on my own, and not because, you know, um... Spoilers? Spoilers! Exactly. You know, spoilers about me. I don't like the idea of you or anyone knowing things about me that I don't know about. So, um... I hope you can understand that I don't want to hear about it. You hated it when everyone acted like they knew more about your feelings than you. Of course you understand. He nod. Good! But, all that aside, um, quite honestly, Sifrin, a lot has happened in the last day or so. We looked for you, we met a star, we went up to the house, we beat the king, you were sick and barely responding, the head house made an act weird, we had to fight you, we saved the country, we decided to keep traveling again, I'm digesting Bonnie's snacks we just got, I'm sleepy, so many things happened, all with their specific emotions tied to them, from happiness to fear to relief. So, what you said to me yesterday is ranking pretty low overall on the list of things I'm thinking about. Oh. But, but maybe, when I'll have had time to process everything that happened, maybe I'll be angry then, at what you said. But, that's... If you do, tell me. Huh? Um, alright. If you want, but why? So you can, uh... Scream at me, I guess? Oh, no! Sifrin, I don't want to scream at you even if I'm angry. But... If I do feel angry, we can deal with it then, but please don't say things like that. Knowing you're expecting me to scream at you, it makes me sad. Is that how you see me? I'm sorry. No, no, it's just... Trauma. Well, I don't want to scream at you, even if I get angry, so I won't. And... And I can tell you... Re and... And I can tell you regret what happened too. And it counts for more than you think. And... I also feel bad about what happened. Huh? Why? I feel like... 
since you are always so mysterious and cool. I didn't really try to know more about you because of the aura. The mystique. You look like you have secrets. Delicious secrets. And people probably ask you about them all the time. And I didn't want to bother you when it's not any of my business. So I never asked you anything about yourself or how you were feeling. But everything that happened to you made me realize you're someone who's actually very shy and introverted. Like me. And you wouldn't tell anyone anything that they didn't ask for. Because why would you tell them something out of the blue, right? It's better to stay silent and not tell anyone anything about you or how you're feeling, right? Right. I don't want to bother anyone with my problems, so... So I'll keep my feelings here until I die! You know, I... I felt the same thing about... about the king. About being the chosen. About having to save everyone. Everyone was counting on me, so I didn't want to bother them with my problems. But the problems still exist, even if you ignore them. Exactly! We're very similar in that way, aren't we? But... What I'm getting at is, you were dealing with so much in the last two days, and I didn't insist enough, and... Don't cry. So, Sifrin, during this journey we're about to start together, we should talk more, the two of us, about things, about how we feel, so we can help each other out. And so we have someone to, um, hold us accountable, our feelings, I if that's okay. Maybe you'd like to talk to Isabel or Odell instead. I'd love that, Mira. Oh, <laughs> yay, feelings buddies. Feelings, buddies. You nod firmly at each other, then grin. Okay. I need to think about what we'll need to bring for this new journey. So go and talk to everyone. But you can talk to me later, too, if you want. You smile. Hi again, Sifrin. Oh my god, so many dialogue options. Oh <laughs> Dude, it's been 10 hours. And I don't think I can save at this point either, so it's like I can close the fucking game. <sighs> okay. Guys, subathon, subscribe right now. <laughs> Good job on defeating the king. Oh, no, I couldn't have done it without everyone else. You did it. No, I... You did. No. You. You did it. I did, didn't I? I defeated the king. I saved the guard. You saved the guard. Oh. Oh, change. You smile. I'm glad he's gone. And his curse has been reversed now, too. But... Forgive me if I'm wrong, but it seemed like you and the king knew each other? The way he talked to you, I... You take a breath and say it. We came from the same country, that's all. Oh! Well, I think that counts for a lot. Coming from the same place, sharing the same traditions, that counts for a lot. I just... He's frozen in time now, isn't he? Should I... Should I not have... No, it's fine. It's probably better that way. Oh! He seemed happy before he got completely frozen. Frozen the very moment he remembered it all. He'll remember your country forever. Lucky. Your country, huh? Will you tell me about it someday? Uh, unless you already talked about it to the past Mirabelles. I wouldn't want you to repeat yourself. I haven't. And even if I did... I'd like that, to talk to you about it for a bit. Oh, wonderful. I'll be waiting then. She jumps in place a little, happy about the idea. You copy her, and you both jump in place for a bit, grinning. So, about the changed belief. Huh? What about it? I know you don't want to know spoilers about past you. But what about something that happened to you? Would that be okay for me to tell? 
Um, as long as it's not spoilers on me specifically, I suppose. Why? Did something happen during one of your loops? Well, then... So, we met the changed god. Oh, okay! Like, one of the statues? Like, the actual change god. Oh, okay. Wait, are you serious? You tell Mirabelle all about your encounter with the change god. Alright, I'm gonna put this in today's pile of things I'll need some time to process. Right below, my friend was stuck looping through time for a long time. Aw, I'm flattered. <laughs> Wait, you shouldn't be! You both stare at each other for a second, then laugh. I heard you taught a class once. Oh no. Uh, but you need to make sure. It's not spoilers since it happened... Uh, but you need to make sure. It's not spoilers since it's something that happened way before, isn't it? No, it's not spoilers, but... What? Will you tease me about it? No, of course not. Even if it didn't end well, it's really nice you did it anyway. Oh, not really. It was a stupid idea anyway. I don't know anything that's worth teaching to people, so... Huh. If you remember correctly, she couldn't say anything because she also felt like learning wasn't worthwhile on its own. But... But you don't think you learned a lot during our journey? And don't you think people would line up to go to a class taught by Vigard's chosen one? Suddenly I'm filled with stress and fear. <laughs> you laugh together. But yes, I... There was a lot more I could teach people now, couldn't I? But I feel like there's so many things I could do other than teaching. You know, um... Don't tell anyone. But I've been thinking some parts of the change belief are... A little silly. I've been meaning to talk to the head housemaiden about it at some point. Oh. She did mention it before. That she felt like the change belief meant that people might not feel comfortable staying the same. Might not feel comfortable being okay with who they are. You have so much you want to tell her about it, but you try very hard not to show it. Uh, interesting idea. Did a past me get the same idea? Oops. Yeah, a little. But she never got the chance to, uh, to go further with it. Oh! So, so this would be new to you. To me? You not. Oh! <laughs> then, then I'll try it out. I'll have to talk with Madame Odile. She'd probably know how to help. Her smile is infectious. You grin back. Holy moly. <coughs> I think the easiest voice is for sure Mirabelle. I think it's because I already have a higher pitch voice. <gasps> hi again, Sifrin. Nothing, just saying hi. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi to you also, Sifrin. Oh, dial time. Wait, there literally is a save point down there. I'm clueless. Oh, dial? Oh, Sifrin. Is your fever better? You know. You feel a little lightheaded and weak still. But you don't feel as... Ah. As you felt earlier. Good. I'm glad you're feeling better. You really worried us earlier. We were... Really, really worried for you, Sifrin. Oh, also, I'm going to repeat myself. One, I forgive you out of the goodness of my heart. Which means that two, you don't need to apologize. But... What's wrong? I think everyone is taking what I did a little too well. What? Your time loops, or how much of a stupid annoying crab you've been. Don't worry. We'd tell you if we were mad. Maybe for some of us, the questions and anger will come later. But isn't it good that for now, we're okay with it all? But you shouldn't be okay with it. 
Sifrin. Yes. You said horrible things yesterday, which made us all upset and angry. But then, we learned you went to the house alone, and went through it all on your own. And we learned that those horrible things you did, you did them because you'd been going depressed and insane. Because you were repeating the same two days for a very long time. A time loop that started because you wanted to stay with us so much that you were subconsciously, or not, willing to trap yourself over it. Do you know how it makes us feel? None of these are the right answer. Horrified. Yeesh. I can't speak for everyone, but... But I think it's the cutest thing I've ever heard. Cute? Sifrin, Sifrin, Sifrin. You love us so much you used your forgotten craft power to stay with us forever. That's cute. That's not cute, that's... Cute. No! Can't change my mind. You! You! You can't help but laugh. <laughs> that's not cute, that's... It's very cute. Sifrin? Sure. You might think you messed up yesterday. And maybe you did. But... And I'm sure I'm not the only one feeling like this. But I feel like I messed up yesterday too. Huh? I didn't talk to you. I didn't try to figure out what was wrong. Even though something clearly was wrong. And... I just feel like I could have done more to help you. Is all. I can tell you disagree, but that's alright. We can both feel guilty, and hopefully our guilt will cancel each other out eventually. But please, remember this. We want to stay with you for a bit longer too, because we feel the same way you do. We care for you. We want you to be happy. We want to spend more time with you. And, one day, this new journey that we are starting together, it'll end. It's inevitable that we'll all go our separate ways eventually. But, even if we're not together, even if we're in completely different places from each other, I know that I won't forget the times we've spent together. I will never forget you, Sifrin. None of us will. Sorry. There was a stick in my applesauce. It was a stem! No! Oh, dude. It got stuck in my teeth and it finally came out. It was a stem. Sorry, I did not want to show me prying my fingers in my mouth. Also, I have to run an ad. Okay, more of the stick came out. <laughs> Get boomed. We're almost done, we're almost done, we're almost done. Also, I literally have to end soon because I have to take my sister to work. You got me for another hour. Hopefully this does not take an hour. If this, if this does, I'm going to be very upset. Guys, subathon. The stream is almost as long as the subathon was. <laughs> Wasn't the subathon 13 hours? We'll make it dense. I'll even say the dreaded L word, if you're still not convinced we care for you, but don't push your luck, okay? You nod. Good. And really, Sifrin, if I got upset every time some child decided to be mean to me, I'd always be upset. Don't worry about it. Like I said, I've already forgiven you. I hope you'll forgive me for not trying harder to find out what was wrong, too. Okay. Okay. Now get out of here and go talk to anyone else. This emotional talk tired me out. Not the battles or anything? Of course not, silly. I have a body in peak physical condition. Go away now, Sifrin. She ruffles your hair and brushes you away. She ruffles your hair and pushes you away with a smile. A smile back. I'm gonna keep talking to Odal. Hello again, Sifrin. How are you doing? 
Oh, thank goodness, just two, just two. So, what's your theory? Huh? For what? For what happened to me? Ah, with your loops, you mean? Well, do you want the short explanation or the long one? I'll take the long one! You have to know. All right, well, first, wishcraft is a thing. I'm guessing you know more about wishcraft than we do at this point. Not only because of what you found through your loops, but also because I believe you knew some of the rituals beforehand. You nod. Consciously or not, you've always known them. Grew up with them, if you had to guess. Huh. Well, before your loops started, you made a wish to stay with all of us. A simple wish, but backed with rituals. It makes sense for Wishcraft to hear your wish and try to make it come true. Unrelated to this, people in Vagard wish for the king to be defeated, for people to not be frozen in time anymore. Wishes that boil down to, we wish for Vagard to be saved from the king. Everyone in Vagard knows about the favor trees, but no one really knew how to craft wishes from them, and rituals are more important than intent when it comes to wishes. But that's when it's a single person doing Wishcraft. But an entire country channeling their belief towards a single goal. No rituals are needed, just intent. And in the end, Mirabelle, and every one of us, we had a little to no chance of winning against the king on our own, which would make Vigard's wish filled with belief, and yours supported by rituals, impossible to grant. And so, my theory is that Wishcraft merged those two wishes together mixed them up, and made you able to spend more time with us, and also allowing you endless tries against the king. The intent to defeat the king, with the means to do it. So every time you died, you'd come back, to make sure you could save the guard. But, I'm guessing that this isn't the first time you're here, right? In this room, having beaten the king. Knowing this is the end of your journey. That we can't be together anymore. And if you're convinced you can't be with us anymore, that this is the end. Wishcraft reacts, and brings you back to a time where you're with us once more. Phrase like that, it kind of feels like you're to blame for our own suffering. But listen, I don't know everything that happened while you looped again and again. But the truth is, the first time we fought the king, we died, didn't we? Or maybe we even died before we even got to him. Sifrin? It's just conjecture, but I think that without you, everyone's wish to save Vigard would have been... aimless. Directionless. Your wish gave everyone's wish direction. And without your wish, the king would have won. And what kind of ending would that have been? The real one. Oh, Sifrin. This experience... It must stay with you for a while. It must stay with you forever. But I want you to know this. Mirabelle, Isabeau, Boniface, and I too. We won't leave you alone so easily. Even after our new journey ends. And so, you have to promise to tell us if something's wrong now. None of that I'll keep all my feelings here, and one day I'll die stuff. Got it? Got it? I'll try. <laughs> it's all I can ask for. Odell looks at you warmly. You hesitantly smile back. I don't want to do the theory. I don't want to get the optional dialogue. It's okay. What's the dreaded L word? Linguini. I linguini you, Sifrin. <laughs> Odile. Hmm. I feel very inuki to know you too. Ha! <laughs> Yay, success, she laughed. You beam. I know it's only been two days, or even less than that. But I missed your stupid puns, Sifrin. I was very worried about you today. We all were. You make a face. Ha! <laughs> you don't like it, huh? Being worried about. Feels gross, doesn't it? It does. I'm not used to people being worried about me. Is it... Is it because you don't remember it happening? You flinch a little. 
Sifrin. I won't pretend to know I understand how it feels to not remember your childhood, your country, anything. But I have two facts about you. Or for you. One, we should talk about it, you and I. I might understand what you're going through better than most. Maybe. It did help a bit to talk to her about it. And two, just because you don't remember it happening doesn't mean it didn't happen. You know, to be worried about someone, you have to love them. And you are very lovable, Sifrin. Whatever happened before, I have no doubt you were loved. Give me one second, I got a text. I'll be right back. Guys, my sister's getting a ride to work. We don't have to take the bus! Heck yeah. That means we could stream all night. If this. This should not take all night. <sighs> and you are very lovable, Sifrin. Whatever happened before, I have no doubt you were loved. Oh. You feel very warm. You try to hide your face by lowering your hat, but... <laughs> can't hide your face without your hat, huh? Hmm. You both laugh. Hello again, Sifrin. How are you doing? Nothing, just saying hi. Okay. Hi. Now go. I still have to read that family tale you bought me. You smile and go. The moment we've all been waiting for! Bow time! Hey, Sif. Uh, I'm sorry about everything I said. It wasn't cool. You didn't deserve that when you were just trying to help. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Take a breath, buddy. You take a big... You take a deep... You take a big breath. Huh. <laughs> Yes, yeah, Sif, and the stuff you said yesterday was so accurate and cutting, too. My poor little heart was so hurt. Your face falls. I was so hurt yesterday, I couldn't do anything except lie in bed crying. And think about what horrible spirit possessed you. And hey, 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 stop making the face. I'm kidding. Sorry. But. Sif. I mean, yeah. You hurt my Fifi's. My Lilings. But it was also kinda cool. Oh my god, he's a masochist! <laughs> what? What? I don't know. Sometimes someone reads you a little too well and it's like... Oh crap, that's so true. Why would you say this? Ow. But also like... Oh, you pay that much attention to me? Oh. Your cheeks feel impossibly warm all of a sudden. And I'm guessing a lot of what you said was stuff we talked about before. In your loops, right? And I must have repeated the same things a lot, but... Weirdly enough, I feel a little flouted. Thank you for seeing me this clearly. What the... You can't help but laugh. If you still feel bad, you can say something nice to me later. Balance things out. But I'm not mad about it. It was interesting. But also, don't do that stuff again. You get a pass because you were sad and also going crazy. You know. 
I'll be sure to only say nice things in the future. Yay. Then feel free to tell me all the stuff you want. And I'll do the same. Uh, actually, speaking of stuff to tell, can I tell you something, maybe? You try not to inhale sharply. It, if that's okay, I just have something to tell you, and I feel like this is the moment. You nod. Oh, crab. Okay, well, um, uh... I don't know, Sif. Are you sure? Is it okay if I tell you something now? Because it might be a lot, and you've been through a lot today already, and I just want to make sure you'd be fine if I told you when- Huh. How interesting. Even now, his hand is reaching out to you. Hovering. Unable to take the first step. Gently, you take his hand and hold it tightly. He inhales sharply. The universe seems to hold its breath. I shouldn't wait, right? I should just go for it, right? And tell you? You just look into his eyes and wait. Okay. Okay, then. Sif. Sif. I really, really like traveling with you during this journey. I really care about you. You're one of my best friends, my comedy partner, an incredibly important person to me, and... And I... And I love you, Sif. I love you so, so, so much. I love talking to you, and hearing your jokes, and seeing the little smirk you make right before telling one, and how you're so nice. How you always listen to what everyone has to say. How you always try to give advice even though you're not always very good at it. Oh, and I love your eye. <laughs> Sorry, the singular eye. Your hair looks so soft. And I love that you're small and cute, but like in a way that's very sharp. Cooking knife with flowers and little hearts is small and cute. And I like how your face looks when you eat something you like. And I like how you hide your face under your hat when you feel embarrassed. And how you look all focused when you watch a play and read a book. And... Oh, stars. You feel lightheaded. You sway a little. Oh! Uh, sorry! I got a little excited. Oh, man. I feel like I couldn't stop talking. Like I was sitting on this forever. Did you hear all of this already? Did I just repeat myself like an idiot when I already confessed a bunch of times? No, that was the first time for me, too. What? Weird. And cool. Oh well. Now you know. <laughs> I love you, Sif. I love you. You better not forget it. I won't, Issa. Thank you for telling me. And... And I love you too, Issa. Oh. Oh. Crab, yeah. Well, to be honest, I knew you did because I have eyes. But, you have a singular I'm, I I mean, I mean, but... Do you love me the same way I love you too, though? Give me some time to figure it out. Uh, of course. Take all the time you need, Sif. Phew. Your face feels warm. You can't stop smiling. Yeah, because I think Sif alluded to them being like, Ace as well. Oh, Bo is so happy now! He's dancing. Hey, Sif? What's up? <laughs> Congrats on finally saying it. What does that mean? Oh, no. Did I try to confess every single loop and chickened out or something? You laugh a little too loudly. Why are you laughing? Maybe you didn't get to say it before. But you did it this time as a bow. You did it, Za! You said the thing! About time, if you ask me. Boadel and Bonnie start clapping. Mirabel joins in, confused. I... I'm sorry! Have you been in love with Sivrin for a long time and I never noticed? Oh, change! Congratulations for saying it, Isabeau! <laughs> Thank you. 
I can try and catch you up later, if you want. Please! I wanna know! Oh, then I will. <laughs> also, wait. Were you all listening earlier? Yeah, it sounded interesting. Of course we were listening. We needed to make sure we wouldn't inter- Of course we were listening. We needed to make sure we wouldn't interrupt. That's silly, Dial. We would never interrupt. We have been raised well. Oh. Uh-oh. Sifrin's face. Did we interrupt in your previous loops? Literally every time. Oh. Oh? Oh! <laughs> oh, that's really funny, actually. So sorry, Isabel. Past yous are all terrible wingmen! What the crab! But they were good this time. And that's all that matters, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> yeah. He both blushed, smiling. <laughs> Aw. Gross! Absolutely disgusting. Hey, Sif. What's up? Issa, you're so smart. Huh? There's loads of time I wouldn't have been able to progress without you knowing about stuff. The mirror being one of them. Oh, the mirror. It's true no one knew about it earlier. Eh, whatever. I don't like to show off. Being too smart puts people off, I think. I mean, look at Madame Oda. What? What? Are you trying to tell me something, Isabel? We like you for your stunning personality and not because you're smart, madame. I need you to know that. <laughs> well, same to you, Isabel. Aw, oh, that's... And we wouldn't like you any less if you were smart, you know. Oh. Sounds fake, but okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, I'll try. Changing takes time, you know. Let me become a clothing designer first, and then I'll go up to being a smart clothing designer. Sure thing, Essa. Oh, and you knew about the clothing designer thing too. Did I tell you about it before? At the very beginning. You didn't want to hear anything about the future after that. You do want to hear about it now, though. You nod. Well, when I become a clothing designer, you know you'll have to be my first model, Sif. I'll have to see you naked. I mean... I want to design some cool, comfy clothes for you. <laughs> it's what you wished for, after all, huh? You look away, smiling. Wait. I was gonna say, if depending on who you wish for, is that who you pursue? But you probably can't wish for Bonnie. <laughs> also, Mirabelle's ace. But Oda, maybe? Is that so? It is so. All right, then. I'll let you design some clothes for me. <laughs> Yahoo! So generous! Hey, Sif, what's up? Nothing, just saying hi. I gotcha. I'm very easy to say hi to. Hi. I can run again. Can I go back? Wait, what? Oh, people. That's... frozen people from the house? Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god! Mirabelle's idol. Housemaiden Mirabelle saved us all, didn't she? Librarian, that's what I heard. Young housemaiden Mirabelle. Ah. Uh, oh, wrong voice. Ah. Uh, it feels like it was only yesterday she asked me if she could borrow the first issue of the Cursing of the Chateau Castle. And now she saved the country. I wonder if it'd be awkward if I told her I'm proud of her. Oh, sweetie. I think that hearing you say that would kill her on the spot. Huh? This is so cute. Light-haired housemaiden. Do you know who I saw earlier? The pottery teacher giving a bonding earring to their partner. Housemaiden with overalls. Oh, we should congratulate them. Where are they now? Oh, they obviously immediately booked it to their bedroom. Yo! Uh, uh, Short-haired housemaiden. And I have bandages in case anyone who fought the king is hurt. Long-haired housemaiden. You know Mirabella's hearing healing crafts, right? Well, 
I think seeing a bandage where you know you were hurt can be reassuring. Don't judge me. Hmm. Could you put a bandage on my hand? Oh. Are you hurt? Not really. But this bandage has a little catch on on it, so I want it. Real. Sleepy person. Oh. I was asleep in the infirmary this whole time. And when I woke up, the sky was all weird. Some end-of-the-world business. But I heard everything was okay now. And I'm still sleepy, so... Uh... Stressed housemaiden. Oh, Mirabelle really did do it. She saved us all. Everyone will be so happy. Everyone will make sure she never has to worry about a thing now. Everyone will make sure to punish anyone who makes her sad ever. I have to give her back her book I borrowed for six months before anybody else finds out. Handsome person. You? What do you think of my face? You don't know how to respond. Um, you think their face is a good face, so you give them a thumbs up? Striking, yes. I succeeded then. I was in the changing room when the king attacked, see? I woke up, found out we were saved. And quickly finished crafting my body so I could make my grand re-entrance today. Oh. You give two thumbs up. <laughs> House, maiden, and dog. I'm not saying that. My dog! My dog's okay! She's okay! My dog. My puppy. My sweet pepperino. <laughs> We're okay, puppy! The dog barks happily. Mirabelle's roommate. Hey! You! Aren't you one of the saviors? Mirabelle's friend. We heard about you. You were traveling with Mirabelle. Is Mirabelle okay? Is she okay? Is the sunshine of my life okay? My absolute best friend. The roommate of my heart. Yes, if- Oh wait, wrong one. Yes, if Mirabelle is hurt in any way, you'll have us to answer for, so reply wisely. Their words are harsh, but they look very worried. You smile and point ahead. Oh, she might be with Yuffie then. Mirabelle's okay. She isn't hurt. You shake your head. Hmm. Okay. We'll come and say hi later then. I'll need to go and plant a big kiss on Yuffie anyway. Thank you for telling us, stranger. And for being at her side. Oh no, genuine thanks. You run away. Cyprin! Are you going back to Dormont? We'll come with you. Yeah, you're stupid if you think you're leaving... Yeah, you're stupid if you think we're leaving you to do whatever you want right now. You heard the kids, Sifrin. You smile. Wait, no, I don't want to go back. Oh, shoot. I didn't save. Uh, housemaiden. I thought it would let me turn around. Awkward. <laughs> Take your time, Sifrin. Let Isabel know when you're ready to go. Oh, but by the way, Sifrin, I um I don't know if, I don't know if you'd know where to find them. But can you tell Loop thank you for me? From all of us. We wouldn't have found you without them. Especially that hallway. Without them we'd been crushed. And they helped us with the sadnesses of what their weaknesses were too. Yes. We could hear them while we went through the house, but as we got closer to you, we could hear them less and less. They seemed really worried for you, too. Um, so, maybe you have a way to talk to them? So you can tell them thank you from all of us for bringing us to you? Loop. Can I go back? No, let me go back to the house. Shoot, shoot. Well, either way, let's talk to Loop. Call Luke. You try to call Luke, but there's no answer. No, not Luke. Hurry up and do what you need to, Cyprin. We still need to talk to the head. We still need to talk to the head housemaiden after that. Prepare for our journey to reunite Bonnie with their sister. Make sure it'd be okay for Bonnie to travel with us. Maybe she'd like to come too. And we need to take care of any unseen wounds we might have right away. And eat. And sleep and... Eh. I'll worry about it all later. 
Okay, so I can still talk to the housemaiden. I didn't entirely mess up. Hey. Hey. Madame Morel? Yes? You're not studying anything, are you? Like, we were wrong, and you're not here to study anything. Caught. Oh my. How did you find out? Oh, I had a feeling for a while. But it was fun to imagine what you were studying. Thank you for playing along. <laughs> I'm very proud of you for finally figuring it out. Yay! The lady who was sitting on that bench gave me a peach. I love peaches. They're like... My number one favorite food. Did you say thank you to that nice lady? Yeah. Uh... No, I forgot. Bonnie. Oh. You didn't know Bonnie liked peaches. You smile. Please go and talk to Loop. And tell them thank you for me. Okay, I gotta progress forward then. Oh, there's so many people here. Oh. Stylish one. Oh, I hope House Maiden Mirabelle is okay. Castle Living One. <laughs> Mirabelle. Huh? Huh? What's that sigh for? Do you not. Oh, wait, wrong voice. Do you not like Mirabelle, you monster? She owns the third copy of the Cursing of the Chateau Castle. Yes. And? First edition. What? The one that supposedly had a misprint? That foreshadows something that happens in issue 63? Isn't that only one... Isn't there only ten of those in circulation of a guard? How did she... She sent a letter to the publishing company that straddled the line between adorable and stern so well. The publishing company sent her a copy. Along with an autograph from the author. Oh, housemaid of Mirabelle. You're so cool. Oh, the feast. The person cooked for everyone. Oh. Soup. It's locked. They must be celebrating outside. Yes, that's what I thought. Story loving shopkeeper. So I'm glad Vigard is saved and all. But what the crab was that weird sky thing earlier? Oh, I have a theory. Do you know about colors? Hmm. The weird shades people could see before, correct? Yes. So, my theory is... The librarian takes a deep breath, about to explain their theory. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't actually care that much. Please forget I asked anything. Ooh, so rude. Old one. Isn't it nice to sit down with everyone on the dawn of a new day? It really is. The daydreaming one seems to be thinking hard about something. You let them both be. This guy is new, I think. Um, you don't recognize this person. Were they in the village before? Shy stranger. Oh, hi. You're one of the saviors, right? Um, thank you for your help. I stayed in my home while everything was happening with the king. I was too scared to come out. I thought that if I stayed inside, I wouldn't be frozen in time or anything, which um, was stupid. Because everyone in Dormont got frozen for like a few hours. But now we're back, so... I went out so I could party with everyone. I miss talking to everyone. I'm glad I can still do it now. And it's thanks to you and Mirabelle and everyone who helped her. So, thank you for saving us. Genuine thanks. You escaped. I get it. I'm shy too. Oh, I thought they were going to give me the code to the door. Soup! Or stew. Some food. It's locked. They must be celebrating outside. Okay, everybody's locking their doors. I thought this place was supposed to be welcoming. Oh, this one's open. The running person. Haha, <laughs> yes! My guard is saved! And you know what this means. I need energy to go hug my now unfrozen sibling! Bowlinger, give me some of your scrumptious pastries! Smug one. 
the guard is saved now, isn't it? Hmm. I could go back to Poteria now like I planned. Or I could stay a little bit longer. For the pastries, of course. Hey. Oh. Did you want anything? Sorry. Everyone ate my whole stock. Turns out knowing you're going to live makes people hungry. He seems happy. Um. Hi. I... I helped Dad today. And you did a good job, too. And I did a good job, too! Everyone's so happy. I want to talk to the statue last. I'm scared. Beautiful one. So. So. I have heard everyone in Dormat has gotten flowers or flower seeds from you at some point. And that you've given some flowers to some of the travelers. I did. So... Why haven't I gotten any? Oh, it's true, the house doesn't have any flowers around it, doesn't it? You know why. Oh, come on. How long will you hold this out over me for? I didn't mean to step on your foot this hard the last time we danced together. Oh, yeah? Well, a dispute. You leave them to it. Drama. They seem to have stopped fighting. They're smiling and laughing with one another. You smile, too. Oh, the couple. This one? Why this one? The unfrozen lady is wearing a necklace with uneven, weirdly shaped pearls. It has personality. I love it. Cute. Imagine we loop again. The blind one hears you walking towards him. Oh, hello. It feels nice to hear people laugh again, isn't it? <laughs> the fish are back. Do not make a sound. Step back and let me fish. You silently nod and tiptoe away. I'm gonna go to the right, and then I'll talk to the change god, and then we'll find Luke. Oh, the kids are still here. The kid turns to look at you. Hi. The kid seems to study your face, and breaks out into a big smile. Happily, they show you their drawing. You crouch. Oh, we're all happy. It's me and everyone. The kid giggles. Thank you for all your wonderful drawings. The kid huffs proudly and goes back to drawing. You smile. Wizard loving kid. Ugh. No, we're not gonna play rock, paper, scissors with you, tutorial kid. Huh? How can this be? Rock, paper, scissors is awesome. It's the basis of this world of life of- Ugh. I swear, do you only know this one game or what? Yeah, tutorial kid. Do you know any other games? Of course I know other games. <laughs> okay, I don't know any other games. Oh. Oh. Do you want us to teach you how to play some other games? We can play the cat game. We can give you a tutorial. Oh. I've always given tutorials to people. I've never I've never been given a tutorial before. First time for everything, tutorial kid. No. The one who was given a tutorial kid. <laughs> they changed the name card. The one who was given a tutorial kid looks emotionally compromised. I kind of want to go to the clock tower, but I'm scared, so let's go to the statue and then loop. Oh yeah, if we gotta go back to the house meeting, it's probably at the house. So I'd have to go to the clock tower, right? You approach the change god statue. You close your eye. Oh, it's a save point. Okay, I'm not gonna override. 
He nodded at the statue and turned back. Save slot six so I don't get confused. Epilogue! Oh! He nodded at the statue and turned back. Let's go find Luke! They're not here. The favor tree. You take a step forward. The sun is shining. The wind is blowing through the village. The tree's leaves rustle around gently. There's no one under the tree. You walk a little further, look around, trying to see if there's anything left behind, but there's nothing. Loop is gone. Why? Where did they go? Or, they were here to help you with the loops, weren't they? The loops won't happen anymore. You're too weak for it, so... Has Loop disappeared too? Because they were here to help you and their task is over? Why? You didn't have time to apologize to thank them. You didn't have time to thank them for helping you this whole time. That's not... Fair! You remember another ritual from your past. A tradition. That's when you visit a grave, you should always leave something behind. Something you carried with you for a long time. They leave behind a memory of you for their journey. You look into your pockets, and gently put your silver coin where Loop used to sit. Goodbye, Loop. And thank you. The sun hits the coin, making it almost glow. The trees around you are silent. You walk back. The favorite tree. Man. Loop is gone. Sephirin! Did you give her things to Loop? Oh, about that. Oh, did something happen? I couldn't talk to Luke. Oh. Aw, that's too bad. Maybe you can talk to them later then? And we can come with you, we can say thanks too. Bon Bon, you smile sadly. Maybe later, yeah. <laughs> We will talk about this later, Sifrin. I don't want you to stay sad and not talk about this. You smile and nod. Are we good? Let's go back to the head housemaiden then. This one is going to be save slot 7. I want to go back and see what happens when I try to go to the clock tower. Oh, I guess there's nothing to do with the clock tower. Okay. Nothing else to do elsewhere. You should talk to the head housemaid and start your new journey. A DLC? Imagine. Okay, I assume there's no new dialogue for my friends. Head housemaid in time. Hmm. I can feel it. We both know this. It's all over when you talk to me. So, have you done everything you needed to do? Ready? I'm ready. Wonderful. All of you, come closer. Come closer. You finished talking to everyone, so this is it, isn't it? The end of your journey once more. It's all over. When you talk to her. For the final time.
traveling one. Are you worried? Worried? About what? About looping back? I'd always loop back when I died. And whenever I talked to you. You would talk and then the loop would... Whenever we talk. But why? Maybe because... Because... Talking to you means our journey to save Vigard is really over, isn't it? And for you, Sifrin, it also meant all of us going our separate ways, doesn't it? The very thing the loops were trying to stop. Oh, so... You think you might still go back? No, you won't. You're too exhausted, too weak, but... But... What if? Hmm. Nah, it won't happen. So quick! But how do you know? What, you don't trust me? You'll be fine. You'll stay right here with us. Because we'll stay together for a while longer now, friend. We'll still be together for a while. And after that, we'll still be together, even if we're not. Plus, I doubt there's any craft left for you to use. You really burned yourself out earlier. My bet is that your little temper tantrum earlier used all the energy from your wish. You might still be able to use some craft now, Although I wouldn't recommend it for a bit. But I doubt you have any energy left over for time craft. You won't loop back. I'll super duper promise if you won't. He laughed. Yes, you know it's over. There's nothing to tell you otherwise, but... We could, um... We could hold hands. Wait, the original drawing that the kid drew... Hold hands? Hold hands. Hold hands. I if Friend is worried, I don't know. Just an idea. Um, that way, even if we do go back, we'll go back with you, right? That sounds right to me, yes. <laughs> uh, fine. Let's hold hands, then. Odal takes Bonnie's hand. Headhouse Maiden? Oh, yes, of course. The head housemaiden puts her hand on Odal's and takes Mirabelle's also. <laughs> Isabel? Yes. Mirabelle and Isabel happily link hands. Fran, Fran! Oh. Come on, Fran! Bonnie's sticky hand grab yours. Sip. My friends. And my future lover! Shyly, put your hand in Isabeau's. You feel warm. Um, what now? Well, if it ended every time you talked to the housemaid in Sif, then maybe you tell us a story. But, um, I'd... Maybe tell us a story, Madame Head Housemaiden. Oh, what kind of story should I tell? A funny one. A cute one? A nice one. What about Belle? Huh? <laughs> well, everyone. Let me tell you about the very first time Mirabeau made a classroom explode. No! <laughs> yes. <laughs> You close your eye. The head housemaiden's word wash. The head housemaiden's words wash over you. Your head doesn't hurt. Your stomach is full. You feel Bonnie and Isabel gripping your hands tightly. You feel the wind caress your hair. You feel nothing but the world around you. You inhale. It smells like fresh air and leaves on a sunny day. You smile. It's stars in time, baby! 98 loops? It could have been less, but not too bad. 
Man, that game was cute. And sit through the credits, shall we? Sorry, I think it's funny they had a PR manager. <laughs> I do believe this game was based on a comic. Or a graphic novel or something. Oh, thank you for playing. Loading screen, we're no longer sleeping in the field, but the indentation is there. Well, that was in stars in time, everybody. You were here. I think this game took me about an average of like seven hours, took six days. Over, probably, I think, 40 hours. I can't look at my Switch, but it probably took 40 hours. I think the story and the morals behind it were really cute. A lot of it is on the nose. And I feel like if you had a like if you have a lot of self-awareness concerning mental health, you obviously know what the themes are. But I think it's a really good way to introduce some more heavier topics. I do agree with the critiques that the looping is annoying. It was only really annoying for like the first 10 hours. Because I was like, man. I don't like this. I don't like this new mechanic. But it was more bearable near the end. And once I knew the maps more, it was fine. The characters were lovable. I liked how they each had really distinct personalities. I also loved doing the voices. I hope you guys enjoyed. I would rate this... You know, I won't forget about this game for a while. Obviously, there's the comparisons to Omori. I think this one... Was not as abstract as Omori. It was very on the nose, and I really liked how this game had themes of like companionship, friendship, platonic, and also romantic love, how to approach it. It was really cute. It was quirky, it was cute. I would say... 7 out of 10. 8 out of 10, if the looping wasn't as frustrating at times. 7 out of 10. So, okay, let's save 7.5. And that was my playthrough of In Stars in Time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Put more game suggestions down in the comments below. Tell me, please. And if you liked it, uh, like, comment, subscribe. And you can watch me play games live over on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Peason underscore 17. But thank you for watching. Guys, I did it. That was a, a, a ten and a half hour stream for this final act five and epilogue. Oh my god. I did it. My voice is dead. Guys, I'm ending stream. It's 8-11. I... I started stream- I started stream at 9 fucking 30. Guys, it's a subathon. Okay, I don't think anybody's live. I'm also really fucking hungry. Yeah, nobody's live, no raid. Cutie Lee did not go live today. I would like to thank you all for watching. We also got a follow today. Thank you, Rainbow, for the follow. If you're new here and you're lurking, uh, click follow right now. And I'll say thank you. Um, honestly, I think I'm gonna take tomorrow and Saturday off. Saturday I'm doing stuff. Friday I have to get the YouTube video done. Because today went five hours longer than I thought it would. But I swear, like, the past hour and a half was just the epilogue, like, reading. 
But anyway. I'll see you guys probably Sunday or Monday. And if you miss me, go subscribe to the YouTube. It's free to subscribe over there. Ain't no way. Weekly stream highlights on Saturdays and daily clips on the Clips account. If you want something to watch right now, new YouTube video, click the link. Does my big brain make me smarter? Thank you for watching. I know this this game was long, but I still felt like it had substance. I feel like some of you guys enjoyed it. I know we had a few chatters and lurkers throughout. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you have any ideas for other story games you want me to do, tell me. I think um, beating the games relatively quickly, like doing less but longer streams, I think is better. Because like if I would have done three hours every day for this game, it would have been horrible. It would have taken literally all month. So, I think Chad said before they want me to do Ace Attorney, but I feel like that's also a lot of dialogue. So something something not as dialogue heavy. <laughs> but we'll, we'll, just, we'll pause. We'll think about it. Okay, I'm gonna end. I'm tired. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh my god, my throat is dead. <laughs> it's... She's, she's struggling. So thank you for watching. Genuinely, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you had fun. I'm gonna miss doing this voice. I really liked Mirabelle's voice I gave her. It's kind of like cutesy, really high-pitched. Kind of unsure. And I kind of liked how the characters had stutters. Because, you know, I have a stutter too. Also, I feel like Bo's voice changed every day on stream. The Cifrin, or sorry. Odile, or Odeline. I kind of like theirs a lot. I'm never doing a voice like this again. Bonnie's voice is really hard for me. It also kind of changed throughout. Like, right now, I think this is original Bonnie. But then I also kind of did this. But no, it's supposed to be like this. It's supposed to be kind of gravelly and weird, like puberty, you know? But yeah. Oh, yeah. Mirabel also kind of sounds like... The main female protagonist from Amori. But not as... Mirabelle is a bit more kinder. I think Aubrey was the name? 